But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Ah, yes, let's get the show on the road. Friday, Three, we are live, live programming for you. The Opie and Anthony Show, starring Bill Burr today, who's already making us laugh really hard. I can't believe how wide awake I am. And really? I, I, I was telling you guys, I, w- I yeah. went out last night. I was going to, I was telling Sherrod, I'm like, come on, man, let's drink or whatever. We had a couple of drinks. I completely forgot I was coming in. You're like, oh, shit, wait a minute. I got to get up at an ungodly hour and do radio. Yeah. I was arguing with my girlfriend over nothing about some shit. <laughs> and right in the middle, I was like, you know what? I'm going to bed. And then I realized, oh, shit, I, I really have to go to bed. I have to go to bed. <laughs> I got to get up in a few hours. She could have got you by continuing the argument. Because that was the worst thing that would ever happen in a relationship was when I would be like, you don't understand. I have to go to sleep right now. Shut up. Yeah, if you really love me, you'd stay up. How can you uh, go to sleep just thinking about yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy, <laughs> easily? If you <laughs> shut the fuck up. I, I could just close my sleep. eyes. They don't understand that we could just fall asleep like that. It doesn't matter if there's turmoil in the house. Yeah, yeah. To us, we're like, look, we'll pick this up tomorrow yeah. after work. No problem. Not them, Gotta though. Sleep. They have to They have to figure it out right there. Yep. Right there. Oh, it's the worst. And then you fall asleep, and then they do that shit where they just put their hand on your shoulder. For some reason, that's enough to wake you up. You're like, oh, what? <laughs> I can't sleep. I'm sorry. I know you have to go to work, but I just this is just really bothering me. What? Don't yell at me. <laughs> just like I'm going to fucking smother you, you with just... this goddamn pill. I hate when they say don't yell at me and you're not even yelling. No. It's like I'm fucking this is not yelling. You... Have you have you ever fallen asleep as they they woke you up and they're like babbling oh, on the about phone the all the time about the argument or something and then you just yeah. <laughs> you start the heavy breathing. I, I think Bill and I are like separated at birth. Oh, yeah. The I'm, same, I'm a few the, years behind you. That's it. The same thing. Like, don't yell at me. And I look around the room like, is, is there someone else in the room yelling? Because, yeah, who, who just wow, yelled? I'll show you yelling. I hate everybody else's definition of yelling. yelling. Thank you. It's so fucking bad. In my household, that yelling was just Was normal. yelling. Oh, my was, God. Well. Yelling. But the yelling that other people think is yelling, that was just normal in our house. T- that's oh, talk. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just yeah, talking. Yeah, to, to a lot of them, just like being like, you know, if if you curse and you bring your voice up to, dude, what the fuck did you put that there for? Right. That's yelling. Yeah, that's not yelling. It's like, oh, no, that's not yelling. No, not no, no, at all. That's not yelling. No. Far cry this, from This it. one goes up to 11. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah let, me, let me show you some yelling. Yeah. <laughs> My brother actually was dating a girl a long time ago, and she did that. <laughs> she was literally like, stop yelling at me. And he goes, I'm not yelling. And then he just went like, this is yelling. It's like listening to death metal. It's like listening to classic rock and saying, oh, yeah. that's death metal. No, so this is he, death metal. He turns, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, turns into Leonidas. <laughs> yeah. That's yelling. <laughs> yeah, when your hair starts moving, that's yeah. when I'm yelling. <laughs> Everything else is I'm showing you respect. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> Where do we begin today? Well, it's not raining. Yeah, I know for, the rest of the country is hours. sick of us talking about uh, Look, the weather in hey, the New York area. Them. but I'm disgusted, and I'm talking about it. I'm so sick of this fucking weather. They're calling it the June monsoons. Whatever they want to call it. Well, it rhymes, so it I mean, sucks. it's got to be why, true. Right? It's, it's, it's going to make our summer... Go by in the blink of an eye when it finally does get nice here. It's going to get nice, and then it's going to be over. The rain was amazing yesterday. It was wow. just amazing. Yeah. yeah, It was like one really long like shower. Yeah, I picked a great time to you know start the heating of the pool process, by the way. <laughs> 56 degrees and raining, and I'm trying to keep this thing at 85 degrees. <laughs> My electric bill is fucking... <laughs> Just insanity. I was over Ants yesterday, and the steam that comes off his jacuzzi. Dude, yeah, and that's pool. not a good <laughs> thing, dude. I, I hate. That is I water. hate heated pools. I give me a stomachache. I love a good. It's like wading pool. into urine. I love a good <laughs> heated pool. You'd rather just like la- jump in and have that initial shock, but then you're nice and yeah, fuck, yeah nice yeah, and you comfortable. Know, this summer or spring has been so fucked that it every pool is is freezing. That's as I said. It looked like looks like when. Martin Sheen comes out of that swamp in Apocalypse. That's my pool. <laughs> I can't take 
ice cold water. It sucks. And there's been no sun. It's been raining like a son of a bitch. So I'm just, my electric bill is just pumping heat into a pool. So it's like 60 degrees out and you could kick off your slippers and wade into the oh, pool yeah. with your glass oh, yeah. of wine. I get in. I had a, actually, I just had a Pilsner glass of Bud Light. <laughs> and I went out and fell asleep in the jacuzzi. <laughs> I just put my head back. I, uh, with a pillow, uh, I can't imagine with that's, a towel behind that's it. Healthy, and just like <laughs> sat there. And then I woke up, and the light, outdoor lights were on. It was kind of getting dark out. I'm like, ah, that was nice. <laughs> if I stay in a jacuzzi too long, and get hives. Nah, it's you don't great. get hives or it anything. Wasn't boiling from, hot. from your body heating up. No, nah, it wasn't boiling hot. It was you know I yeah. regulated a little thermostat action. You know, it, it, like the glass of beer and everything else. I was right with you, but then just yeah. to have that heat. That's fantastic, too. Oh, well, the iPhone Listen to his comes voice. out today. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, no. no it's, it's I, fantastic. This is the tail end of the Iraq f- flu that, that that idiot brought in here. Iraq decided he was going to come in sick, and he came in and, you know, made me sick. So now uh, I've been doing that oh, 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 where you feel like you got something in your throat, and you keep swallowing, and then you realize it's just... You're fucking that stupid punching bag. The, oh, the gulping the worst. is the and you're like, worst. And you just know you're getting sick because of it. Yeah, you get the gulp, and the only thing you want to do is sleep because you're under the weather. Yeah, and 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 you just all night just long. Doesn't work. You're waking up because you're gulping. I sound all sexy today. Got my sexy oh, boy. I'll my sexy, say my sexy raspy voice. Uh, uh, I I just out of nowhere said, "Wow, the iPhone," because we got yeah. I I, I got to explain to the newer listeners. We have like eight TVs in here, and every once in a while something pops on the. TV and you want to like just all of a sudden maybe bring it to the show. Yeah. Uh, the iPhone comes out today. And what bothers me, this dumb Channel 11 here in New York, a local news station. Yeah. I hate the news more and more every day, especially the local news. They're doing a story on phones and somehow they say the, the Blackberry into the fact that the iPhone is coming out today. Uh huh. And they got stock footage of, uh, oh, you saw it, Danny? They got stock footage of the Blackberry where they still have antennas. Oh, the and old one, right. The older yep. versions of the Blackberry. And, and, and that's just some lazy guy that works for Channel 11 yeah. not updating yeah. the stock footage of the Blackberry. Uh-huh. So they show some guy scrolling on like a real old Blackberry that has to be like four years old. Scroll, scroll. And in the phone world, four years. I mean, that's that's yeah, crazy, ridiculous, right? It's crazy. Are you getting your iPhone today? Uh, where's an intern? What? You Go want... over to the Apple Store. Get me my iPhone right now. He's gonna have to wait online and all that. I don't see a line. You could get it right now. Look, I thought at there the were Apple gonna Store. be. I thought there were gonna be really long lines today. Uh, might not, be, not might this be later. Economy. Oh, yeah, that's a economy. that's a good point. Might be later. An intern. Get You're him. gonna see I Bobby Kelly. Will be uh, he'll be over there. Yeah, Bobby, Bobby likes the today. iPhone. I bet he will. What kind What's, of phone you uh, have, Bill? I actually, I finally caved in and I got a BlackBerry. How much is see? the uh, the big one, Bill? Separated birth, me and you. Huh? It's all. How much is the big one? Oh, see, look at that. I yeah. I think it's the exact same one too. I think the same color. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Travis knows. Three hundred. <laughs> Get, That'd be get, funny if you give me a slug. If, I, if you start fucking your life up and I start getting nervous, uh-huh. like oh, God, that's that's what's going to happen to me in four years. <laughs> I know we got an intern wandering around that's not doing anything right now. No, I want my fucking iPhone right. You got the now. money ready to go. I got yeah. it right now, and I want the best one. He the actually best. had that in his pocket in his pool. It was just so hot; it was already dried out. You know what you're doing? Nothing. Sure. Nothing. Not yeah, he doesn't listen. Oh. You know what you're doing? See, he's in another world. He's, he's we could five. just talk, and he won't even know that we're talking about. Uh, I know. Oh, now you know? Yeah. Okay. That's five. Five I think bills. It's three. That's heavy. Look at him. F- five $100. He is like payola right. in his shirt from the 70s. Uh, you know where the iPhone, uh, the Apple store is? I'll look it up. Wait I'll a minute. Look it up. Evan, th- this, no. Evan's been here too long to have to fetch stuff. Swivel hips? Yeah, Swivel you know what? It's, 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 yes. time, it's time to hold your ground. Well, can, can you trust a new intern with this? Oh, no, all right. That's well, true. Evan's that's true. buying Nance's iPhone. That's true. Go get it. Go down there. One that just looks like this one. Black. One. You got it. Black. Because I think, are they white and black? Travis? I hope he buys you an old one. It was on sale. And, and it's the. <laughs> <laughs> there was no lines or anything. The 3GS. And if they want any info, you say, I'm buying it for a very important man. So don't fuck with me. Just give me the box. Here's your money. It's the iPhone 3GS, not the 3G. 3GS, the brandy new one in, you know, the black color. You got it. You are the man. 3GS. All right. Here's a mission. Wow. What, what, Danny? Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Yes, Danny? Well, the 29, I mean, the 300, that's the subsidized price. 
so subsidized. That means if you sign a contract, but you already have a contract, right? I have a contract. Yeah, oh, so you Evan could have made a few bucks. You have to pay a little more. Oh, he, all right. Well, he gave him five hundred. Whatever it is. What's that to I a man who can thing. heat his pool during the monsoon <laughs> right. season? Exactly. I have AT and T. I have a contract. You tell the guy I'm buying it for somebody very important. He can't come down here. He can't be seen in a store like this. So he's buying. I'm it. a made guy. Yeah, yeah I'm a made man. <laughs> I, 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 so you go down there, pick it up in the box. I have it. All I got to do is sync it up. You you ask him that. Go right. go. He's got one. All he's got to do is sync it up. I think and he, then put I the, think he understands. the new phone in and fucking transfer his shit he over. Understands. He's trying to make it important. Yeah, he understands. It's very easy. Oh, what, sir? I just want to make sure the off contract price is uh, enough. That you gave me enough for that. Oh, I better, I better have. Okay. Yeah, that could be a problem. You know we're broadcasting, right? All right, there you go. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. It's very important. Let's say hi to... It's big news today. I got to get that phone. Let's say hi to Nick. Speaking of the iPhone, Nick, what do you got today? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, man. Hey, Bill. Love your stuff. Thank um, you. Just want to let you guys know that uh, I was online last night. I, I listen all the time. I was listening yesterday about the XM Sirius app, and um, I know you guys weren't in the description. They did change that. You guys are now in the description right before Jamie Foxx in the Foxhole says the virus with Opie and Anthony on the description when you're buying the app. See? Looks, looks like someone around here had to eat a little crow. Little uh, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was telling Ann, I go, and that's why... We bitch on our radio show. We don't okay. bitch just to bitch. We bitch to get things done. Yes. And I want to thank the company for once again seeing it our way. Yep. That's it. That's once again, it proving that we know more than you. Yeah. Well, I, I, I got to agree with you guys. I mean, you guys are definitely by far the workhorses of that company. And I mean, thank if you, you look on reviews, it says like, no, Howard, this sucks. So the app's going to get a shitty review because Howard's not on it. But what people don't realize is, like, how good the app is because you guys are on it. Like, I love the app. I use it. I used it all day yesterday. I got to listen to the whole show for the first time. Yeah, the app is amazing. I mean, we were bitching and complaining yesterday, but we all checked it out. And, wow, this is going to pretty much destroy regular radio. I think this is yeah. the final, the final yeah. step. Yeah, I'd say this is, this is the first fully portable satellite radio that actually works. Yeah, because I, I love Ugh. the... I had an XM portable radio. I loved it, and it was small and stuff. But in this yeah. world, you want everything on your phone. You don't want to can, I, can I get that on my uh, BlackBerry? Yes, there is a there's a way to do it on the BlackBerry. Not uh, as easy as the. Uh, of course not. Well, it's not as easy as the iPhone app, but I, I'm sure they're working on some kind of BlackBerry app as well. I, I would imagine. I don't know because I don't really talk to anyone around. I just here. like yeah. Verizon. I can't deal with AT and T. Really, I Everybody got the AT and T. It's great it's all as long as I don't make phone You're calls from my apartment. It's all the same. Oh. You're the only guy I ever heard. Say AT and T's great. It's, all it's the same. great. I'm not saying it's great. I'm just saying all I've the had, same. I've you had wanted every to throw service. your phone through the window when you first got it, and I've had plenty of phones I wanted to throw the, through the window with Sprint and fucking uh, Verizon no. and every other goddamn no. phone. Sprint company. sucked. Verizon's been great for me. Well, see, so, right, hey, and you watch your mouth Hold around on, me when you talk about Verizon, Sorry, sir. Bill. Hey, we're losing <laughs> Nick. Nick, thank you. No problem, guys. Have a good one. All right. Yeah, Why the, is it costing me more if I'm already a customer? Because they're cunts. Because they Wait, get... Travis is saying I have to activate the phone there? Yeah. Why is that, Travis? Well, just like just like when you got the 3G, it had yeah. to be activated to your account. Why can't I do that at home on my computer? They won't let you walk out of the store without that phone being on an account. Why? Because if they're selling it to you at that price, AT&T wants to know that it's going to be, like, that they're going to be getting the money for that phone. So what do I have to do? I have to give him my phone now and have him go down there? Well, I think you have to go down there. What if, what if fucking, what if Obama <laughs> wanted to fucking get his iPhone today? Does he have to stand in an Apple store? No, he probably pre-ordered online. See? No. What if fucking anybody? You, you go down there and get your iPhone. He just brought up a good point. You could have pre-ordered online. Yeah, why didn't you pre-order? Why would I pre-order? What, and wait to get it uh, fucking Monday, maybe? No, they're all shipped today. Bullshit, they are not shipped today. Yeah, UPS actually Bull had to hold fucking back. fucking shit. You know, it says right here in the post that they're all shipped out today. No, yeah. it doesn't. Yeah. It, does. it says pumped I'm, I'm on the looking, cover. I'm looking right at it. No, you're not. You're lying yes, because I'm looking at the same one. You're looking at it upside down. You're full of shit. <laughs> I'm not going to sit there. Why can't I fucking buy something? And just have I give them money, they give me the product. I don't get it. 
And why is it costing me four hundred fifty dollars if I don't sign a new contract? Because they're cunts. It's well, going to cost just, you four no, fifty if you don't sign the new it. contract. That's Mike in Connecticut. Just replace your phone. Just take that one off your account and put this one on. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Why can't cook. I do that at home? That's all I got to do. It could all be done on com- the miracle of the computer. Yeah, it can. So why do I got to do it down there? Well, here's what you happened don't. to me. That's why there's eight thousand fucking people on a line. You can do it all on Apple's website. Yeah, you, that's what I want to do. do it last week. So why can't this guy just fucking buy me my phone? I go home with my phone because he needs, my new phone. because he needs your AT and T information. No, he needs th- that's not why. That's not why. What they're trying to do is get you. Wait a second. Someone's coming. Wait, Evans back. Uh, Holy oh, shit! Yeah, go on to my <laughs> problem. I, uh, I just want to know what size you wanted because it comes in a variety. Of, uh... I said. <laughs> The oh bestest one they make. <laughs> okay. The biggest and no, let's bestest. Go podcast. The biggest and bestest. I will but do now it. I'm hearing there's a problem. Oh, no. I'm yeah. hearing now through Travis that the phone has to be activated there. Yeah, that's what I was reading. It's now, what I is. I tell you why. Why? They want everybody to do it on the, get used to doing it on the computer so they can fire all the people down there so it's cheaper for them. So what they do is they can't just give you the phone down there, they have to punish you. So what they're doing is they're gradually, they're gradually training you right. to do everything. I mean, I'm telling you, within four years, you'll be building the phone yourself. They'll, give that you a, they'll just give a yeah. soldering iron and some fucking the whole thing. circuit they will. boards. And you're or have to build if, it you want, if you want one that's already made, you can stand in line for nine hours. I want to know what I got to do to have someone else go to that store and buy my fucking phone for me. Well, how'd you get your phone last year? Did, did uh... I stood on a god shitting line at the Roosevelt Field Mall oh. in front of the Apple Store and waited, and then went in and had some guy fucking with his beep 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 the tricorder it's in the his same hand. Thing you got to do this year, but I don't want to. What Wait. if some? What if someone else can do that for me? What info does he need to go down there? He probably needs your AT and T account info, and he might need some other more personal info, maybe some. Email addresses or what if you know, why why maybe. I bet Evan knowing Evan the way I know him <laughs> can get this done via power of persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it, Evan. Look, all right, let's do it. You go down there, Sam. Maybe you should go down. Uh, why don't you give him yeah. six hundred bucks? A little you payola. Down, yeah, a little payola. You go down there and say, look, here's the deal. There's somebody. Don't give him the name. Just say it's very important person cannot just come down to the store. He needs his phone today. Today. Okay. And then if you need any info or anything, you get on the phone, you get on the horn, you call up. How about he calls the show? Exactly. If you can't get a phone, call the show and we'll, call the show and we'll, uh, we'll talk walk you through, through it. it. We'll talk you down. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. That's the job. But the, bi- the big one. The 32. I want the 32 black, sleek, nice. All right. Well, is the thirty-two is that a three ninety-nine or four ninety-nine? <laughs> on is this a on the contract or a radio show host? No, because there's going to be tax. I just want to. Uh, he's not going to have prepare. enough money. For real. Oh, he's going back into well, his... Evan. Typically, uh, people are the biggest and to... best one is oh, the cheaper shit. model. Oh shit. <laughs> he's out of money. I just don't know if that. He went back into his blood money and he came out with a bunch I came of out singles, with sing- crumbled oh, singles. Looks like a seventh grader in a cafeteria. Yeah. Is it that one? No is way. It, is it that much? Hold on. Now uh, now it's a thing. Instead of a little thing, now it's a big thing. Yeah. Joe in Boston, what's up? Yeah, there's no way he's getting that phone. When I tried to do this on the 3GS, they wanted, my, they wanted my picture ID. They were all kinds of shit. They would not give you a phone. Unless, you stand, unless you're standing there in front of them, you're not getting a phone. I don't understand this. Is it, is it, because, is it because too many people are jailbreaking them? Getting them somewhere I, 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 else and... They're and Nazis with their phones. I tried to get a replacement. Nazis. Mine broke. They throw that word around serious. a lot these days. <laughs> yeah, what happens when you break a phone? What? What? Mine was broken. I go into the store, and this fucking asshole behind the counter, he's like, well, let's do this to it. Well, let's do that to it. I said, I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. Just give me a new phone. Give me a new phone. He would not give it to me. Finally, I pissed him off so bad. He goes, he takes three new ones, puts them on the counter. He goes, all right, fine. You pick one. You pick one. You see which one's going to work for you. I said, give me that one. He said, okay. It's just going to happen again. And he was pissed off, asshole. I walked out of the store with a new phone, though. <laughs> see, I don't deal with that with the BlackBerry. Fuck them. It's always, it's always nice and easy. 
They don't, uh, they don't need all this info. I just Travis buy, I just buy right. a phone. Let's uh, say hi to Cody in Indiana. Cody. Yeah, I, I have to agree with that other caller. And this is, uh, yesterday I talked to a guy at AT&T, and he said what you have to do. Don't send him to an Apple store. Send him to a corporate AT&T store that sells them. And first you have to call a number and authorize him to be someone to make changes on your account and make sure that he, uh, this is kind of sketchy. I don't want to authorize him for anything. I want to authorize him to buy a fucking product. You won't get it then. Sorry, man. Why don't you just write him a note and be like, it's okay if my intern Evan. Yes. It's kind of it's scary Evan. you can't just go in and just buy a phone. They're now really forcing is. you to get their uh, their service contracts and all that. All Anthony, that why don't you just wait a week and then just waltz in right out of your heated pool? Because I need to have the all video right, well, ha- capability. Send Evan down. Let's. Uh, this will be a good experiment and see what happens. Send him down and see what see what yeah. happens. Rick, what's going on? All right. Um, the reason they won't let you just buy the phone is because AT and T doesn't really make money off the phone. They make money off the plan, and people are buying those phones and unlocking them. And if you look on eBay, I mean, I don't know about now, but a few months ago they were selling them for like a thousand bucks, and people over in like China were buying them because oh, they can't get the iPhone over there, or whatever. Hold, hold on, Evan. Tell Evan to hold on. Why? I got an idea. Oh no. Give Evan. Give Evan the USA Today ad uh, yeah. and have him point at my name. Okay. So here's say the ad. Say we're selling a lot say, of iPhones look, today look. because we're great say, radio broadcasters. Say, see this name? See, you see this name on the pic? See, there's a big thing. Now playing on your iPhone and iPod Touch. See, go down here and go, see that, that name right there? That's the guy that I'm buying a phone for. His name's right next to the fucking product on, in the newspaper. I'll do everything. In yeah, my but power what's to, to prevent someone phone? from doing that? Anybody? Who's gonna do that? Huh? Who's gonna? Well, now that you said it on the radio. Well, fuck everybody else. How about you Just, take? Hold on. Could be Bob. You got, hold on. Dude, hold that, on. That you is got, that is how Edwards. you live. That uh, is the the that's your life right there. Uh, fuck everybody else. I'm trying to help you out. What's the matter? Do you have a phone with yeah. a picture? All right, yeah. take a picture of you and Anthony in front of the microphone. I'm buying the phone for this guy, and, 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 and then you can and also hold up show my iPhone. Then you can also show hold the up. logo that's on his mic stand that's in the U.S. Uh, a ad. Hold up the phone. I'll hold up the phone. It's like a hostage thing. Yeah, hold up hold a up newspaper. Paper. That's what I'm saying. Give me yeah. the newspaper right. with the ad. Give me the newspaper with the ad. Turn your mic flag around because it says Opie and Anthony, same logo that's in the USA Today. There you go. Today. All right, now let's make bets. Who right. thinks this is going to work? I say no fucking way. All right, now get behind Anthony. Anthony's holding up the USA Today article, his iPhone, the mic stand. It's oh, obviously he's broadcasting. He's make it the straighter. Guy. Make it straighter. The Opie and Anthony logo on the wall behind you. You got the picture. Now show the people at the Apple Store that you're buying a phone for that guy. You go see see this picture. It's all you should need. See, that's all you should need, right there. It's not going to work. All the info. It's okay, not going to work. Oh, it's got to w- work. One more thing. It's oh. the best one is four ninety nine on contract price. So with tax, I'm going to need a little. Yeah, extra. you're going to need at least another hundred. You can give him as much money as you want. He's not coming yeah. out of there with a phone. Oh. Dude, that corporate mentality. I'm sorry, sir. They they, they don't let us. I I know, sir. Well, I would be upset too, but they they don't. They don't. That's but, what they do. But I, but I. But, You're not going to get I, one. I got, You're not going to get one. What's tax one. on 500? Mm, I don't pay tax on anything. 700? It's like 40 and change, 42, oh, wow. 43. Is that how much? Yeah. No, right. it's like 20 on the 100, 40, isn't it? 42 bucks. 42 bucks. Who's got 50 bucks? I'll pay, I'll pay it back right after the show. I got it. Just got to go do, to an ATM. Do, do, do. Tell you what, I'll loan you the fifty bucks. Go but if you ATM. don't get it, you got to pay me a vig of twenty five bucks. You got to give me seventy five back. <laughs> fucking vig. I like that. Idea. Huh? You like that? that? Some, I like that idea. I'll that fucking is some mean I'll juice, lo- motherfucker. I'll loan shark you. Yeah, my fifty will now cost you a hundred. Well, you got twenty like five on you. Uh, fuck yeah. Yeah. All right. You you got to pay the juice. You got to pay the juice. I am not paying the juice on. The well, then you're not getting your goddamn phone. No iPhone. No nice phone. Hey. Oh well. Why is this such a chore? <laughs> it's the redheaded brothers. <laughs> I don't like this. Separated at, all. at birth. That's right. Twisting your arm. I One. got twenty five, but I need I got to three, bucks. three bucks. <laughs> three bucks. Really? Yeah. I got three bucks. <laughs> Wait a minute. There we go. There's a couple of fives. Oh I'm up my to God. thirteen. You're a broke ass motherfucker. 
Dude, Fuck you. Really, you don't even have Don't 20... bite the hands that feeds. You really don't have to bite No, I don't. <laughs> you started this. Huh? It was a great idea, but I don't know. It just kind of fizzled up. We ran out of cash, of like a lot of things. He's making fun of me for having three bucks in my pocket. It's after I took 500 out. Hey, they cut my budget. It's All a right. tough time. How much is it? I got 15 16 17 18 dollars. That's how I roll. I'll give you the I'll give you the 50. Just just And I want the 50 back and my wedding gift by Monday. Oh, uh, that's you know something. That's a good You don't have an iPhone, right? No. I, I want, I want. Yeah, but Aunt- that would be good to send Evan with an iPhone. Someone's suggesting this with, with an iPhone running the show so that you could hold it up to the guy and say, "Okay, here it is. I'm, I'm talking to the guy, work. and then I could go, hello, look, it's me, and I talk to him through the radio. Uh, this Opie. is, this is uh, all kidding aside, this is why I don't get an iPhone. Opie. This is it right here. And if BlackBerry starts this crap, then I'm out as far as Blackberries go. Well, I, yep. I go in a store, and I buy the latest BlackBerry, done. Don't have to buy their stupid contracts, nothing. Yeah, nothing. but they, they have a little scam, too, when you're, when you're up for the upgrade. Rather than just giving you the upgrade price, it's like they charge you the full price. Then you have eight minutes to send in that fucking coupon. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you're always like, you're not getting me. And then life hits you. And then you're like, <laughs> then it's too the late. They do play the coupon game. Yeah. As long as you get this in the mail by tomorrow. Yeah. Listen, if you charge him money, uh, that'll be great because he doesn't have the money. Well, actually, he will because he'll bring it back. Yeah. I just want at some point I, to have him go to well, an ATM. I, I go to an ATM. Evan and Sam, why don't you head to the Apple store and see what we could get done? You don't have enough money. What? Well, now I need I need an money. extra fifty bucks. <laughs> we don't have enough I'm money. I'm just looking to borrow it. For fucking <laughs> like, like How I'm just looking to borrow it for a few money. minutes. Just a few minutes. Yeah, somebody just go over there and fail, so I can enjoy the rest of my day, knowing that he's pissed. Fucking, uh, yeah, it's not happening. Fifty bucks. Oh well, <laughs> for fucking like you should have been 50. nicer to me. Look for at like, Soriano. Why did the Yankees minutes. get rid of him? I love it. Where's an ATM? Although Cano's great. <laughs> I'll run down during a commercial break, motherfuckers. How about, Maybe how they about, can put it on your bill. How what? about you Maybe go, they can put the bounce on your bill. On my bill? And you go. <laughs> my bill. You go. What, do I got a tab down there? You go. Get on your iPhone and let's walk Let's walk th- uh, the people through the you know the process. Do you want me to go down to the Apple store? No. You, you, uh, I Why don't do we that. stretch out the bit and then have I him can... fail first? <laughs> so yeah, we can yeah. get mad, go on his rant, and then storm down. And then he'll be upset. I want Anthony mad. Yeah, you fail first. Yeah, then means... I'll go down there angry that I had to come down there. All right. Now we're working. you yeah. raise holy hell? I want a fuck oh, lace yeah. tirade. Yeah. I'll fucking go crazy. I'll be playing. I'll come down with, with the show playing on here mm-hmm. going, you hear this? Look, I'll talk on the phone and it's like, now you hear me out of this, don't you? You hear me? They're going to think you're a lunatic. Of course they will. I'll be arrested. Uh, you could buy foam for five ninety nine with no contract. Not the 32, though. But I, dude, no, you but can't why buy would I buy one without a, a fucking contract? Getting a oh lot of... Just... I need the contract. Call AT&T store. Use the app to tell them it's okay. Need social security number, phone number, and various other proofs of ID. I'm buying a phone, not getting fucking security clearance for the CIA. I'm sorry, line. sir. I understand. But you, you, we no, just... you don't understand. Oh, now there's a line. There's a line. Now there's a line. There's a line. See, you I'm just... not waiting so on the line. Just, just ask if it's okay if you go in front of a few people. Oh, right. just, just yeah, send somebody over there, there to line? fail. Now there's a big line. No, those are people milling. Nope. Big line. Line. They got the barriers. But there wasn't a line. Uh, right. They had the line somewhere else, and now they moved it up toward the store because they didn't want to, you know, those people. Hey, anytime you're in a line that the news is filming, you're a fucking loser. I'm mad. Oh. You still need a Nobody? Bucks. Nobody's going oh, back me on that one? Star Wars? <laughs> Who's giving you the 50? Somebody from uh, one of the music channels down the hall got, gave me 50 bucks and said, please give this to Anthony. Because so. they want to hear a radio show today. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> the line, we have a lot of fans here. Trust me. They're I'm like, oh, debt. God, here's this fucking 50. Can you guys do something? I count on you guys. If the line at the uh, Apple oh, store is too more long, talk on yeah. us. The, uh, the AT&T store might be a, uh, a good second choice. All right. Whatever it takes. They all get right. defective phones. But they, no. They do. <laughs> no. Yeah, somebody They're was all sealed. Me. That's no, what I All heard. the good phones go to the iPhone store, Apple store, and then the rest, they go, you know what? Eh, a couple bugs in these. Let's put them in the other stores. Oh, my God. I just want the fucking phone. You ain't getting no phone. What is the problem? What is the problem? The problem is, is you're not doing what they want you to do. Why is you this? You should have gone online like a good little boy. 
Why is this a problem? And now you're being punished. I should be able to go and make a purchase. Go to the grocery store, scan your own fucking food, and you bag it. That's true. So we can yeah. fire everyone there. <laughs> it is go true. online, Home order Depot's your phone. Got that. You go through and you just shut beep, your beep. mouth and be a good person. Yeah, I don't want to bag my own groceries. No. Oh, the people who do that are the wanna... dumbest motherfuckers that on is, the planet. This is a major hassle. I like people go, it's easier. It's easier. Really? What's easier than standing there and letting two other people do it for you? It's easy if you get eggs, milk, butter, but all of a sudden you're holding a mango and you're like, how the fuck do I pay for this? Or even worse, you're standing behind a plumber with a mango trying to (laughs) figure out how the fuck to do it. You're like, all right, it's a fruit, I think, or is it a vegetable? I don't know. I had a guy try to tell me that that was technological progress. It's like, no, it isn't. That's just me Mm -hmm. doing the job. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're making me work. Yeah, if I walked up and magically, I all of a sudden I knew what I owed and it was in the bag. Yeah, if, if you're bagging your own groceries, you should give them a bill. Look, I just did yeah. a job. You I'm owe working. me. Now. I work for you right now. I'm taking yeah. this mango for free. <sighs> sir, I'm sorry, sir. We can't do that. Sir. I'm <laughs> sorry. I understand, it's always, sir. It's I'm always, sorry, sir. Uh, you're not on the list. Uh, I'll look again, yeah. sir. They can never help, but they always understand. Yeah, very I don't. I don't know why they transferred you to me, but I just. Yeah, well, I, I understand. Well, there's I, no reason to use that language. Okay, <laughs> goodbye, sir. <laughs> oh, All right, you got the money, you got the picture, you got the fucking attitude. All ready to go. Uh, All right, please just go over there and fail. Get so down I can there. Enjoy the rest of my day. Get down there and go get them. Mm-hmm. Bring me back a phone. That ain't happening. Travis is just shaking his head like everyone's shaking. Their it head. ain't happening. You, you know, if you had pre-ordered, you could have picked it up at the store right after the show. I don't want it after the you show. Just, you could have walked in. I, did you hear the pause? He just got look, upset look, in that look, moment. <laughs> I could go after the show. I don't want to. I have things to do after the show. Like I what? want the phone now. I want to be sitting in my heated now. pool drinking wine by 11.20 exactly. today, sir. Exactly. <laughs> Here, on, on Apple's website, yeah. uh, what to bring. Oh. You must bring the following with you when you visit the Apple retail store. To buy something from them, you yeah, have yeah, to bring yeah, all no, this stuff. Money. No, for the how about, how, about money, I, how about I bring my fucking credit card and you yeah. give me a fucking phone? Right. Well, okay, credit card I, I'm is I'm not one. buying into this Apple sir, culture. Sir, I'm sorry. You credit can't use that language one. in this store. I'm sorry, sir. I ain't buying into the culture, man. A credit no card way. is one. All right, no credit way, no card how. is one. A valid. Not my phone, not my problem. That's what I say. Government issued. ID. Yeah, right. So a license. <laughs> and your social security number. No oh. way. No way. What is this garbage? <laughs> what is this garbage? garbage? No way. The kid in the background going crazy. I bet her fist. I bet her fatalisk burned. I bet her a little kid in the background fucking going crazy. <laughs> not me. No way. Not once. Not never. <laughs> All right. So Evan's on his way. He's on his way, and uh, right. I have zero faith. All right, we're gonna take a break. Zero faith. When we get back, we'll uh, we'll check in with Evan and Sam. Sam's on yeah, the scene. Yeah, Sam, of course, is going with the uh, his little recorder. I got to tell you that story about that girl I saw get arrested last night. Oh, too. absolutely. Oh, yeah. Bill Burr has a great uh, arrest story from last night. Yeah, and, nice. Uh, and other things. She got bored with Billy Joel. They're saying today. She got bored with him. She said it was an age thing. Oh wow. yeah, obviously. That's like how did the, how but, did they but break then, up? I think Billy's like, well, she didn't have a problem with it seven years ago, yeah, or five years ago, or whatever. You know it what? Is. The more his life gets fucked up, the more I like him. I was never real. I was kind of into his music, but the second he started driving his car into people's houses <laughs> and cheating on supermodels, I fucking love him. He really is. I I just never got into old playing piano. But this guy, is, he's a rock star. Uh, yeah, he is. Billy Joel is a fucking rock star. He lives what, the life. What wasn't he doing, though, if he can't uh, well, satisfy the old She youngster. said that, uh, now remember, I only read the first paragraph of news stories. That's my new thing. But what I learned is that she, uh, when he, he's not on the road, he likes to tinker with his uh, antique motorcycle collection yeah. and sail around uh, in his yachts. Sounds like a pretty good life. Yeah. Doesn't sound bad. And she wants. She's bored. She wants to go to the city and party and this uh, and that. And he's sixty, she and she's does. twenty-seven. Do you know what the word "tinker"? That's a female word. That's the word they use. That is a for. female word yeah. for you're not paying attention to me. You don't tinker on a motorcycle. <laughs> tinkering. Yeah, That's, like do, you're out there with this little fucking like. What's that little the the triangle that you play when you suck <laughs> at music? Tinkering is something unnecessary. When you tinker, 
on your motorcycle, you're just doing something that isn't necessary. Yeah. When you're working on it, you're doing something that has to be done. That's what you're doing. You're He's working. out there futzing around, futzing. tinkering on his thing. Fuck you, lady. Futzing is another word. Not fucking making my car run correctly. Tinker with no, your No, in your hair. mind, you're getting something done. In their mind, it's, yeah, you're, they're... He's tinkering. Uselessly tinkering. Yeah. Yeah, guys don't use that word, among other guys. Among other guys. Guys, we don't tinker. Ooh. All right, Opie and Anthony, stay there. Opie and Anthony for Friday with Bill Burr. So we're, what do we got? We got Evan and Sam heading down to the Apple Store to get your iPhone. To not get my phone. Yeah, it ain't happening. I hear you need we'll see all how kinds far of they, ID. We'll see how far they get before they... Uh, Fail. And they showed the line, by the way, uh, which is building by the second. Well, you guys it were arguing like the, forever. You guys could have been first on line. I thought it was the uh, protests in uh, Iran, <laughs> and it turned out to be the Apple store. Half uh, of them are probably listeners who didn't know the phone came out today. Like, oh, shit, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. In line in front of you. I reamed it. Uh, Not going to happen. Trying to and help you. It. Trying to help you. I will splash the pot whenever the fuck I please. <laughs> we were talking about how over the top uh, Malkovich's uh, accent was in Rounders. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's great. Chick, chick, chick. Give that man his money. <laughs> 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 we might have Sam on the line. Ah. Or actually, Evan. 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 Hey. What's going on? Uh, outside of the Apple store right now, there's, uh, there's quite a hubbub around here. Pretty long line. Uh, lots of press. Uh-huh. Trying to assess the situation, how I'm going to penetrate. And it uh, looks like they're just about to open the doors to the store now. Ah. I'm going to try to so nothing's my going way on. In. Okay, yeah. so when they open the store, I thought it was 24 hours. What the fuck? Uh, well, they're, they're waiting to let people in. I think it's 7, which is about now. They're letting, I think they're starting to let everybody in right now. Okay. I'll bet you $18 you don't get it. I, I wouldn't take that bet because I wouldn't uh, pay you because I, I know he's not going to be able to get it for me. I'm very upset about this. So what, why should I need government power. documents to buy a phone? It's where we're heading, my this friend. This is crazy. This is all Bill Burr. This is all everything Bill Burr said that mm-hmm. I laughed at is all coming to fruition, yep. and I am and the idiot And all these morons here. are down there standing in line helping them do it. Yes. Helping them. Helping. <laughs> Evan, are you making your way toward the front door? Uh, I'm standing in front of it right now. We're not online technically, but I'm going to try to circumvent that. Oh, good luck with that. <coughs> the friggin' the, the Ma- Apple Store Gestapo. He's going to get beat up by somebody dressed like Boba Fett. Yeah. Boba Fett. It's the same nerds. The Star same Wars. nerds who stand outside to watch the next Star Wars. The Star Wars convention? Yeah, we'll line up to buy a fucking phone. What is that noise? They're cheering because they're opening the doors, right? Oh, woo. We can spend our uh, good money on this. So you should have been down there interviewing those fucking losers. What happened? I'm going to let you guys go. I'm just going to let people in. I want to start uh, trying to make my way inside. All right. Is, All right. is Sam talking to people? Uh, not, I think so. He went somewhere. I don't know where he is right now. Yeah, he's probably he's talking to some people. Yeah. He's got good instincts. Yeah, Sam's oh, good that way. With another update. All, right. All right. Thank you, brother. All right. There goes Evan trying to get Anthony's. Uh, new iPhone. And it's not going to happen because apparently I have to go down myself. Yeah. If, if Obama wanted an iPhone, he would have to stand on line well, in, the at the Apple store. Which is shock if I, you, you know something? No, 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 no. There is uh, uh, one rule. If, if, if he could do it through somebody else, and I know damn well someone like, let's say, uh, Tom Cruise. He's not standing on a fucking line at an Apple store. He could fucking get somebody, a representative, to go down there and get the goddamn phone. We're not, we're nowhere near Tom Cruise. I'm just, I know. That's just how it works in I'm this world. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I should then be able to send a representative to get me my my, my iPhone as long as hey, I have the money. Tom Cruise makes Hollywood blockbusters. We tell dick jokes. There's a there's a drop off there. There are probably other people in the same category that, uh, yes. yeah, as us. You think uh, Mr. Down the Fucking Hall would stand in that line? Warren Beatty? Warren Beatty? <laughs> I mean, you know, if your star has fallen, they eventually come down to your level. Like, I would say... Uh, Who's coming down to our level? Who would have to stand on that line? Scott Baio. Yeah. Absolutely. Scott Baio is standing on line. Absolutely. You're right. Willie Ames would be escorted oh, away from the store. Ames. He wouldn't have the money. <laughs> he wouldn't even have the money. <laughs> would, right. His credit card would be denied. The lady who played He's on the Star that, line. that woman who played Marsha on the Brady Bunch. She yes, had, uh-huh. all that whole cast, the whole cast of the Brady Bunch turned down. 
Except Florence for, Henderson might have some sort of deal with some sort of kitchen product where she could like, get around yeah, it. Yeah, she probably might be able to. But who who would you say is the biggest celebrity that wouldn't be able to do it? Like you, you've named plenty of tech, someone on the bubble. Old, yeah, someone oh, that's on oh, the bubble. That, I, that Tom would be Arnold, the way. Jason Biggs. Jason Biggs. <laughs> the last, the last Jason. wave of young Hollywood people taking over. I would say everyone from the, that movie uh, American Pie. Uh, you think? What about the Dawson? You know what? <laughs> Outside the Kevin Smith show at Carnegie Hall, I saw one of the American Pie guys, <clears throat> and no one recognized him. So you wow. made a really good point really? right there. Yeah, I don't. I forgot his name. He was. Uh, he was on our show. Was it Pie Fucker? Uh, who fucked the pie? I don't even remember. Jason, Jason Biggs. Jason. Oh no 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 no! I know because he was in. No, um, it was the other guy. He was in one of his movies. It was, it was the other guy who was like uh, hitting on the mom. Stifler. Stifler. Is that his Stifler? name? Stifler. Would Stifler be able to? Now, Stifler would be able to send a representative. I've never really seen that movie. That's how big that movie was. That actually, you know, the people. In I haven't it. seen it in years, but one of the guys from American Pie was outside Carnegie Hall, just waiting in line to get in like everyone else, and yeah. no one knew that it was one of the American Damn, Pie guys. Yo. So, uh, let's say hi to Tim in Alabama. Tim. Yes. What's up, Tim? What's up, man? Hey, my wife tried to get me an iPhone for Christmas. She's on the account, and she could not give me an iPhone because the account was in my name. Uh huh. Yes, I understand. It's Christmas. I'm I'm sorry, ma'am. We just can't. Yeah. We no. We understand because that's just how they do it. They don't. They don't let us. They. There's this. Yeah. Just very awful. vague. They. Yeah, that guy. Uh, Thanks, that, Danny. The guy you just saw. Yeah, that guy was outside the uh, Kevin Smith uh, show at Carnegie Hall. And he went completely unrecognized, and and he was in one of the biggest movies of the day there. Yeah, Travis uh, said that's Eddie K. Thomas. Yeah, he was, and he's a good guy. He's been on our show. He was promoting some uh, oh, off Broadway play when we were over at the XM facility. Oh, what was he in? That the Charlie one Brown, the Charlie Brown one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was just walking outside Carnegie Hall, not not a mm. hint of recognition. And he was huge when that movie came out. He was that whole cast was huge. He wasn't one of the bigger ones. I don't recognize him. You really don't recognize him? No. Let's say hi to Jim in Florida. Jim. Hit her, Jim. Hey. hey. Good morning. Happy birthday, Bill. Thank hey, you. Hey, this is on the lines that you were saying this is where everything's going, and this is for Bill especially. Apparently in Denver, when you're buying a house, they're fingerprinting you. You get fingerprinted for buying a house? Apparently that's there. what they're doing out Did there. you have someone with it? Come on. Yeah. That's no, they, they're going to barcode everybody. Yeah. And then they're going to fucking bankrupt the dollar. And then whoever doesn't go along with it goes into those FEMA camps and gets processed. <laughs> so they're going to solve the population problem. He's just talking over you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You are. All right. Punch it out. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting. Uh, so you get processed into a FEMA camp. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I just know bankers run everything. Apparently. Yeah. The Illuminati. Uh, yeah. Nerds. Let, let's say hi to Mark in California. Mark. Hello, Bill. All right. Uh, <laughs> I heard on Wednesday nights, either Colbert Report or The Daily Show, that's where I get my news, yeah, that course. Obama is calling for the Federal Reserve to have complete control over the entire banking system of the United States. Mm. There you go. Yeah. There's, there's your liberal. There it is. Yeah. They're all me. the same guy, dude. They're all the same fucking guy. You know, I was thinking the other day in 2004... <laughs> When Kerry ran against Bush, you had two white guys, both from Yale, both who were remember the skulls. Go yeah. ahead, take your pick. Who do you like? <laughs> Spin the wheel. <laughs> yeah, do we really have a choice in this? You country? don't. Primetime Sam Roberts. I'm looking at uh, the Apple Store. Uh, they're interviewing people. No, there's no primetime Sam Roberts. Where's primetime? Let's say hi to Anthony in the Bronx. Anthony. Hey, what's up, guys? What's hey, up? Man. Bill, I'm a huge fan, by the way. Thank you. Uh, so I was just at the Apple Mall, the Apple Store in the Westchester Mall, and I'm a registered user under my mother's account. I was there for two hours before they came out and said, oh, no, no, she has to be here in person with her ID and everything. You you can't be here, even though you're a registered user under oh her account. Yeah. Oh, my God. Why do they make it so hard to buy their product? I don't get it. I don't either. I, I don't understand. I don't you know must I have two of forms of ID for us to help yes. you. I can't do the accent. Where are your papers? 
Kids got alligator blood. All right, guys, punch it out. All right, thank you, sir. Hey, when I was in Utah, they got that whole new thing if you want to skip the security line, if you allow oh, them right. to scan your retina and fingerprint you. I'm telling you, they're getting the barcode on everybody. Yeah, that's what it's all about, like getting... What? What's up, yeah. B-Rock? I think you. You can see Sam and Evan on Channel 5. Where? Evan's right there. Oh, oh Evan's okay. not in the fucking store. No, here's the problem. There's a whole group to the right that goes down 59th that they're letting in right now. Yeah. There's a second group, I guess that's 60th, right. and that's where Evan is. So he has to wait for that first group. Oh, so, oh come on. So he's not even close to getting in the no. store, Ant. He's Look not even close to getting helped. Look at this son of a bitch bragging. Let's let's call Evan, though. I bet you he's going to lie and say he's in the store as yeah. we're watching him. Do you see TV. what these idiots are doing? Look at him. Yeah, it's yeah, shiny. Honestly, Sam. It's Sam's Sam. on live TV right he's now. He's behind the guy's head right there. Right. If they move, there you go. There's Sam again. If they move the camera, you get to see Sam on Channel Five here in New York. There's Evan oh, on Channel Eleven. There's a Evan on Channel Eleven. Look at that. Look at everybody. There's a guy dressed as an iPhone. Have oh, Sam walk God. toward this report and go. Excuse me, uh, I'm here to get Anthony a iPhone. What do I have to do? Where is a, 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 a out of control cab when you need one? <laughs> hey, what if you don't want to buy an iPhone? You just want to go in there and buy another one of their products. Do you still have to stand in that stupid line? Yeah, you're fucked. Like, I just want one of those cords so I can charge my iPod to my... Uh... Totally screwed. No, I bet you you're allowed in. Ain't gonna happen. They probably have some weird, like... You want to bet $18? All no, the money I, I, I have in my pocket? I went down there once to get something um, other than what the line was for. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, look at... See? Look. Look at the video feature. Look at that. I, I can't have that today. I can't have that. Not allowed. Uh-huh. Ooh. Stupid Evan. Where's Sam? You gonna drink Sam yourself run. to sleep tonight because you don't have, you don't have the iPod, Anthony? What's the difference? Uh, iPod, no iPod. Friday, <laughs> Thursday, Monday. <laughs> Just drink myself to sleep. Oh, we're watching. Uh, where, where is it? Channel uh, Eleven? Yeah. Is that where they're doing the big report from? Hey, Anthony. Uh, when when, when are we going shooting? People. Now that I'm here for a couple of weeks. Well, the second the fucking weather is nice enough to go out to Calverton. I don't, I don't want to go to You can't shoot in the range. rain, you pussy. Nah, fucking. Do you want to rust up your guns, so Johnny? Nasty. Yeah, just laying in the mud. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> what am I? Soldier boy. Oh, Christ. He's never getting in there, even. Evan's not even happen. in a line. Like, Evan's just hanging out yeah, where people hang out. Yeah. Well, we'll check in with the He's iPhone milling. problem. He's in a milling. While. Look at him. Look at Evan just milling behind that guy. He's not even online. He could have just standing there. <laughs> no, last year when I sat on that line, where Evan is right now, that's just where people hang out if they want to watch what's going on. Right. Oh, it's not even a line. No, no, no. no. He's not you can get line. in the line, which is to the right, which probably has hundreds of people in it. Yeah. He's just hanging out. Dude, he should have just gone to breakfast and gotten a lap dance somewhere and come yeah, back and been like. Come back, I lost your money. Yeah, I lost your money. You couldn't get one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, I understand, sir. Well, I would be upset too. We we understand, but they don't want us selling. They don't the phones. let nine eleven because <laughs> of nine eleven. They don't let us. Can I talk to they? What? No. no. They don't come out. From Ma'am, the is there any way you can turn the intercom down? No, there's nothing we can do. Really, they just installed it at full blast on this airplane. They installed it on ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's there's nothing there's nothing we can do. Holy Always shit. nothing we can do. Yeah, there's nothing. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. You're not allowed to stand oh, here, sir. Because because sorry. they want us to keep us. All right, area Evan, clear. what's going on? It's Sam. Here's Evan. Hey, no, Sam. Hey guys. Hey Evan. Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, I'm trying to work. Uh, who appears to be uh, organizing this event, and um, it's. Uh, you can say one way or the other, but I think I might be able to squeeze in within the next few minutes. We saw you. <laughs> we saw you on Channel Eleven News just loitering. Well, yeah, I'm waiting for my opportunity. You're waiting your for your opportunity, opportunity to what? Yeah. To, to get what? in. To to run at the door. I don't think that would be a wise choice. But but you said that you're waiting for something. But we just saw you you loitering. You were just milling about. Yeah, I'm, I'm with the rest of the. Crowd. Why are people I'm applauding? 
What are they applauding? Uh, yeah. What is the, what is the they're, sound they're, we're hearing? They're, they're applauding people purchasing the phone. People that have successfully purchased the Can phone. Can you believe how, what fucking idiots they are? It's like, <laughs> there's some chick hold, is she holding it between her titties right now? And they're seeing <laughs> breasts the for the store, first time in their just life. Just walking out the store with the new iPhone and they're applauding yeah. that. Yeah. We, wow. You Our, wait till they start sticking microchips in people. Those same fucking idiots are going to go down there excited mm-hmm. with the new technology. They want to be on, first online to have the microchip yeah, embedded in their fucking yeah, forehead. Yeah. Come out cheering. Woo! And then they shut them off. Well, Evan, I like it. It's easier. It's way more convenient. This is safe and easy and convenient for me now to make calls. When, bah, bah, bah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that people always know where I am. <laughs> it's got a GPS in it, so I'm safer. From the terrorists. Evan, yeah. they're applauding again. What's that? Someone there are else people walking. Coming in. It's like an end of a marathon. They're, they're, yeah. They're applauding people entering and leaving. <laughs> they're <laughs> applauding. Don't these people have to go to work <laughs> today? Unbelievable. <laughs> Anthony, that's that part of the marathon where it's just like the winner already crossed two uh, hours. Yeah, You're just yeah, applauding yeah. people for finishing. These are the courageous people. Yeah. The, the, the ones that Your walked Your dad who had marathon. ass cancer like yeah. six months ago. <laughs> exactly. He's the one getting yeah. the applause. All right, Evan. You're pretty much tinkering right now. We need you to <laughs> tinkering. You know, get in I'm there. Working. Oh, I think I think we might be good. Oh, okay. Let's hear. Uh, Funny if go. they start booing him. <laughs> he's uh, all right. He's, uh, he just jumped out of the back of a group of press people, and he's just gonna slide in with them. Oh, oh, oh! He's walking in with press people. <laughs> God, Evan's pretty smart. All right. If he gets through, I'm going to applaud. That's just the first line of defense, though. He's never going to get the phone. Oh, hang on one sec. Oh, okay. Probably trouble. All right, yeah, we're going in. Oh, okay. I don't know if we'll have service down in the store, though. Yeah, you should. Are you inside? Oh. Uh Uh-oh. Yeah, we got all... Evan got stopped. Uh Uh-oh. All right. (laughs) But he's getting applauded anyway. (laughs) Yeah, he got... uh, he got stopped. So we're the... back outside. Ah, ha, 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 ha. He didn't make it. He almost made it. <laughs> no, like we fucking got stopped Midnight the... Express. Get Evan back on the phone. <laughs> Why can't he just say that, you know, he's on part yeah, of the Open was... Anthony show that they're hyping the phone? And... Yeah, we're... Oh, we... They, only, they only took in live broadcast right now. What the and fuck what is the... this? Yes. We're a live broadcast. Television, apparently. Just television? So if you bought uh, a video iPhone, you'd be able to videotape it. Uh, Pricks. I feel, so, I feel pretty positive about this. I feel it's going to happen. <laughs> but you yeah. just got stopped. You just got thrown out. Well, I'm on the other side of the rope now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fucking... It's like a mongoloid trying to get into Studio 54. <laughs> it's just not happening. <laughs> Get Sam on the phone. Uh, uh, more people are coming in. Yeah, I know. More yeah, people that it, don't it include Evan. Wow. <laughs> That's some great on-the-street reporting there, Evan. Yo, people why not? are going into a store. Oh, they're going in. Now they're leaving. <laughs> why not? <laughs> the product they've purchased. I, I my kid. Uh, hey, why don't you give them people. that entire 500 to do a smash and grab? All right, hold on. We got an anonymous person checking in. Anonymous. Yeah, uh, I work at the Apple Store. Fifth, he get in his phone. Oh yeah. Yeah, man, no problem. Really? Yeah, no problem at all. Just uh, you know, do a little bit under the table, and we got it. No problem. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah, you sound like somebody that works down there. I do. How come I don't? How come I don't hear a big commotion behind you? I'm in the uh, storage at the back. Shut up. (laughs) Man, I got it for you. I'll give you one for free. Okay, come up to the studio with it. All right, I will. All right, th- thanks. Bring whole box. All right, whole box. I'll bring a whole box. Sam, Evan, who we got? Ah, uh, Evan, what's up? Ah, great. All right, so where are we at now? Go out, waiting right outside the front door, waiting for permission to enter. He's giving up hope. When people walk out. I'm not giving up at all. What? Just pay, patience. That's all. Patience. Yeah, it's called standing in line. I don't have patience. Too, no, that's, that's I have privilege. I don't need patience. 
<laughs> and again, as soon as possible. Uh, while you're hanging out, when people are walking out with their iPhones, remind them about the um, app. Remind them about the S- Sirius XM app with Opie oh, okay, and absolutely. Anthony. Say Opie and yeah. Anthony are available live on the iPhone. I'll tell every single one that comes out. Yes, yes. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. All right. iPhone. I'm going to give it back to Sam because I uh, want to say thanks for my what? opportunity to enter. All right. All right. Just Sam. Hello? Hey, Hi. Sam. Are you getting any uh, uh, audio from some of these people? No, because we've been in the, in the press section, not in the public section. Uh, I got gotcha. you. So what's, uh, what, is, I mean, what does it look like? What, what does it look like? What do we get? Line, I mean, the line's long. It's not as long as they would have liked because there is a lot of empty barricade space. Uh-huh. But, uh, but it is still long. Like, uh, it's going to be a few hours if we jump on the line, like a couple hours. Jesus. But there's a lot of media that's getting crazy. interviews with people. For a and phone, which you already it's have. Like, it's that's like a crazy. Hollywood event, really. Yeah. Listen to this. Listen to the applauding. So exciting here at the Apple Store. <laughs> such a sarcastic ass. I can't believe they are applauding people. That's people bizarre. that just bought a phone. Yeah. And they're applauding them. And those people waited <laughs> online all night. You know that. Yeah. And it's leading I guess, to people I, uh, exiting the store and celebrating with their phones and showing them to all the uh, press who's just clapping along with them. They're holding them up and like, woo, look what I got. <laughs> yes. I purchased this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, why why, just, why are there uh, cameras in front of like Dwayne Reed when someone walks out with their underwear, <laughs> like a package of Fruit of the Looms? Can you imagine if, if people Woo! applauded you when you after you bought your tampons? Yeah. Like, people outside clapping yeah. and wooing. Yeah, your enema, just holding up an enema, fleet enema, Woo! right there in your hand. All right, uh, Sam, this is exciting. I got to tell you. Yeah, see, we're part of the whole uh, media Experience. frenzy wow, that's right. going on with the uh, release of the cool. iPhone. I hate to interrupt, but it looks like we're going in. All no, right, that's impossible. We're going down the stairs, so hopefully I won't lose service. If I do, I'll record everything, and we'll get it in post. Very oh, good. That's, that's a good idea. All right, he's going. He's, they're in. Very echoey. In I hear here. it. Yep, yep. They're we still here. Yeah. Going down the big circular glass. Hey, he's stairs. going downstairs, everybody. Yeah. Downstairs. Uh, sales associate Woo! just directed Evan on where uh, he could go to get a phone. Uh huh. Okay. All right, we're one step closer to rejection. Uh-oh. What? Uh-oh. What Another we... sales associate just uh, looked at Evan and said, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. There's no reason to be yeah. sorry. I'm going in. What's gonna... the sorry about? What, what happened? I don't know. I'm, I'm... Oh, no. Oh, there's a problem. Oh, yeah. Jesus, I knew it. I don't think I'm getting Evan is... All right, we are getting online. Evan is getting online. Okay. But why is he sorry? Hang on one second. I'll put Evan on so he can give the recap of that conversation. Fantastic. All right, we're in, and now we're on another line inside. Why did a guy say he was sorry? What guy? I thought someone told you, I'm sorry. Oh, I tried to cut this line, but that couldn't. Oh, okay. How long is this line? It's relatively short. This is like a like a checkout line. All right. You got the phone in your hand? No, I don't. Damn. I don't think they keep them behind the uh, counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They yeah. sure shit ain't stacking those out there like a can of beans. <laughs> <laughs> Big right. pyramid of I'm, iPhones. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to answer the phone. But getting it onto your account, I might have to need some extra information at some point. Oh, but uh, Christ. I'm going to flash the cash. I'm going to flash the... The paper ad and the picture. Yes. <laughs> see how that does. That's all, all right. you need to do, and it should fucking, that should go over. How many people are in the store right now? Uh, I mean, I think there's probably about 100 people in here, but it's all a right. pretty big floor, so it's not stuff. Yeah, all right. Uh, get Sam back on the phone. I think Sam needs to start some kind of iPhone chant. Okay, Oof, sure. Not before he gets it. Hello? Sam, can you start some, like, maybe iPhone chant to get the excitement going in the store? Okay, hang on one second. Think of something good. For the iPhone, everybody. iPhone, 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 iPhone. It just looks like just me and Evan on that one. (laughs) On that one. On that one. Maybe (laughs) maybe because you need something better than just chanting iPhone. 
Okay. Uh, you should have told oh, them whoever it. chants it the loudest gets to bypass the line. Okay. Throw them out uh, so fast. Well, how about if we just start seeing if we can get people to chant 3GS? Okay, yeah. Oh, let's, wow. That's, that's yeah, let's try one. that, Sam. That's a good one. Let's okay. get the excitement level up. <laughs> All right. We're here to get a new iPhone, everybody. 3GS. 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 Three. No, that one, it was just me and Evan as well. Yeah, we're not being creative enough. <laughs> no. we need to what, really... Did you go to a new location where they don't realize what? you're the nerd who yelled it two minutes ago? <laughs> I don't think they Wait, care. Wait, no, we got to like, uh, hmm. What this line's we... too long. What the fuck? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> How about well, a I'm holy shit that... chant? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid some of those chants would jeopardize Anthony's shot at getting an iPhone. That's yes. why we want to do it, Yes. Sam. Yeah, no. I mean, how about iPhone? How about iPhone rules? Holy shit! iPhone rules? Holy shit! Um, <laughs> come on, Sam. Or, you just got to right. get someone who just got the phone. Sam has no problem doing it. All right, let's go, Sam. All right, they're champs now. iPhone rules? Holy shit! iPhone rules? <laughs> holy shit! I- no, just dirty looks on that one. No excitement. <laughs> no. Yeah, that was. Big. Yeah, yeah. That was a bad one. It, Bill, you got one? Maybe, uh, maybe that ties in like corporate America. Well, man. well, how about when a when a female comes walking out? You just oh, hang <laughs> on, we got a camera on us. Oh, hang on, I'll do, oh, we're gonna do an interview for CNBC. Hold oh. on one sec. Oh, nice. Cool. Uh, make sure you mention the Opie and Anthony we're app. The iPhone 3GS. We love iPhone and Apple products. 3GS. We love it because it's got picture messaging soon and hopefully better reception, maybe. 3GS all the way. Hopefully we'll spend five to seven hundred dollars today. On this Apple product. Uh, I'm going from the BlackBerry to the 3GS because I'm tired of all my calls going through. <laughs> Well, I went on all these internet sites, and they all told me that Apple has a touch screen. And so on the iPhone, you can actually touch the screen to text. And so that was the draw for me. I'm sick of BlackBerry. BlackBerry is yesterday, and iPhone is now. 3GS! 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 I'm tired of my calls going through. Sam Roberts. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, what, what, oh. what's his name? His name is Evan. <laughs> oh God, that's great. And and tell him and, and tell him why Evan's there, Sam. Evan is there to buy Anthony Cumia an iPhone from the Opie and Anthony show. She looked at me funny. <laughs> of course, uh, of she, course did. she did. <laughs> Are you guys just but, blackballed uh, with everybody yes. at this? Yes. yes. People hate us. I have no idea. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful fucking way to go through yeah. life. They always just just scourge roll their eyes. of society. How long would it take you guys to just reverse? All? Like, how long cure, would you have to behave yourself? Would cure cancer. I could cure AIDS. I would have to uh, peace on earth, clean the air. I would have to go into the uh, witness protection program and change my look and my name. Yeah. Wow. Sam. Yeah. How about another iPhone? Wait, what? iPhone rules? Holy shit. I was saying well, if a woman comes out who we're... just bought one, just chant, uh, put in your cunt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <Just fell>. Sorry. <laughs> you know what? I like it. Uh, we're actually we're next <laughs> on line, so we're about to approach the cat. All right. right. All right. Here this we go. Good. This is what we're uh, waiting for. How, this how, is the big moment. How was the big interview with CNBC? It went great. I hope everybody is tuned in to CNBC after the Opie and Anthony show goes off, of course. Well, and looks for uh, me and Evan on the big screen. Oh, that would rule! I, I, li- I like you. I liked how you said you, you're tired of your calls going through. <laughs> uh, we're getting a very good idea for a chant, uh, Sam. Could you chant? I'm here. I'm queer. I want my iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's see if this works. Okay. All right. iPhones, everybody. Evan, chant with me. We're here. We're queer. We want our. Oh, we're here. We're queer. We want our iPhone. No, nobody was down with that. <laughs> How about you chant, I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. 
and, and that's it, huh? Yeah, they're like, well, that's it, huh? Well, right, he, he, how about we it. are nerds? Yeah. Try oh, yeah. to get him to go with us. Oh, that's good. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see if they'll get behind me on that one then. All right. Evan, let's do another chant and see if we can get him going. One, Did- two, three. We are nerds. We are nerds. We are nerds. <laughs> I'm proud of it. <laughs> We're, yeah, we're just getting one phone together. Oh, here it comes. Oh, we're doing it. There must be all the chanting. Yeah. Sam, I got one more chant after you get the phone. Uh, they, they won't get the Hopefully. phone. Hopefully. They will not get the, the phone. The chant is very easy. Pussy yuck. Pussy <laughs> yuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh-oh. Somebody has just handed the sales associate an iPhone. Okay. Uh-huh. And... Evan is getting the handshake, and uh, they said, what's your name? And he said, Evan. So it looks like he's pitching right now exactly what's going on here. Uh I don't want to get too close as to uh, disrupt the sales process. Right. You better uh, say the O&A show. He's reaching into the pocket. He's got his hand on the Daily News ad. Oh, Oh, Jesus. It's not good. He's ready to pull out the big gun. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> All right. He just, showed him his, he just showed him his serious ID card. <laughs> and, oh, and, uh, he pointed up. at me. Uh, he pointed at oh, me. No. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I waved. <laughs> he got his hand on his shoulder. <laughs> uh, all right. Evan, what's the update? Um, he's going to work it out with his manager about buying it on behalf of Anthony. Oh. Okay. All right. Wait wow. a minute. All right. See, we should have had money on this, you know too. This would have really ratcheted you know yeah. up the excitement. Yeah. Sam, ver- uh, very good news. Uh, we have time to do another chant. Kevin from Connecticut. Yeah. Uh, you're going to do Kevin from Connecticut's chant. It's very easy. Just yell, I'm Sam Roberts, and I want to recruit you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe after we get the iPhone, I could yell that in celebration. Yeah, yeah. Or that do we like, like a celebratory thing? Or do we like pussy yuck, pussy yuck? <laughs> I like pussy yuck. I say you do both about, back to back. If, close with pussy yuck and yeah, start with I, I the think that's a big recruit. Yeah, the yeah. pussy yuck or ew vagina, ew, ew vagina. vagina. What you, you choose? Yeah. Okay, I think after we're going to, uh, Evan is talking to a manager. Oh, we oh. can get this iPhone. I'll uh, okay. yell out the recruit you thing and talking then the, the manager. Uh, Here we go. Another chance that okay. I don't say out loud. Here we go. All right. Uh oh, a lot of head shaking happening. Oh, oh that's never good. Shit. But the sales associate is talking to his manager. It looks like he's uh, justifying Evan's case. Ah. So maybe. He's got like a lawyer I mean, there. We, yeah, this is, uh, Evan appears to be scanning through his, uh, pea brain trying to figure out excuses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. The iPhone is literally 12 inches away from Evan's hand. Just <laughs> grab it and run. Grab it and run. <laughs> it's so close, it's so far. They're teasing you. He tasks uh, me. Sam, threaten them. Go, if you don't give us that iPhone, I'm going to get naked in your store. <laughs> and just start pulling well, your clothes off. Walked, I think Evan is doing a wise thing. The manager just walked away because it appears that Evan is letting them know that we're live on the radio trying to get an iPhone. Oh, nice. Oh, no. You know what? So, that I, I think it's time for another chant. Because it'll okay. get to the point. They just want you out of the fucking store. So they go, all right, here, take the fucking okay. iPhone. Which one you want to do? Well, you got to stay away from something vulgar because then they true, can just be. True. Yeah, yeah. Then they got a reason. The press agent just came over to talk to Evan. Now. Oh shit, that's not good because they have nothing to do with the sale mm-hmm. of the phone. Problem. Yeah. Big problem now. You're gonna yeah. have to leave. You're gonna have to leave the store. Mm-hmm. Did you get your interview? You got everything mm-hmm. you need. Dude, if you somehow had a female listener go in there and buy the phone, and then you had other listeners chant, put it in your cunt when she <laughs> left, and she actually did it. <laughs> Fantastic. Ugh, the glow coming out of her vagina. Uh, that would have been... Yeah. You know oh, I mean? That would be a lot from, of hits. Uh, what's going on? I'm going to get an update. What, what, what's happening here? Uh, they seem to be mulling it over between them. Okay. They're mulling it over. 
mucking over. He's got a 32 gig iPhone in his hand, but the manager, it says manager right on her T-shirt, is talking to Evan. We're on the radio, Miss. I'm not saying anything derogatory. She didn't like that I was talking about her T-shirt. Oh, oh, well. What was on her? Tell her to press the fucking app, the Sirius app, and listen to the guy that wants the phone. Looks like uh, they're 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 pointing and clicking on their uh, credit card machine daily that they you know ring you up uh, before you get to the cash register. So uh huh. They're, they're pointing at something. They're talking about pricing. Uh huh. Because I heard him say that's before taxes. Uh oh. Uh oh. So well, I don't know if Evan is doing some of his bargaining here. <laughs> bargaining? There's no. This isn't Bangladesh. <laughs> oh no. What's the matter? The lady just said very clearly, like, so, like, as if Evan was retarded with her hands and everything, I could clearly hear her say, he has to be here, he has to sign for it, and made a motion of her hand as if she was signing a paper. That's when you got to be, I have power of attorney over yeah, Anthony's yeah. estate. Yep. What? At, tell okay, him. Hang on one second. Okay. I'll, tell, I'll, tell, I'll tell Evan. Tell him what if, Evan, what if he was if buying it for Obama. He said you have power of attorney. Over Anthony's estate. What if ask him? What if Obama? What if Obama needed a phone? Would he have to come down there? Ask ask the woman if she'll come Evan, on the. Uh, ask if what if Obama needed a phone? Oh, uh, she she was happy with that question. <laughs> Why? But uh, it's a le legitimate right, question. Sam, ask her if she'll go on the radio and and, uh, and talk to the guy whose phone this is for. Okay. Miss, I don't mean to bother you. Anthony's <laughs> on the radio right now. Would you mind coming on the radio for a second? Yeah, I understand. Oh. Oh, my goodness. No, she's, she's not interested in that. Uh, was, uh, but she, she understands. She, I told you. Yeah. I she understand. backed away and said, you need to stop, and Dar has already told you to stop. Oh, boy. I, How about... Oh, that's, uh, that's no good, huh? All right, you need to... <laughs> that's no good, Sam, huh? you need to chant, I won't leave. I won't leave. I won't leave. <laughs> I, think, I think Evan has something. Okay. Oh, okay. I can only get it on the off-contract front. No. Now, what does that Evan mean? Wants, it means he pays $700, and then you get it without a contract... And then you take that phone later and have to activate it in an AT&T store or something. No, that's ins insanity. So basically, you pay the 700 and then you get what you would have gotten for 500 except later. <laughs> no, I don't want that. <laughs> I mean... Well, the next chance should be, yeah, what yeah. a ripoff. What a yeah. ripoff. I, this is amazing. You could buy a car easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Evan, what's, the, what's, the, what's, the, what are, what's our plan then? Um, I hope you have a credit card. You wouldn't mind putting the difference on. No, I'm not paying seven hundred dollars for a phone. <laughs> Sam, want to pay seven hundred dollars for the same phone that? Well, once you activate it, you'll get the money back. Oh, he said once you activate it, you'll get the money back. Yeah, but then that sounds like you crap. still have to go to an AT and T store. No, I Sam, don't want to do that. Sam, start a sit-in. <laughs> All right, um, Evan. They want us to start a sit-in. So I guess uh, I guess we're sitting in then. <laughs> 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 Didn't realize I was going to end up uh, getting arrested in my attempts for an iPhone. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Start a hunger strike. You're all in, Sam, until you get that fucking iPhone. Wow, this is not good press uh, for you. I hear more <laughs> applause from people that actually yeah. are getting them. Tell them that yeah, they're. Are, tell them they're are getting these things and they are clapping for them. Tell them that uh, you know they're they're a big sponsor on our radio show. Uh, Evan, did you point out the apps to them? Do what's the apps? Ask the associate about that. You know, Candace has the manager. Has, <laughs> Very much left, and I have no idea where she is. She's hidden or something. Well, well, Sam. Well, if she wants to hide, we got a new chant for you from Candace. Are you ready for this one? Uh, let's see, yeah. Let's see what kind of ball Sam's got. Just start a oh, chant boy. that that says "bait and switch." Bait and switch. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Hang on. Evan. Stand right there and start a chant and just start screaming bait and switch, bait and switch. Oh, Evan said he doesn't want to do that until he's exhausted all op- options. Oh. All options are exhausted. I think they're exhausted, right now, too. Right now, he's choosing the option of standing uh, with nobody talking to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Evan. Just tell him. To- you guys bring some liquid ass oh. into the store? <laughs> liquid ass. Evan's talking to the manager again. Okay. Yeah. At the manager. And I think he's uh, he's trying to use some of those other options he was talking about. Exhausting. Yeah. Just uh, exhausting all uh, options mm-hmm. now. <laughs> it's over, Johnny. Uh, not according to Evan. He's still optimistic. <laughs> he's a retard. Hey, Sam. Yeah. The press is still outside, right? The press is still outside. You, you know that if you cause a commotion when you're leaving the Apple store, they're going to want to know why you're causing a commotion. And then you kind of explain what, you know, what happened in there. I wanted to buy oh, the yeah. phone. I couldn't buy I one. I couldn't. I had, I, you know, I wanted to buy it for somebody else. They're in a wheelchair. They can't make it down here today. It's impossible for them to yeah, make it down here. Make a big to-do. Right. So, you know, obviously they're making it very hard for the handicap to get the iPhone 3G. Yeah, that, oh, they'll report that. Oh, yeah, they will. They'll be all over that. Okay, then how about I, Evan just said that the what he's gotten from exhausting all his options is the promise that we could leave and then come back and we don't have to wait on the line. Oh, so oh. I think the only uh, alternative here is to leave the store and start uh, maybe some kind of like maybe some kind of bait and switch chant in front of the press. But but then wait, you could come down there. What you mean? I can go down and cut the line. <laughs> I'm assuming Evan and me would have to quit here. Right, right. I would assume. Yeah. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. Mm. Jesus. I Just got, go. give him the fucking phone. Yeah. I, I, they can't. Isn't that amazing? I'm sorry, sir. That we're not. Allowed. I understand. I understand. <laughs> I want to fucking go to that that corporate training to see this. When they start telling you that, sh- how just, that's just done. Always tell them you understand. I understand. I understand, sir. Yes. Sam, where are we at? Are they asking us to leave, Evan? No. So what are we doing here? All right. Um, would you mind staying here? I'll run back to do the cab and pick up the additional money. All right. Evan's I'm not... is for me to stay here. Right. He runs back to the studio. Yeah. He gets the money from you. Yeah. Then he comes back here, and then he buys the phone, and then he gives you the phone, and then you come back here after the show and activate it. See, look, no, <laughs> I'm not buying the phone for 700 and activating it. And even if I get my money back, I'm not going there after the show. The whole goal is for me to not go there after the show. That's why you're there now. But... <laughs> But that seems to be futile. Just leave and, and cause a, a little ruckus in front of the press. Okay. All right. We're going to get out of here, Evan. Yeah. All yeah. right. All right. We're, we're exiting the Bring back my money, bitch. <laughs> and, uh, Evan, when you get up to the top there in front of all the press outside, yeah. I need you to start chanting as loud as you can, bait and switch. Just be flabbergasted. And be flabbergasted. And if the press wants to interview you... Make some stuff up. Yeah, brief them okay. on the way up about the whole, you know, I'm trying to buy an iPhone for a handicapped friend that can't get down here, and and uh, they're telling me I can't. Oh, no. What? Opie and Anthony, I have bad news. There's only three cameras left outside. <laughs> oh, of course. Evan, you've failed on every corner. <laughs> he says we haven't failed yet. What, do, what, what are we doing next, Evan? We're going to pick up that rest of that month. Oh, are we? He still wants to, He doesn't understand the concept of you don't want to <laughs> come back and activate the phone later. <laughs> he doesn't understand that? <laughs> no. I don't want that. <laughs> oh, boy. Evan. I hear Bobo's here. Maybe, he, maybe, maybe he Bobo can go, go down to the Apple, Apple store, store and help me out. <laughs> I need an iPhone. All right. are, are you guys out of the store? Yeah, now we're out of the store. Oh. 
Yeah. Uh, this is terrible. All right. Well, there you go. We walked you through it. It's, it's easy to get the new iPhone. Yeah, apparently. We don't have one. Mm -hmm. All right, so Coming back empty-handed. All right. All well, right. Come on back. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the, the okay. attempt. There goes Sam and Evan. Bye-bye. Right. Uh, Bye. -bye. Uh, <laughs> I like Kevin's. Huh? I like what Kevin says. <laughs> uh, let's say hi to Kevin in Connecticut. Kevin. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, what's up? Uh, have Sam go back and pull the race card. You won't yeah. give me the phone because I'm a black man. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. That would be fun. They would wait on him hand and foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did everything we could. <clears throat> yep. All right, we're going to take a uh, break and get into some other things. Yeah. yeah well, oh, the, the arrest story. Bill's, yeah. You're just exhausted now, right, Bill? Well, I mean, I also got two and a half hours of sleep last night. Yeah, I hear at some you. point, you know, once once put it in put it in your cunt didn't go through. <laughs> right. I just I really wanted to hear that. If you could just somehow <laughs> could good. And she did it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the press would just be like, "What the? <laughs> just makes no and sense." And the woman put it up her vagina. All right, we'll take a quick break and we'll continue. Opie and Anthony and Bill Burr. That's amazing, Opie and Anthony. During the break, Danny is showing us a, a video of Britney Spears. I guess a fan jumped on stage, and Britney Spears completely freaks out and loses her mind. There's no real audio, but the video itself is priceless because you can uh, you can just see the fear. Yeah, she's scared shitless. She is scared like shitless or something. Yeah, she she's created this, a new dance move. Yeah, she did this. Shake. I think I'm gonna get murdered. <laughs> this is uh, about like six. Uh, it was about six weeks ago, I guess, maybe two months ago. And uh, it, when it first came out, it was the best thing I'd ever seen in my life because she is so legitimately afraid for her life. Like you could see it in her face. She's shaking. She, her hand does this little she shaky, yells. this and, little shaky and, move, and she tilts to the left and puts her hand like. Hey! And starts moving backwards. It's yeah, like yeah, the electric like... slide in the Harlem Shake. <laughs> Amazing. Combined. <laughs> it's on YouTube. It's up to like a million views. I can watch already. this over and over again. What what, what is it? Craze. Uh, yeah, if you just type crazy... in like uh, Watch Britney, Watch Britney Spears ah! fan on stage. Yeah, yeah, you'll get it. Yeah, you'll find it. And the kid looks like he's completely harmless, by the way. No, nah, you see a security guy come out to the side, too, at the last minute. Like, look at this guy run in. That guy. Oh, that guy. That just big black guy is up. ready to fuck that guy's world up. Obviously, he took care of the situation because then she she pauses and then goes he back into tackled, dancing. I think. I think he gets tackled. Yeah, tackled His right back head into the audience. Disappears pretty quickly from the picture. And that's got to be hard for her. Like, to literally think you're going to get murdered, then you have to go back to dancing, doing some stupid dancing. <laughs> like, okay, in where, her were hot we? pants where were cop we? Outfit. Yeah, I know. All right. Uh, oh, Bill. Speaking of dumb whores. Yeah. <laughs> you saw a nice little scene last oh, night. Oh, it was great. Last night I was coming out of the comedy cellar, and all of a sudden somebody comes running up to me who looked like an EMT with his white shirt. <laughs> and going, freeze, like freeze. And it was, uh, it was Keith the cop, right? You like the white shirt? No, I love it. I love it. But yeah. uh, I, I, you know, I've never seen a cop with the white shirt. Like, evidently, he's got enough credits. Enough TV credits where he could just be hanging down to the precinct, but he's he like big man on campus now. Yeah, he likes the action out on the street. Yeah, right? he likes still being out on the street. And we were literally talking about that. He goes, "What are you doing? What are you doing?" And I, I'm like, "Nothing," because I totally forgot that I had to do this shit at six in the morning. So I'm like, yeah. oh, "I'm just hanging out." And he goes, uh, "Yeah, we should, you know, just whatever." So I'm just kind of hanging out with him. And then he literally gets a call, and it's two fucking bars down. Oh, and shit. I walk down there, and there was some. Some girl in there, I guess she was talking to some guy, and something happened, and she, she punched the guy she was talking to and then dumped a full beer on another guy who had oh, nothing to do with anything. Right. Now, right there is a guy, you're getting into a fight. Yeah. You're going to get stomped by the dude, or maybe you start to win, and then the bouncers stomp you. So she gets out of that ass-kicking. Right. Because yeah. she has a vagina. <laughs> she screams at the bouncer, and the, guys, oh, the bouncers, you know, take her out of the club. And she gets mad, and she dumps all her belongings for some reason out onto the sidewalk, like a purse, hairbrush, yes. flip-flops. Drunk. And that's when we like showed up. She was, like, gathering her shit up. And uh, the second uh, they showed up, she started flipping. Ah, da, 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 da. Started walking towards a cab, and then she just turned around and, and took an umbrella and threw it at the cops. Keith and the other dude. Whoa. Yeah, you Then, do then that. she thought she was just going to turn around and get into a cab. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving now. Oh, yeah. I have a vagina. That's what you can do. I can just throw... <laughs> yeah, what happens to us if we throw an umbrella at the cops? Oh. I was, dude, it wouldn't we even have got, got nice, to Keith the cop. We would have got yeah. a nice stomping. Wouldn't even have got you would have got stomped by the fucking bouncers. The bouncers. You'd have been bl a bloody mess. Mm -hmm. Thrown on the sidewalk bloody. Yep. 
Right. So then she turns around to the cab like, well, I guess I made my point. And then they walk over and grab her. And immediately I'm totally excited. And I realized how much I fucking can't stand women. And I was just like, <laughs> yes, arrest her. Show no mercy. Right. And then they put her up against the wall and she tried the crying. She tried the I'm the baby. Um, you're bruising me. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that old gag. Oh, and then they ended up putting her in the car. She kicked her heels off, and she's literally as hard as you possibly could is kicking the side of the, the, window? Uh, the window. Like in on there. Cops. When you watch Cops, they, the lunatic uh, chicks are always mm-hmm. banging their head or their fucking feet against the window. Like a cat using its back uh, legs. Literally. Up against the window. <laughs> <laughs> and I literally, I literally said I mean, to I- one of... I literally said to one of the cops down, I go, be honest, dude. I go, if I did something like that, I didn't even finish it. He goes, oh, yeah, dude. He goes, your face would be in the pavement. (laughs) (laughs) That's That's definitely a double standard. Uh, And I was like, unless you're an ugly woman, then they kind of consider you a guy. They're goon arming in this chick on the uh, video. We're watching something. I guess she's going to take a sobriety test. She thinks she's leaving. She's just trying to leave the room. Yeah. But this cop is like, you can't leave. You're under arrest. She's like, no, I'll just go home now. I'm all right. And now comes the little resistance. Yeah. What? Oh, this is, this is, I just love the look of absolute shock. It's like, why? You can't. You can't do that. I have a vagina. I have a vagina. I can say whatever I want and dump drinks on people. And I never get punched in the face, even though I deserve it. What are you doing? (laughs) Yeah, she, oh, she's getting roughed up a little bit. She's, she's a blunt object. Down. Let me throw it at you. Sit your ass down, you fucking meth head. Oh, and then they start crying. And they start she's flipping crying out. And will not sit in that fucking And they seat. always yell, you're hurting me. You're right. hurting me. Because in their life, there's always a bouncer who's going to run in and break it up. And she's crying her eyes out in this shot now. Mm-hmm. She keeps getting up. Now she's laying on the floor crying. Her fucking shirt is falling off. That's great. <laughs> And the guys are staring at her. Yeah, like like she's a little What's kid. What's on the floor? Is that all blood on the floor? What the fuck, what Danny? Happened there? Yeah, she got no. fucked up a little no bit. No way. See, right here when uh, they blocked the camera, I think they, uh, I think she got a little tune-up. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> it looks like she got punched in both eyes, but it's really oh, the forearm shit. shiver to the nose. Yeah. Oh, broken damn. Nose black, both your eyes up. Yeah, broken Broke nose. Broke her uh, fucking nose. That blackened her eyes. As she fell off the chair on her face. A lot what of blood on do? the floor. All right, let's... Uh, Holy shit, did she get fucked up? She got off easy. <laughs> Look at her. She doesn't need collagen. Some badass <laughs> black eyes. That's a lot of blood on the floor, huh? And then uh, they're wheeling her out. Whoopsie. Hey, Matt on Long Island, what's oh, going on? There goes my theory. <laughs> hey, guys, on? Yeah, you fucked up the, Bill's whole theory there, Danny. Yeah, he had to show me the fucking one where they actually That's blasted the her in the face. What's going on, Matt? Hey, how are you guys, man? I'm a new series subscriber, and I've been listening to you guys for a long time. Uh, you know, even back in the PAB days for you. All. Ooh. And, uh, you know, I'm, I got to tell you, I'm, I, I like listening to the other guy, but... I think I'm switching over a little bit. I think I'm moving. You guys are pulling me in like, uh, you know, like a moon around the Earth's orbit, you know? A moon around moon the Earth's orbit. All right. Okay. All right. I got you. I got you. Well, we don't want to lose you, so all right. We'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. it, don't want to blow it now. It says it says a WNEW listener, which means you haven't heard us in a while, and now you're starting to uh, turn back into us? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I haven't heard you guys in a long time. Or tuned back into us? That's pretty yeah. cool. <laughs> hey, what? You got yeah. the serious app? No, no, I'm actually, I got the, uh, I guess now it's old-fashioned, but uh, I thought it was cool two days ago. I got the thing on my dashboard. Oh, that's okay. Oh, old school. No, that's all right, too, but uh, SiriusXM just came out with an app, and it's, it really is amazing. I, I'm getting uh, a bunch of tweets today, and people like, uh, because of the app, Ant? Yeah. Opie and Anthony, back in my car. Yep. See? That's all they got. How does it work? How, it how, how does it work? Well, because we have a lot of fans that don't listen to us in the car because uh, why? Why? They're broke. See? I go like well, this. But, yeah, you just... You... I press the little app button. All right, well, or... Go ahead. <laughs> Well, he asked how it worked. You could just tell and me rather than easy. demonstrate it like some I like to demonstrate. game show host. Yeah. Now. And then, uh, yeah, there it is. I hit my favorites because I And then I got to put it up favorite. to my ear like I'm on the phone. Oh, with says the Bill and Keith the cop. No, we're yeah. not. We're, the reason it's in the car, because now you can dock your iPhone. That's, yeah. that, that's what I was getting at. Not how the app works. That's easy. Well, exactly. That, yeah. But you could plug it in uh, and plug it into your car. You know, because uh, I know uh, my Ford. Has a uh, little jack that I plug in. There, see? 
they start crying out. and will not sit in that fucking. And seat. they always yell, "You're hurting me." You're right. hurting. A little delay. Who life, cares? A bouncer who's gonna run in and break it up. And she's crying. Oh, all right. So if I, I uh, so I can get that on my phone. I can plug my phone into my car. Well, if you got the iPhone. Yeah. There's no BlackBerry jacks in the cars. And the that, cars are starting to show up with like, uh, yeah. you know, iPhone jacks. And, or you could just take your headphones. You know, yeah, that's true too. No, I can there, I can play an away. iPod in my car. Yeah, right. If I can do that, can I do that with the, my phone? We can do it not with, with your iPhone. BlackBerry. Do an iPhone. You know what? Fuck, fuck everything. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, thank you. Just, I always right, just guys, have to buy care. something <laughs> else. Of course. All right. There you go. Matt's uh, now listening to us, which is good. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, Phil cracks me the fuck up. <laughs> you know, added. fuck everything. Just everything sucks. Like, how, what kind of a human being? How long can you stand in a fucking line for a phone before you just have a goddamn respect for the, how long you live on this planet? Respect for yourself. For yourself. How and just bad be do you like, need you the time what? wasting? How bad do you need the product on the first day? I never right. understood that. Dude, I was. I get excited about products, but I'm like, if if it means standing on line all day, fuck I'm that. Not doing I'll, it. I'll wait till next Tuesday. The line will be a lot shorter, and I'll be, uh, you know, I Dude, I was the on difference. Ninth Avenue. I was having a sugar craving, like some chick on her period, and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna get a cupcake or some sort of cookie. I there was this fucking line coming out of Amy's bread, and I stood in it. I. I f- 15 seconds in, I was snapping at 45. I mean, I'm not fucking staying in line <laughs> for a goddamn cookie. Good. You fucking losers. Snap. Yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Another 10 minutes, I'll get a slice of red velvet cake. You're a fucking loser. Just put a piece of gum in your mouth, you asshole. Save $7. I, I, don't, damn, I can't yeah. stand on lines for anything. It's not worth it. It isn't. All right, we got a great story that uh, hit yesterday after the show. There was no announcement, like I said, there was no announcements made, there was nothing. It wasn't until their plane touched down at Newark International Airport that most of these passengers aboard Continental Flight 61 found out. The pilot flying their plane died mid-flight. I said, what happened? You know, we wanted to leave the plane. I said, no, 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 you have to stay, you have to wait. I said, why? So we didn't know. Somebody right behind me heard, but then I didn't know if anybody else knew, so wow. we didn't say anything at all out of respect to the family. Wow. This, this, this is incredible. I mean, uh, this is not even coming from the airline to you telling me this information. But the 247 passengers got off safely after two co-pilots took over. Apparently, the pilot passed away about three hours into the flight from Brussels to Newark. (laughs) In hindsight, some of the passengers are glad they didn't know. It's scary, but it's nice to know that, you know, in all honesty, it's good to know that they didn't tell us because I think that would have raised more of a panic than anything. Overseas flight. Of course they got off the, the flight safely. They were on the ground at that point. Well, also, well, that's what you have. It's not here. If you're in a biplane and the fucking pilot dies, then yeah, yeah that, you're in trouble. You're fucked. Um, you're in a 777 with uh, two first officers and a pilot. Yeah. And the pilot goes. You got two guys there still that are completely qualified on the plane. <laughs> How psyched was that third guy? Always has to sit sideways. Sit in the he's always fucking, nodding yeah. off. He finally like, gets to sit up in one of the, the front the, seat. That little fold yeah, down butt. jump seat. <laughs> but someone had to remove the the dead body from the main seat. <laughs> Oh, and take God. that seat. That's creepy. Yeah. And then what do you do? Put a sheet over the guy? One of those horrible fucking airplane I would love to blankets listen to the over black his bugs. head? You oh think it's going to start God. smelling before we land? Oh, oh Strap shit. him in the jump seat. He's put losing a, his... Put a sheet over him. His bowels in the cockpit. Oh. oh. Don't, don't you lose your bowels about, yeah. when you die? So oh, God. Poor bastard. Had a stink in there. Poor bastard. And then he's just dead in the cockpit. Somewhere in the cockpit as <laughs> you're just... And they just, they should have done like that scene in Airplane where they're just dragging him through the aisle to the back of the plane. Right. <laughs> Fucking got his captain's shirt on and shit. And a couple of flight attendants just dragging him to the back. Ah, uh, they would have done that a long time ago. Oh, yeah, they would have. Mm. And the whole cabin would have been smoking. My God, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> it, it'd be fucking cloudy. Everybody smoke. fought in World War II, so they've all seen dead bodies, so it's no yeah, big deal. Yeah, yeah, that. Was like, Nothing compared to what my friend went through. Yeah. I remember seeing Benny, yeah, his head, <laughs> half his head was apart. <laughs> <sighs> big cloud of smoke in the fucking Half fuselage. the people in the back know how to fly. Yeah, yeah. I or flew parachute. B 17 in the war. <laughs> all right, get up front. You can fly this, baby. <laughs> 
An announcement went out over the intercom requesting a doctor to the cockpit. One of the doctors who responded said the pilot was already dead. There was well, of course he's going to say that. Jesus, yeah. Hey, he asked like for a doctor. He goes up there, and you know the results are the guy died. You're going to say, he's well, he was, he was dead before. There's probably I got some there. nerd who just plays flight simulator. Just always wanted to go up there. Yeah, let me get up there. Well, I got to check out a real cockpit. I could do this. Already dead. There was nothing he could do. The 61-year-old pilot appeared to have suffered a heart attack. Although it may be alarming for the passengers on board, Captain Lee Collins says there was never really any danger since there are three co-pilots aboard the plane. When the, when the pilot or captain became incapacitated, both the other crew members would then slide into their duty stations and continue the flight duty. normally with no effect of safety being seen. Regardless, it was, to say the least, a nerve-wracking experience for these travelers. Why? No, it wasn't. They didn't know. Yeah, they, it wasn't. First of all, they what didn't know. What was nerve-wracking about it? They, as, they're at the, as they're getting their luggage, they found out. Yeah. Fucking news. It's amazing. They didn't know. <laughs> no one knew. Yeah, and then nothing really major happened other than this guy died. Right. Yeah. They didn't yeah. stop but the that's movie not or, big. or the service. I'm sure they were still feeding them and... Hey, have you guys ever seen Airport 77 where that guy in the little plane has the heart attack and he crashes oh, yeah. into the big plane? Crashes into the big plane. I saw that the other day. You can't believe Was how fucking... Was that the fucking... Chuck Heston one? It's, it's, yeah, that's the one where, where like... they got to lower him into the big hole in the yeah. plane. <laughs> and you know what's funny is Airplane is making fun of that movie. And even as funny as Airplane is, it's not as funny as Airport as 77. Movie. You're absolutely right. Oh, Jim wow. Plunkett is in that movie. <laughs> a young, unknown Eric Estrada plays a character either named Hector or Jose. <laughs> it really is awful to and watch. And then the lead, the lead girl, the stewardess who's actually flying the plane, has yeah. a lazy eye. What was her name? I can't remember who that was. Um, All I know is the line is when Charlton Karen Black. When Charlton Heston gets back in the plane and he's yes. able to fly it and he wants her to go back downstairs to be a stewardess, he goes... Do your thing, baby. Baby. <laughs> Do your thing, baby. It was just, all right, you sexy stew. Yeah. Get down there and shake your ass, honey. Toots. Make sure the coffee is fresh. Go walk the track, you fucking whore. I'm going to fly his hole. There's Isaac. Is this, uh... uh... Here's a great story from John in West Virginia. John. Hey, John. Hey. What's up? Hey, uh, I got a little death story for you. I'm a paramedic down here in West Virginia, and we were driving a patient to the hospital, and my paramedic partner in back taking care of the patient dropped dead of a heart attack. Jesus. Wait, so the... Wow, really? Yeah. So the paramedic who's taking care of the sick person in the back of the ambulance died? Yep. He said, my chest hurts and fell over dead on the bench. Like that? That quickly? That quickly. So what the fuck did you do? Well, I pulled over, called for another truck, and uh, pulled him out and did CPR on him while the other patient was in back freaking out. Holy wow. shit. But she ended up suing us and getting a nice little chunk of money. So, so what? In the end. Why did she sue? Uh, because she didn't get the proper care she needed. Well, the guy died. Wow. Uh, exactly. Wow. Good story, John. Thank you. Yep, punching out. All right, let's so say hi to Jared in Maine. Jared. Hey, it's happening. Hey. Yeah, uh, my buddy's brother's a deep sea lobsterman, and uh, they were out there off the ocean. Big wind. Slammed into the sidewall and ended up getting some massive internal bleeding. He, they did CPR on him for like two and a half hours. It's always the best part of the story. So she stands happened? over me, starts lifting up her dress, and... Uh, 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 <laughs> Isn't that cool? Anyways. All right, what happened? Yeah. What happened the Coast Guard you? turned around once they realized that he was dead, so they had to steam back for two days with a uh, guy dead in the wheelhouse. All right, so we got mm. the end of the story. and Sort of what happened to the guy. Wasn't that Forrest Gump? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All, right. All right, thank you, sir. There he goes. He uh, bailed out before. Absolutely. Let's say hi to Joe in Philly. Joe. Hey, man. Uh, I'm here in Philly, and the main story here is that the uh, the guy that actually landed the plane uh, is from Philly. Okay. But he's a pilot. So the big story is a pilot.
pilot landed a plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the big fucking headline there. I'm so pilot glad. Pilot lands plane. I'm so glad a lot of you guys are on board with us with this crap. They make news out of nothing. Dude, as much shit as TMZ gets where nothing happens, I mean, so much of the news is the same thing. Yeah. It's just yeah. nothing is happening. The, 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 the people on the plane had no idea what was happening. And they were in no danger. Both of but these guys the were qualified to, say it was, to fly this plane. Uh, right. I'm but, sure the captain probably had more hours and, you know, whatever. But uh, those guys were completely qualified to fly. They and went over the intercom and said, hey, attention, please. Yeah. One of the pilots died and everybody freaked the fuck out. And then they, yeah. hit, then they realized that they shouldn't have done it. Then there's a story. But yeah. a guy died of a heart attack. Yeah. Which sucks. Yep. Oh, hi, little Nicky. Hey, little Nicky's hey, coming, little up, the Nicky's coming up the hall. He's got a hat on. He's coming so to work for this Friday. Can't really see Who's this? This is little Nicky. He arrives every day at this time. Hi, little, hi, little, Nicky. little Nicky. He looks just like little Nicky. All right, let's go to the phone and say Nicky? hi to John in Jersey. John. Yeah. <laughs> Same hey, guy, see? Eh? Oh. Show Bill perfect. Now, now, it's Bill, now Bill's part of the bit. He arrives every day around this time. We stop the show just to When he doesn't wear the hat, it's fucking uncanny. It, it's classic. He's got the same hair. Yeah, he fucked right. us up with the hat. I think he's trying to walk by without us uh, stopping yeah. the show. He, he knows you do that? Oh, we yeah. stop the show every, every day. day. And just go, oh, here comes the So now I think he's wearing a hat so he can <laughs> try to sneak by without us noticing. <laughs> John, what's going on? Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, hey John. Hey, Hey, um, I was just want, I was just thinking, what are they going to do with the pilot? Like dress him up like Weekend at Bernie's and have him like uh, say goodbye to everyone, just waving. His oh arm my god! Shit. They just stand there in the cockpit yeah. door and waving his arm. Yeah, <laughs> I, what I heard in that story, it sounded like uh, the people on the plane had to wait to deplane. Why yeah, wouldn't you yeah. let them leave first and then go get the dead body? Yeah. I What's the urgency of getting the dead body off the plane? From what I heard, they had to get an answer as to what killed him. Uh, like preliminary, the health department. So if it was some kind of oh, okay. communicable disease or something, All right, that makes a little then more there might have been then. a problem. So they, they oh, okay. decided they uh, they would go in, check it out, talk to the guy, say, how did, he die? How did your pilot die? My <laughs> <laughs> boy's pushing out. Uh, they should have had the I, dead that's pilot. terrible. I'm sorry. They should have had the dead pilot continue flying the plane because it's pretty Could. much on autopilot, right? Yeah. I wonder how long he was. De- I wonder if he had a a loud heart attack or one of those ones where you just you just fucking just kind of laid, over. laid over and then just and like I just in there. Oh, Gus had a rough one last yeah, night. Huh? Look at him. Look at him. That's probably why he was dead. Taking probably- cell phone pictures of him, drawing oh, mustaches shit. on him. Oh shit! <laughs> why does he have dick on his head? Written on his head. We thought he was just sleeping. Awkward. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Once uh, they realize he's dead, and they got to right. wipe all this shit that they wrote on. Right. him. How long was he flying the plane dead? Ah. Three hours. <laughs> we were playing Pinochle. <laughs> uh, all right, whatever. The rest of these are okay. We'll move on to this fine story we brought you yesterday, but now we have uh, even more audio. Yeah. My daughter can't be herself. She can't sleep. This East Patchogue mom is talking about her 16-year-old daughter traumatized over what their 44-year-old landlord, Louis Bosco, did to them. Bosco, who lives in this trailer, rents his home to the Haydaka family, which recently discovered the landlord they trusted was watching their nearly every move. He was videotaping my daughter, who's 16 years old. He had a camera in his in our ceiling, which he, there was holes in my bathroom and in my daughter's room, nowhere oh. else in the house where there are holes put in. Oh. And my daughter and son both saw the monitor with her room on it. Police say Bosco installed cameras specifically in a bathroom and bedroom used by the teenage girl. Jesus. Such a hot story. Yeah, it... <laughs> oh, Anthony. <laughs> you know, if you take the personal anguish yeah, and 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 uh psychological damage out of it all it is is a hot story you know you're kind of right <laughs> it you take, the, it's, you take it, the criminal element it's very wrong the perversion Jesus. the the, the you know father what? anger the, right. you take all that emotion i think like a vulcan on this one think porky you know what you're thinking yeah you're thinking like that guy who's like what's the, a guy basically a pilot landed a plane <laughs> yeah. and you're saying basically a man wanted to see a teen see a hot body on some yeah, girl undress but the guy blew it. He had a monitor in his uh, apartment. 
and on the monitor was the, was the bedroom. Yeah, what the fuck is that? They're looking, going, uh, hello, that's my room. Wait a minute, that's that's my sister's room. My... So what, oh, he left it on like an idiot. Yeah, somehow he, he got yeah. sloppy. That's he how he got caught. Sloppy. That's the only reason he got caught. Ah, oh, that's hilarious. That's like when your phone rings and you left whatever you were jerking off to on two bait on your <laughs> laptop, <laughs> and then your girl bait. walks by. <laughs> <laughs> really, Bill? Uh, really? Uh, hey, what, what you are know? you doing here? What can I tell you? What can I tell you? I, I kind of like naked pregnant women. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh. just some horrific thing. He sure doesn't look like a creepy guy that would put a camera in a 16-year-old oh, girl's all. room. <laughs> oh, God. He looks I... like Malkovich in uh, Rounders. <laughs> yeah, he does again. <laughs> <laughs> We trusted this guy with my family. My kids went to the movies with him. Ew. He bought my daughter a dog. We trusted him. We let him in our house. We ate with him. We treated him like a family member, and this is what he did to us. Right, Police say the landlord right, installed on, the hold camera. On, hold on. Hold time on. out. How many more fucking idiots are going to let other adults right. leave with their children? Please. Mm -hmm. Th thank you. That no, is it's, it's over. The dumbest fucking thing you could do is let your kid be alone with some guy if they... Especially if they think, you know, oh, he's, he can be trusted. We trusted this guy. We let him take him camping. Camping. <laughs> I let him. I let him bathe her. Uh, you know, this guy was a family member. He used to. I mean, how many times was he over here having a slumber party and he forget his sleeping bag and we'd let him share with our daughter? Yes. I mean, this guy was a family member. We trusted. I can't him. believe this. He'd wipe their asses. <laughs> I mean, this guy was close. He, he he, every, every time he needed Vaseline, you know, it's like, here, you know, what, what's, what's mine is yours. I mean, we, this guy was a family member. You're a fucking idiot. Takes him to the movies, gets her a fucking dog. You can't be that I got trusting. a puppy How many you? times he's driving my kids home from the movies and he's got to make a stop off at the fucking sex toy store and he's 20 minutes late and I don't break his balls. I mean, this guy, he, we, we trusted him. This guy was a family member. <laughs> Uh, yeah. He had to get her the dog so he could threaten to kill it if she tells. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's like what you do. Uh, I'm going to kill the, your puppy if you tell He got your our parents. kids a dog. He was giving them candy. I mean, this guy was just. Old hack. Ugh. Offering them rides. In his van. Yeah. Would you? And this is what he did to us. Police say the landlord installed the cameras in an attic that he had exclusive access to. The Hayducka family, his renters for five years, say the incident has turned their lives upside down. I really would like to go over there right now and kill him. Huh. I shouldn't say that, but I would really like to hurt this guy. And I can't because there's laws that protect him. Yeah, well, he was a yeah I mean, yeah. He's I mean, a bit angry. That's one of those deals. If, if I was on the jury and he fucking whacked that guy, I'd be like, yeah, well, you know... Yeah, what are you very doing? angry. <laughs> very upset at this gentleman. Uh, he came in the house. He was a friend of ours. He broke bread and hymen. <laughs> oh, oh, let's say hi to Corey uh, in Virginia. <laughs> Corey. What's up, Bubba Boy? Hey, Corey. Hi. Hey, you guys have got to bring back line of the day, man. You guys have been killing all week, and I hope he, your line about looking at pregnant chicks was it, it would have gotten at least runner up, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. People don't, uh, people don't listen to the me. The thing though. is, that wasn't a joke. <laughs> I just took it as that, oh, that's, that's what Obi likes funny. looking at. <laughs> yeah, people don't that's listen. That's why it was so funny, man. Who doesn't look at a good pregnant chick every once in a while? Uh, yeah, that fetish is. Uh, I don't really. I don't know. I like. I like seeing like uh, women pregnant on the streets in New York sometimes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Why? Because you know that know. they had dirty, unprotected sex. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's what it is. Go you, to the naked one. You feel No, the naked boy. pregnant girl having sex, that's not my thing. Oh, Jesus. See, that's not my Look thing. Look at her right fiery there. fucking bush. Yeah. That's not my thing. My God. What, Can about you please... the, what about the one up top? Which one? Yeah, that one. Which one? Let me see that. Oh, my God. Jesus. They just stop shave. What, are they afraid of cutting the baby's head? Well, yeah. <laughs> it's hysterical. There's no fucking... That's a big bush. Because they can't see it anymore. That is just the weirdest thing, that that's how <laughs> babies have to be made. They have to grow inside other people. It's stupid. You know, I was on, I was on a pl plane one time, and this girl was describing everything that happens. To, like, your intestines get pushed all the way up. It's like, what? I got heartburn and hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids and all sorts. Sounds sexy. Yeah. You know... You know, you were kind of right, though. In the year 2009, you would think there'd be some kind of small business that they figured out. where like fucking where, mechanical wombs. Where, yeah, where you you have your kid in some kind of thing, a jar or whatever, whatever you yeah. want to call it, and you just visit the progress every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. That would be like rich people. Would, they already have like the nannies. Right. Rich yeah. people are so distanced from their kids. Yeah, they That's just don't want to. That's a nice big wanna... general statement, you know? It's true, though. It's like I don't want to. I see it all uh... the time. 
I see oh, I yeah. see the black nannies with the white babies. And you never see I know. Them. It's like it's the fucking 1800s. But you never see the mom around. <laughs> fucking Tom and Jerry or something. It's like, Jesus Christ, can you push your own goddamn kid down the street? <laughs> Not in my neighborhood. You, you never see it. It's When you see, like, the mom and the... The baby, it seems strange. What happens to it's gotten the to that point? Yeah, like well, it's oh, out wow. of place. They must have lost a lot of money in the stock market. They're pushing their own, <laughs> right? They're pushing their own child yeah, down what, the street. What went wrong with their family? Oh, that's great when the doctor fucking gets the baby out of this girl. I'm looking at a picture of that tat down by her twat over there. It's nice. Uh, that girl, she's just fat. She's not pregnant. There's a truck stop whore. <laughs> that's, uh... The girl by the sink is she pregnant? Was that? She looks like oh, that's one of those. I love those. You click on the picture and it takes you to some fucking porn yeah. site. Let's say hi to Brett in Boston. Brett. You. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey Brett. Hey Ant. So you've lost the uh, title of Fancy Man for the day. I've got a new black 32 gig uh, iPhone TS. Yes. Motherfucker. And it's on. You're calling from it. Yeah, actually, it's pretty good, and it, it seems to have actually held the single si- a signal for more than 20 minutes here driving. So now, uh, uh, what did you need to get that, sir? Your license. Yeah, license, Social Security, last four years Social, and uh, credit card. Every th- everything the government Game, needs. Game, set, and match. Game, <laughs> Game, set, and match. I just look at Bill. I'm like, everything the government needs is like, Game, set, and match. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you buy unlocked versions now, though? Isn't there a way to do that? Yes. I don't know. Dude, you realize how free you used to be? Yeah, I mean, I granted, you had to go out and go shoot a pheasant to go fucking live, but I mean, you Talk were about born. off the grid. Nobody even knew you were alive. Yeah. Till you died. <laughs> then no, they didn't even know that. Yeah, you didn't have a social security yeah, number. You had none no of it. Oh, you're going way back. Yeah. No one knew that you even walked the earth. Right. I, I thought you were. You're right. Look, I know in Unless my, you were in my a life, old guy. in my life, I didn't get a social security number until I was like, I think like eight or when I finally opened a bank account at like 10, 11 when I got a paper route. Yeah, yeah. Or paper route, as they say on the Midwest. That's when I, uh... But that's when I finally got it. But I knew guys who, uh, you know, they're just bums. Oh. They were just bums, and they never they never had a job or anything, mm-hmm. and then they just started working under the table. Like, I used to hang out with a guy, that, and, like, the big joke when we get drunk, we were like, the government doesn't even know this guy exists. Because, like, he never paid taxes. He didn't register to vote. It's like, what's his face at the end of Goodfellas? Ray Liotta. Yeah, yeah, I never yeah. paid taxes. I never voted. That's what this guy was. You could actually be that guy. Off the grid. And if you wanted a house, they had a house raising party. You didn't have some thirty year fucking mortgage. We don't yeah. we don't have uh freedom in this country anymore. We talk no, about no. that all the time. It's gone. It's completely gone. There isn't that you know, freedom that w- was so so precious to the early Americans. You can walk on a sidewalk. You're still free to do that. Oh. Try walking through your neighbor's backyard. No, they're going to know. Try walking through a park at night because now they close the, the, the parks and the beaches at a certain time. Like, they, they're going to the, know every dime that you fucking make, every every, every way you, you are spend, at all time. Right. What you spent it on. Go yep. old school and just uh, take a like a like a gun and go, you know, hunt for your own food. <laughs> yeah, see how long you can fucking walk that... around before you're just shot. <laughs> right. Like you can't hunt for your own food anymore. What's our real well, freedom? Look, look, I don't want to live the way, but there's got to be a happy medium towards that and the fucking police state that we're we're, we're <laughs> rapidly headed towards. <laughs> What's the real freedom we have in this country at this point? Um, you can get angry when they take a picture of you and you have to pay the ticket. <laughs> there you go. There's a freedom. Mm-hmm. Oh, good Lord, am I pissed off. I, I, something happened to this, uh, one of my friends uh, the other day. He was driving, um, driving through Manhattan. And uh, he said uh, he came up to an intersection. The light's green. Mm-hmm. And then there's traffic kind of in front. Sure. So he couldn't get across the intersection. Right. But the light was green. So he pulled up behind the traffic because he saw that it was moving. Right. And the light would remain green and he'd be out of the intersection before that happened. So somebody stopped for no reason. So he started beeping his horn and a pedestrian's walking across the crosswalk and the pedestrian got all pissed off. And my pal just starts yelling out the window at this guy. Go F your mother, stuff like that. Just really getting getting pissed at him. Why don't you want to say it was you? The light is still good. What? <laughs> well, no, no, no. <laughs> I, because it was I, I would, but it was a friend of mine. <laughs> okay. So uh, then traffic starts moving again. Mm-hmm. Well, at that point, one of these traffic enforcement people come up and broop, scan his registration right off of his windshield. Just go broop, out of nowhere. The light was still green. And and it, uh, my buddy goes, what are you, what are you doing? And the guy goes, you're blocking the intersection. And he goes, the light is still green. 
The traffic is moving. I, uh, he's moving now, is what he said. Right. And uh, the guy goes, what's your name? And then my buddy goes, look, Anthony I got to get out. What? No, no. He didn't give the name, but he said, look, I got to get out of the intersection. And, and just drove away. Just drove away from the guy. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Fucking Cub yeah. Scout. What yeah. do you fucking do? Look at the light. It's green, first Ugh, of all. I can't. I don't, I'm not going to survive, dude. And now I'm not, I have too much of a fucking temper. So I just want to know what will happen to this guy since, since the Reggie was scanned, well, but probably, that was it. They'll probably mail you the ticket, and then you, you just give it to Keith. He'll take care of it. No, no, not me. It's what? a friend of mine. Oh, yeah. Friend it's a friend of mine. But he never got the name of my friend. Uh-huh. It's a moving thing. It, it, was, it, was, it was like a, an intersection thing, but there's too many Was this friend on his way to a on. gun range? No, he actually wasn't. He was on his way home to nap. In his heated pool? Uh, <laughs> uh, I think he does have a heated pool, to tell you the truth. <laughs> yeah. Just... I hang out in similar circles. <laughs> well... I thought you didn't talk it's, to your neighbors. Uh, no, it was a friend. Yeah, it's just a pal. You'll be fine, Ann. Pal. It's not me. You'll be fine. It's a friend of mine. It wasn't me. They make it very easy, though, now with the scanner thing, where they, they just, just go, scan your Reggie. Bloop. They scan your windshield, and it's like, hi, you're fucked. There it you hap- go. It happened. There you go. There's no talking to me. There's no doing anything. It happened to my girl. She was waiting to do alternate side of the street parking. She was double parked like you're allowed to do. And somebody came by, just like Ann said, bloop. And, uh... And uh, what, did, what did they say to her? Uh, oh, I forgot the story. Forget it. I, I'm punching You're out. in the uh, system. I'm punching out, though. No, but basically, she was in the right and said that to this uh, this broad. And she and, and after she did the broop, she goes, yeah, prove it. Oh. But I forgot the exact circumstances. Dude, I don't treat of... those traffic enforcement officers like they think they're supposed right. to be treated. Well, they think they're supposed to be treated like cops. I give cops the utmost respect. I give those people nothing. I wouldn't give them the time of fucking day they're 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 tax they're the, collectors they're the, they're the dentists they're fucking, of police they're officers tax collectors for the fucking city is what they are here let me fucking collect a little more money for Bloomberg. what kind of an asshole would say like don't you still feel like you're, you're like that that you're on the same level as that oh, person no, like why would man. you why would it's, you fuck someone like that you should still be i mean i wish i was a fucking no, meter it, maid it's a it's a That's power thing I would, I would never make my fucking it's, quota it's a, meter maid. i would let people why wouldn't you let people go you, you're giving these people's power that they they just don't deserve it don't understand it and they really get into having all this, this pissed power. off people look at her did you ever see this guy? This guy rules. What's his name again, Danny? This is good old Jimmy Justice. Yeah, we Jimmy love Justice. Jimmy Justice. Have you ever seen the Jimmy Justice videos? No, but I oh, love fuck. it already. This is this up. the best one? Uh, probably. Yeah, I'll, start I'll, it I'll over. Start it over. Start over. Pot this up. For Jimmy Bill Burr, you're Justice. gonna appreciate this. See, he's he a, after, a guy trying to make a difference other than me just bitching. This he goes after movies. the meter maids that you know fuck says, with you. Says New York City traffic laws prohibit a motorist from parking. Oh fuck. Can you go back Within there? 15 feet of a meter. Okay. Why is this the law? Because if uh, there were a fire, the firemen need to get to the hydrant as fast as possible. Mm. And there's an, a, traffic. a traffic enforcement car in right. front of a fire hydrant. During a fire, yeah. evidently. Yeah. Can you... F- and that cunt would have fucking written you a ticket... And just scanned you, and it, for if you if you were uh, parked in front of there. So wow. this guy with his video camera goes finding the lady. Are you on drugs? What is your problem? You're a traffic enforcement agent, and you parked your official vehicle blocking a fire pump, and there's a fire outside with firemen out there, and they have no access to the pump. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> He's yelling at her. You ought to be ashamed of yourself while you're in the store. You don't hear the sirens. What's the matter with you? Oh, man. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> See, this is the beauty. She can't do anything to this guy. Nope. Because she's not real You're NYPD. supposed to enforce the law, not break the law. What's the matter with you? <laughs> it, just <laughs> it. it just is busted. Yeah, wh- where's his catchphrase, though, where he goes, I'm... I don't know if that's in this video. Here's another oh, okay. one. Here's another, that's another one. police uh, in meter made in front of a hydrant. Yeah. They don't call them police because yeah. even the NYPD will call us and go, yeah, we fucking hate those people too. Yeah. They're the worst. They're pissed they wear the NYPD uniform. And and the reason for that is Cause so, they're they're getting, getting, uh, so they're not getting... So they don't get here we go. Don't you think there's something wrong with blocking a fire hydrant? Don't you think 
there's something wrong about filming somebody? No. no. I think you're a police officer who's supposed to enforce the law, but you violated the law by parking well, your official do police what you car, have to do, okay? blocking a fire pump. Somebody else will get a ticket for that. What's wrong with you? Excuse me. What's wrong with you? <laughs> ah, she's blocking her D name off her vest. D-U-L-A. Carl, what are you doing? Move away from the vehicle. I'm thank filming you. you breaking the law. <laughs> Ms. Dooley, you broke the law. Yes, thank you, sir. You thank broke you. the law. Thank you. What are you going to do, bite me with your gold tooth? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. No, he didn't. I'm going to call 311 and I'm going to file a report against you. You know, you just do that. You right. Could. But you just broke you the law. all right to do it, okay? And I'm going to do that. Thank you. And I have it on video. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You made my day. You made mine too. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. <clears throat> jerk off. Wow. What'd she say? Jerk off? Jerk off. I got the number on the car. Her name. <laughs> Jimmy Justice. He's not using his catchphrase anymore? He used to have a catchphrase. Those commercials. Yeah, but, uh, enough commercials. commercials I love that, it. Oh. Uh, that's fantastic. They're all from the same fucking mold, too, those traffic enforcement. All, uh, they eat a little too much. I've never seen a white traffic enforcement officer, either. I don't think I've ever seen one. They're all like, mm, sorry, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, <God>. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How the fuck mm. did you make this into a black-white thing? <laughs> well, it is. Yeah, there's no white meter maids. I they just... <laughs> fly him into Wisconsin. I don't understand. From Chicago. I don't understand. To write tickets. How a minority <laughs> oh, can get Jesus. the majority of, of a certain job. It's like at the airport. Same thing. I look out that window. I see baggage handlers. I'm like, what happened? What happened? I see fucking uh, the, the security people. Name another that. awesome what job happened? that they're getting. <laughs> Meter maid, taking luggage off of an airplane. Better than Driving fucking. cabs. Better than oh, a lot. those sons of bitches. <laughs> uh, cab drivers are uh, of uh, very diverse uh, oh, yeah. occupation. Very really? Diverse. Syria. Me Meter maids. Saudi not. Arabia. Meter maids have a, a disproportionate amount of fat black women uh, in, in that job. That's all I'm saying. You should be a casting director for, like, Hollywood movies. That's exactly what... And then when you have a New Yorker, he goes, Hey, I'm walking here! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody from Boston, I'm gonna park my car and next to the you. lobster! <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus. Come you know, we, we were really going somewhere with that, and then you just had to bring I your had hate. You had hate? to bring your hate. What, what my opened eyes? I had a, oh, I had, I had a I had BJ a, Honeycutt shirt. I had <laughs> <laughs> Hey, McLean Stevenson, take it down a few. <laughs> I just noticed these things, uh, and yeah. I, I, I say them. Oh, no. That is, if you go out there, you will notice that is the majority of uh, uh, the people that are filling those. You know what he does? He does racist Jerry Seinfeld material. What's the deal with, with all these the black, black men? <laughs> it is, and they're never in shape. I don't know how they get the gigs. We got Crazy. the Jimmy out of shape. They're walking from meter to meter. <laughs> how are they still fat? <laughs> that exercise. Come on. They're doing cardio. <laughs> <laughs> Walk a little further. George! Kramer, would you like to add something? <laughs> yes, Jerry. I would, Jerry. They're all a bunch of... <laughs> I'm still laughing at the PJ Honeycutt show. Well, <laughs> Come on. Uh, hey, where's the Jimmy Justice catchphrase? It's 5'11 gear, my friend. Look, it's got a built-in holster. I know. Hit it. I am Jimmy Justice, and your days of running around this city like a cowboy are over. <laughs> 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 Jimmy Justice, you love him, but he's a tool. We love him. Check out his videos online. Jimmy Justice. All right, we'll do a little FU line as we go to break here. Yeah. All right, here's the deal. Opie and Anthony. Uh, most people know I'm a huge golf fan. And the U.S. Open is at uh, Beth Page. And they suspended play yesterday because that horrendous rain. Yes. I'm starting to think they're going to be playing on Monday. I, Greg Opie Hughes, the third, need two tickets to the U.S. Open for Monday because I think they're going to be playing on Monday. Somebody make that happen. Wow. Therefore, I will not be doing the radio show on Monday. 
Why don't you send that intern out yeah. to make it happen? Send oh, him. Oh, yeah. He's very successful. How do I make that happen, for real? Go to don't we have, Hub, dude. Don't we have a golf channel on XM, right? So we could get the tickets. Sirius XM could get me the tickets, can't they? Can they? Would they? Who do we ask immediately? We'll find out. All right, we're going to find out. Two tickets if the U.S. Open continues Monday. I want to go. Or I'll go tomorrow if you got tickets. But How do you, like, watch that? It's over such an expanse. Well, the best part, I've been to a lot of golf tournaments, and the best part is the dummies that they look at their program like this. Oh, let's go follow Tiger Woods for a while. Yeah. You want to know how you see Tiger Woods play if you're at the event live? Uh You have to sacrifice an hour and a half of your time. Instead of wandering on the course, you have to go six holes ahead of Tiger Woods. Oh, you got to lead him. You have to find, if you're lucky at that point, to find where you can be the front of the ropes. Tiger Woods finally comes by about an hour and a half later. He, if he's if he hits the drive <laughs> right, he's right in the middle of the fairway, and you're there perfect, like right on. I get to see Tiger Woods. This is so cool. He hits his iron shot toward the green and walks off, and that's how you get to see Tiger Woods. And that's it. You get to see Tiger hit one shot if you work it out uh, properly. You can't chase have you guys them. Have you guys ever talked about those people, the, the confidence they have and a professional golfer's ability to stand in front of somebody just <laughs> Yo, off to the I side know. with your face? I mean, Dude. at some point, some John Daly, one of these guys <laughs> is going to slice no, a hook. you got to explain a little, like, a little right bit further. Oh. Head. What happens is the, the ball's off the fairway. It's in the rough or sort of in the woods. And now they make, yeah, that, that small, extremely small path for the golfer yep. to hit through. Yeah, I don't know. And it's all just people. It's like they're the looking way, for, the, for the next subway to come. Yeah. But that's how you see Tiger Woods <laughs> if you go to one of these events. It's impossible to follow someone like Tiger. You can follow like a scrub. You can follow the scrubs all day long. But the top golfers, you don't follow those guys anymore. Mm-hmm. Can you heckle him? Can you just sort of follow him the whole well, day? Well, the best was when... Hey, Kenny, is that uh, master still hurting you or what? The, the best was the U.S. Open a few years back when it was at Beth Page, <laughs> and it was Phil Mickelson's birthday. So the entire time he was walking around the course, they just sang happy birthday. So one, oh one group God. thought they were clever. They sang happy birthday to Phil Mickelson as he's walking by. And then up near the green, another happy birthday. Next tee, happy birthday. Oh my Next God. fairway, happy birthday. The entire oh. fucking time he was walking around the golf course. Oh, God. Was he sweating under his man tits? <laughs> <laughs> With anger. Going to golf events is fun, though. What do you do? You just get boozed? Yeah, you drink and you just try to, like, uh, you know. Try to try to take a peek at some of these guys hitting the ball. The weirdest, not, weirdest sporting there. event, weirdest sporting event I went to. I went to the Indianapolis 500. Oh, how was two that? years? Oh, dude, it was the best time ever. You think not for the cars going round and round? Just for oh the, no, dude. Just first of all, you start a pool. There's like whatever, like 30, 40 cars. You got four guys. Y'all get ten cars. You're allowed to bring your own booze in there. Right. And then you just sit there praying for someone to hit the wall in front of you, <laughs> and you get absolutely shit faced with these rednecks, dude. The fucking the 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 difference between what's going on in the pits, like this space age technology to get these cars to go as fast as they can, and yeah. then the fucking retard in the stand. It <laughs> 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 goes by. <laughs> it's hilarious. And I was part of the problem. Ah, oh, that's hysterical. Yeah. That's quite the. Uh... <laughs> you, you just stand there getting shit faced, and, and all you just hear in the distance, you just hear. <laughs> <laughs> For a fucking, that's that that now that guy is either the first car or the last car, and when like the whole middle part goes by, you just say, <laughs> and then there's just more drinking for like another minute, and then does they come back around again? <laughs> then you're like, where's my guy? I lost a guy. Fuck, I'm down to nine guys. But you can't even see your guy. Uh, from your Dude, somebody point. hit the wall in front of me, and you think they're going to hit the wall and stop. They don't. they they got to slow down to fucking zero. So they hit it at like 200 miles an hour. The most amazing thing is you to actually hear the, the tires screech like you'd hear in an intersection. For right, some reason, yeah. you, don't, you never really hear that on TV. I guess you do now because they have the cameras in the car. Like this guy hit the wall, and it was just like, it was like, <laughs> it just like <laughs> shot all the way down. 
Jesus and it's just Christ. like some debris, like a mile away from where he hit. Just, oh, and, and you see everybody you know, like near where like the wall. He's like, he's gonna hit the wall, and you realize it's coming at you. And they're like, ah! <laughs> you do that pathetic. I'm now I'm gonna run half a mile an hour as this fucking <laughs> thing is doing 200 miles an hour at me. I'm gonna get a distributor cap to the back of my fucking head. <laughs> Went two years in a row, oh, dude. Shit. It was it was a I just don't have the time. It was a great like I would go to a stock car race in a fucking second because yeah. that's even more redneck, oh, more dude. Redneck. Yeah, yeah. NASCAR, oh my god. Yeah, yeah the just Indy five hundred, not so much. NASCAR, absolutely. There I'm not even go. talking Daytona. I would go to Talladega. Is that the one right oh, in the middle of Alabama? Talladega. Yeah. yeah. You gotta go to some Some Klansmen signing autographs Darlington. before the fucking show. You gotta go to the lesser known ones like the, like the Pocono five hundred or something. No, I like the ones where they, they got to be able to air it out. I hate those ones where they're driving sideways the whole fucking yeah, race. Short track. You need a big trioval. Yeah. Let's Some say hi nice. to Mongo the yeah. trucker. Mongo. Morning. Good morning, uh, Mongo. The, the, worst, the worst thing about watching golf, and I'm a huge golf fan, is why do these idiots stand next to the tee box on a 540-yard par 5, and as soon as the guy hits the ball, he goes, get in the hole! Yeah. <laughs> Are you shitting me? Oh, yeah, that, that goes on every, Get in the every fucking drive. A hole in uh, one on a part five. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, that's that's fucking gone hilarious. Too. People are asking what I think of Tiger Woods Ten. I I started playing it and uh, I don't know yet. Uh-oh. I don't know yet. I was Uh-oh. I was hoping for a big jump in the graphics and I, I I'm not seeing that. Not there. Gameplay is good, but I, I was really hoping the graphics were really going to jump ahead, and they're just not for some reason. Look at us. What? We're all in our forties. We're still playing video games. I was video just thinking games. that back in the day, you'd well, you be know what, trying to bang your secretary. But when I was <laughs> shot a <laughs> scotch in your bottom drawer, make it a double. You know, Bill, you're right. But when I was twelve, I planned this life for myself. I said, I'm going. I'm to not be... saying it's bad. I'm okay. just saying it's weird. I know, it but is this is exactly funny. what I wanted when I was. A kid. You know what I wanted for I'm my like, birthday? When, I'm a, when I was a kid, I'm like, I'm going to find a job where I never have to put a fucking tie on, and I'm going to uh, and I'm going to play fucking video games and do whatever the fuck I want. That's what we were talking about during the break. How lucky we are. I planned this for myself. Yeah, I didn't step into this. I said, no, this is it. Yeah, I don't. I didn't know if it, it was going to be radio, but I was finding something where I didn't have to put a, put a suit on and have a cubicle. Mark, sorry to you guys out there that have. To I, w- I was saying, we, I was talking to Anthony about how lucky we are. How I did the show yesterday at eleven. I went back to my hotel room, and in the middle of a fucking workday, I slept from eleven thirty <laughs> to three thirty in the afternoon. And when I woke up, no one was mad at me. Yes. <laughs> I was just like this is fucking ridiculous it's like rules, man. It is good. I'm forty one. I think I'll watch a cartoon now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. I'll play some video games. Just fuck around. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Watch TV. It's all research. Just shit to go off on. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. What's your favorite game right now? I'm doing the Tiger Woods, but uh, oh, I don't. I don't play video games. I'm too. I'm too. I'm too addictive, man. I'll. I'll so am I. Kill man. my whole day. That's why I don't uh, go game to game to game. I I, sol- I pick just a couple. That's right now, it. I'm tr- I'm trying to beat uh, Brick Breaker on Dude. my on my uh, BlackBerry. I had a. I said it on the show and I forgot, but it was a couple hundred thousand on my brick breaker, and then I fucking had a BlackBerry problem. I had, and I pulled, I did the 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 hard uh, restart or whatever, and I pulled the yeah. battery out, thinking that my fucking score would still be there when I put the battery oh, in. Oh shit! Fuck no! There's no way you had a couple hundred thousand. I swear you get to halfway God. through the game, you'll be lucky if you have ten thousand no, points. I, what? I, I all the way around, my friend. Start all the way around. If you could get through the second cycle, then it gets easy again. The second cycle. Yeah. I can't even get past level 16. Oh, no. No, you'll get there. You'll get there, Bill. Just keep but, wasting your life. But honestly, now I can't exactly. get close because now my button doesn't work as well. Because I, I, I did it when my phone was brand new, so the so the, the little uh, fucking ball was rocking. Oh, yeah, whenever, now whenever kinda, you get the laser. Now it kind of sticks a little bit. It moves It moves to the side when you didn't want it to, and you lose the lose the ball. All right, fuck it. So I'm now my, my current high score is only 32,000. Can't Jesus. get past that. I can't, I've never broken ten thousand. <laughs> really? I can't get past. I, don't play I just I'm really not games. good at it. Yeah. I don't play little like. I like those little, easy ones. Uh, I like the old games. school yeah. Tetris. I need, I, I need fucking like a space shuttle controls no. and giant monitors. Yeah, and but you can't play graphics those graphics cards that sound like turbines. You can't play those in an elevator. No, this is a great elevator game because I live. I on got the, shitter games. I live on the fortieth floor, so I sit there while everyone else is getting on, getting off crap, and I'm like, well, this will kill, kill the few minutes I'm in the elevator. I got a couple day. of shitter games on the iPhone, but for the most part, you know. Yeah, I like uh, big fucking monitors and graphics and 
You know, I've always this totally changed the subject here, which is as far as maybe still being an immature ass. What I asked for my birthday, you remember those old light beer from Miller commercials? Remember yeah. those big goblets that they would have the beer in? I don't know why. I just re- I really enjoy drinking beer out of a glass now, and I I wanted one of those glasses. Yeah. Remember, you used to get them at Pizza Hut. Do they have not yeah, Pizza yeah, yeah. not Pizza Hut? Uh, uh, Papa Gino's used to have them. Yeah, the big like uh, glass. There, there, like something like that. Oh, the Chimay. Like a big... Uh... Chimay May. Yeah. Chimay. Oh, like that. that. Yeah, yeah. Back it's when everybody chilled. died of ass cancer at 58. <laughs> 58. <laughs> Not 58. I want one of those. Yeah, Not that 55. big Schlitz thing. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, perfect. I drink out of Pilsner glasses now because I got a tap in my house, you know? So I just uh. like... Yeah, I drink out of the Pilsner glass. Those fuckers tip uh. over too easy. I know. They're the dumbest design. It's like, let's put all the beer... The heavy beer at the top, mm-hmm. and put it on this little fucking pinhead of oh, a Oh, but it, it makes it taste better, though, dude. Yeah. You have literally the Netherland Ranch for someone who doesn't molest kids. <laughs> well, little do you know. <laughs> <laughs> Heated pool. Yeah, yeah. Beer on tap. Movie you theater. Uh, bar. Bill, you right. hit on something. I That's don't want. Awesome. I don't want to lose these phones. Uh, Rob in Ohio. Rob. Yeah. Hey, uh, Bill. If you really want to go to something hillbilly, you need to go to the Bowling Green Tractor Pole. All it is is a bunch of drunken farmers, and they bring their girlfriends, and they all take their shirts off and flash each other. I would love to go to that. Sounds nice. As long as I know I wouldn't get fucked up. I, I, I just feel if I open my mouth there. Yeah. That they, it's a liberal. God damn me. All they do is they take, like, cases of beer. They'll have two or three cases of beer each person. Right. Damn. <laughs> and it's, like, three days long, and all they do is watch tractor pulls and drink during the day. Then they pass out at night, and then they get up again the, the next day and do it again. Mm-hmm. That would be perfect. Woodstock for rednecks, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, getting back to Brick Breaker 2, Bill. Um, this guy had a half million with 32 lives left, and he dropped his phone. Battery popped out. He lost his game. Oh, damn. When I, I forgot what my score was, but I had 70 guys left, too. I, I got to the point Jesus where Christ, I got to I the suck. point I got to the point where the game was not going to end ever. I ever. Bet, I, I the only the thing most that, I had I had fourteen lives and then I got to that one where uh, one of those ones where it has like those the bricks you can't break. All right, and the thing keeps coming the U? down. Yeah, the U shape. I couldn't get past that. That's a nightmare, actually. And I lost fourteen guys on that. It was a bloodbath. Because <laughs> now the wall's was, right in front of you. General Custer. I'm the still remembering. The wall's right in front of you. You just serve it. It just goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you have to angle it a little oh, bit. Oh, and you have like Tourette's. <laughs> right. No, and then when the thing, you know what the worst thing is, is when you, you when it goes flying and you make like that an unreal save, but then it's going ninety miles an hour the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> brick break your yeah. fun. And then you just start heating up and getting hot because you're like, all right, I still got 13 lives. Yeah. All right, 12's okay. Nine, yeah. eight. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> Stop yelling at your all phone. Right, calm down, calm down. Five lives, four lives. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I, I, refu- I refuse to get upset by it. I'm not going to get, you know. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll no, I did get to the bit, point but... where I was not going to lose. I was, I was gaining lives uh, way more than I was losing. I would lose one every once in a while because I was getting bored, and then I would add another five or six. But Jesus Christ. <laughs> not no more because I fucking the ball on the Blackberry is sticking or something. I can't get anywhere near that anymore. Ball on a oh, ball. Why would you need that? Let's say hi to Chris in Columbus. Touch screen accelerometer. Hey, uh, Bill, <laughs> what you really need to go to the races is either a radio to hear the radio broadcast or a scanner where you can hear the in-car audio, the scanner. communications. Because without that, you're, you're really missing the boat. And as far as there being idiots, the Oakland A's have three guys on their roster with college degrees, which is the most of any team in MLB. You'll have at least that many college degrees and the guys jumping over the wall to change tires in any, any car race. Hey, is, right. wait, 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 wait. Is that really true? Yeah, most of the Major League that's... Baseball guys don't have college degrees? No, I mean, they're all dunderheads. I mean, they're guys that maybe go to college for a year or two. But, yeah, there was just a study. The Oakland Athletics wow. lead the majors in degree holders. They only have three on their roster. See, I would believe wow. that for the NBA just because a lot of the guys are, you know, bailing early and stuff. I didn't know that baseball players bailed Mon- early. Most of them are from the Dominican well, Republic at this point. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true, too. They just come yeah, straight into a farm true. team. So they, yeah. go, they well, do a year of college, a couple years of college, and go right into a farm system somewhere. Yeah, well, in the NBA now, it's a status symbol for players to go back and finish up their coursework after they're in the league. 
Knicks because Michael Jordan went back and got his degree. Shaquille has an MBA. Yeah, just in case he wants to go and get a job right. somewhere, a, a nice exactly. office position. Well, that's why I always laugh when these dopey uh, sports shows talk about, like, it's not good that these guys are leaving college early to start a multi-million dollar fucking career. Yeah, yeah and on any given play, are you, 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 you can blow out your knee. Yeah, but, you, yeah, yeah. but they're insured and they're, they're going to they're gonna fatten up their bank accounts. And isn't that what we all want in life? Yeah, exactly. So if you could fatten up your bank account immediately, why would you continue playing college basketball and sacrifice losing, you know, your knee or something and never getting that chance? I think college kids should get paid. Yeah. I mean, more more than like the the free education. Dude, college education. The amount of money they bring in for college basketball and the the universities universities themselves. If you play play for Michigan or Ohio State, I mean, the 100,000 people coming to the – I mean, I know that that you're also like the – the the program was there before you got there, but you also you you keep it going through the college education. Unless you're gonna be a fucking doctor or something or an engineer or something like that. If you're just some a major in business, a major in like me communications, it's fucking stupid. College, uh, yeah, yes. it's a total rip off. You end up leaving yes. there. You're fifty grand in debt if you're lucky. Yeah, you're right. A college <laughs> degree is a waste of time, dude. In and most it, cases. and the whole in thing. most cases, yeah. You, go, you, you show up to the classes. Half I've been talking about some of my act. Half the classes I took, the required reading was a book that the fucking teacher wrote. It's like he's hustling us. Oh yeah. shit! He sh- he's like a rapper. He's like selling them out of the trunk of his car. It's like, and then you leave college and you're you're like fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars in debt. Yeah. Unless you're lucky enough to have your parents, you know, fucking do uh, the right thing if they could for you. But well, most of the, the the students out there are paying their own loans back. Oh, yeah, you're fucked. Man. So all of a sudden you you enter the working world in debt already. Behind. You qu- you're you, behind. I, you qualify for a credit card. You're fucked. Most kids, but before they even make the dumb move on knocking some girl up in your twenties, the stupidest fucking thing you could ever do. Mm. It's is my, they, they they already they're already like dude, you know hundred grand in debt, eighty went, grand in debt. By the end of my first semester in college, I realized it was a bunch of horse shit. I knew I wanted to get into radio, but it was no guarantee. But they had a radio station, so I'm like, well, this isn't horseshit because this is something I really want to learn. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work at the college radio station. If it wasn't for that, I would have bailed and fucking filed the Grateful Dead or something. Get a life experience. Yeah. For real. Yeah, I, uh, my alma mater was twenty two grand a year when I graduated, and they just ca- crossed the $50,000 a year threshold this year. <sighs> and that was 17 years ago I graduated, and I cannot believe – that that education has improved that much in that p- period of time. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. No. What you got? You know, you got bankers printing money with no gold behind yeah. it. Just drives exactly. up the prices of shit. It's all bullshit. I went back to my uh, my college. Actually, it's been a couple years now, Geneseo, and they jacked up the prices to go there for the same horseshit fucking campus and horseshit place. Yeah. And they all go after it's big a, Nothing oil. changed, like this guy said. They jack up the prices so they can buy more real estate and buildings with your fucking money as you're yeah. getting the same two plus two equals four. Yeah. As uh, I, you also said, uh, Bill, they keep keep you in debt. That's, the, they that's everyone's about, mission. They bitch about big oil in this country. Why don't they bitch about big education? I mean, those guys have a license to, to set the price whatever they want. And not everybody needs to go to college. They de- completely devalue people going into the trades. That's what they need to be focusing on. You know, get people out to get a, be able to be viable and get a job without a worthless piece of paper. The world because- needs ditch diggers too, you know. Right. <laughs> I, I'm with Bill. But don't listen to us. I mean, we're, no, these I, are just I, dumb I, opinions. There's I, probably I did, a lot of kids out there that will now drop out. I, no, yeah, I did it. a college kick. My experience, it was a waste of time. I did a college kick, and this kid, the, the, the teacher was telling these kids, most of the stuff you're majoring in, the jobs aren't going to you know, technically really exist. Mm-hmm. Just how rapidly shit is changing with technology now. So right. I don't know, man. If you get like three, four guys, you have a business idea and start like a website. I mean, that seems to be like the, yeah. the quickest way. Because other than that, you're well, just some drone. To millions. And why? Well, you, you don't go broke, but you're just sort of eking along, making somebody else's dream come true. I yeah, think it's, yeah. it's a dumb way to go. I was discussing this with someone recently, and why don't they teach us stuff that we really need to know, like how to fucking get a mortgage, how to not get ripped off how getting a mortgage. How to do the mortgage, math on a mortgage. How to fucking, yeah, balance a budget. You know, stuff that you really use in life. No. You know what I mean? Got to learn about Mesopotamia. Yeah, right. Fucking you you head out into how, the real how, world without a fucking clue yeah. on any of this stuff that you really need to know. How Bizarre. banking is legalized loan sharking. <laughs> I had an argument with this guy. Anytime I ever yeah. bring that argument, I go, what's the difference between loan sharking and banking? They go, well, well, a fucking bank won't break your legs. 
They always think that's a great point. It's like, because they don't have to, you shithead. No. Mm. They'll take your house. <laughs> yeah, repossess your car, destroy your credit. The reason why I loan shark a broken a... leg or fucking, you know, your ruined credit rating, no house, living yeah. on the street, motherfucker. The right. reason why a loan shark breaks your leg is because what he does is not legal. Because you're like, I'm not going to pay you. What do you do? Yeah, take yeah. me to court? Yeah. Call a cop, and then he snaps your leg. Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get I'll it. have that hey. for you on Thursday. All right, all right, kid. I got it. <laughs> I got all right. It. I got Today. It. Today. 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 48 Major League Baseball players have college degrees. 48? 48. Yeah, something I, tells me there's a lot more players fuck, than 48. Fuck, I learned something today. For some reason, I thought baseball guys uh, got their degrees. Hmm. Let's say hi to Brendan in San Diego. Brendan. Hey, boys. Hey. Hey, just let you know, on opening day this year in baseball, 29% of the starters were born outside of America. 28%, huh? That makes sense, though. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. It's truly an international sport. I would have thought it'd been a lot higher. Yeah. Perhaps and then the other that. thing is the extra running back for the Denver Broncos, Tatum Bell. At the beginning of the season, he was working at a kiosk in the mall selling phones. Oh, that's not good. Mm. No, they don't put their money away. They don't know what to do. <laughs> right. Yeah, because you don't learn that stuff. No. You just assume the money's going to last forever. Well, you get a million dollars, you think you have a million dollars, you don't realize it's really like about 350 grand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once everybody takes their piece for helping you, and then the government comes along and takes a big whack out of it. <laughs> so then you go out and buy a fucking $400,000 car, and you're going to buy your mom's a house. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Right. Yeah, you so fuck. Fuck. And then you blow out your fucking knee, and then you work in the kiosk selling fucking Verizons. Mm -hmm. The best is when you buy it. Uh, before the IRS takes their chunk, and oh. then they come back and go, "Hey, Hello. where's our where's our cut? Oh wait, but I spent it. Oh yeah, did you on what that house? Dude, this our house. <laughs> the only way to win, if you want to get off the wheel, is uh, is to fucking make a million a year and live like you make fifty a year, and then you just pay Elvis taxes. Yeah, they're gonna take nine hundred of it away, but you That's won't it. be in debt." Yeah. And you just you just that's the only way to win. But they will they will not let you get rich unless you come no. up with some fucking unbelievable idea where they can make way more fucking money off of you. Other than that, it's like hail. They just keep fucking punching you in the face with some sort of you, it's like a certain number. You just can't get past. They, they fucking choke you out. Yeah. yeah. And just take you down to the mat. You're like, all right. All right. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I was trying to get rich. I like Almost the hell made idea. It. They leave you outside in the hell until they you do. go. All right. I need your help. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go inside. Uh, Anthony in Florida. Fucking scam. The best, the best inbred racing in the country has got to be in Naples, Florida, the Swamp Buggy Races. Oh, shit. Oh, that's, great. That's, that's uh, for you, Bill. Used to watch that on the old fucking ESPN country two? TNN, the Nashville <laughs> Network. Used to watch that. Yeah, it's the uh, Swamp Buggy Races here in the, in the swamp. He's going through the sippy hole. And he's coming around out by the mud pit. There's all these fucking backwards motherfuckers with no teeth riding these, yeah, these things. Yeah, but do you realize, seriously, though, the ability that you have to do? <laughs> to build up. How, how do you keep the engine dry or whatever the fuck you get? Exactly. I mean, they figured out. Look at these gotta, guys. Like, and you got to just slide through those They're turns. driving on water. Oh, yeah. At the end of the race, there's a Miss Swamp Buggy that dives into the sippy hole. Yes, <laughs> Miss Swamp Buggy. That rules. Yeah, it jumps in with the winner. I used to go. watch that shit. You know uh, what I love was about exciting when cable, like when cable first had like all these channels of this shit, and all of a sudden you're like, God, I could just watch bull riding if I want, or watch know, this great. bullshit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny about like most of the cars that you see there, all of them are modified. <laughs> Yeah. For as much shit as rednecks get, I mean, they, it's not like they're idiots. Yeah, they can they, figure they, out how to turn a socially, fucking Socially, sometimes they have backward views of looking at people, but those sons of bitches. <laughs> My car looks exactly fucking... the way it looked like from the factory. <laughs> they sure know how to fucking uh, I put a Corvette shit. engine in it. <laughs> How'd you do that? I put some steel balls out the back to let people know what the fuck they were dealing with. <laughs> 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 Let's go to Georgia. Wes, what do you got, buddy? Uh, yeah, man, I was wondering if y'all heard about this kid, Bryce Hopper, that's uh, talking about dropping out of high school and getting his GED so he can go into professional baseball early. Yeah, he's supposed to be some kind of phenom, right? Yeah, he's hit like a 570-foot home run. Throws like a 96-mile-per-hour fastball. 16 years old. Uh, and he should. He should. 
Get, Why, get that, your that's... money when you can. Why not? I would no. I, I would maybe at least finish going through puberty. Ah, uh, fuck that. Then then kind of you know. I don't know. If get you, in there. If you're hitting 570-foot home runs and you can throw the ball 96 miles an hour, guess what? High school's not for you. Get yeah, the fuck yeah. out and make yeah, your right. fucking money. I guess you're right. Even they if you blow out your ball. arm in a year. <laughs> I can be convinced of anything. Yeah. Dude, yeah, it, all right. But even if you blow out your arm, arm in a year, that's like the average dude. That's like 20 years of work in the real world. Uh, look, right? if that was my kid and he was, making, he was 16 years old and he wanted to get like his GED, like I, I would... Dude, I, I, I would be like, yeah, you know what? You'd because need a good argument. I wouldn't well, even do the GED. Argument. I'm like, whatever. Let's no. just, let's say goodbye to high school and let's say hello to the major leagues. You need an argument to come back at the kid with. What's your argument? It's uh, you should go to school. Why? I'm not a fan of these <laughs> athletes. You have no can- argument. Getting their degrees, it's stupid. No, I, I would, I would say stupid. do the GED and, like, I, I already think, you know, if I ever have kids and they don't want to go to college, I would be like, yes, why would you? Yeah. Do you want to be a doctor? Unless you want to learn how to slice somebody open yeah. or you want to make a bridge, <laughs> there's no fucking, it's just a waste of money. Yeah. Just hang around. You'll get plenty of tail so you'll and get save tail, yourself you'll, 50 grand. You'll the money you'd spend on your tuition, work. just go buy a car. Just get some fucking work somewhere. <laughs> Get a job. <laughs> get a get a trade. <laughs> hey, we got the rednecks calling. They're very excited. Richie Rich, what's up? Hey, what's what's going on, boys? Hey, yeah, man. Dude. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, Bill, brother. What's going on? Uh, Talladega, man. Talladega. Check it out. Oh uh, yeah. I, I was there, man, and uh, a chick like six rows in front of me. Good looking chick, man. Flashed the crowd or whatever, man. As soon as her shirt went back down, dude, she threw a dip of snuff in, no doubt. <laughs> I couldn't hear what he said. She she did what afterwards? She did some dip. Yeah. Oh. She flashed. <laughs> she, she turned around. Right, she no flashed doubt. her tits. Put the shirt back down. and Did a little dip. That's what I'm saying. To sit there and drink next to a guy who talks like that sober, it would just be the greatest thing I... ever. And you could see a car hit a wall at a right. buck eighty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would just be fucking great. Richie Rich. Hey, she was a hammer, man. No doubt. Richie Rich. Do we sound funny to you? Because I know we got a lot of rednecks and and southern guys that are listening to this show. We must. Do we sound funny to you? Like like you sound funny to us. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit, man. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, little bit man. <laughs> right on, man. Right. That'll sound like Elvis. Yeah. Uh, man, right. let me tell you something, man. I, I like, I, You're going to have yourself more trouble than a little bit. <laughs> hey, I'm going to punch you out, boys, so y'all give me more hell, right? All right, All right man. Richie Rich. Thank you, sir. Let's go to Footer. Footer. Yo, what's up, boys? Hey, I want to rewind a little bit. Sure. First of all, r- real quick, though, I can't believe how dumb they sound. Before you said that, op- uh, all these hillbillies were calling up. I'm going, holy fucking shit. These rednecks sound like idiots. But anyway, um, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> really quick, just to rewind, um, we were talking about golf before and how, like, you know, we just don't get it. My dad, dude, he's like, you know, it's, a, it's like your fucking pop, man. He's like, so cool to me, like, cool guy. And he's telling me this story how he went to Augusta and he's going, yeah, as I walked over the fairway, he goes, it just, it choked me up. I got a tear in my eye. I want to fucking spit in his face, dude. That is like, I don't get it. I don't get fucking the whole golf thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're. You know what? We we were sort of listening. They're a little distracted. So Danny distracted. Danny put a picture up of some redneck with uh, playing horseshoes with toilet seats. They, is that is that a fucking sport down of there? Of course uh, it that, is. Toilet seat horseshoes. Part like the you, redneck Olympics. Come you on. You throw the fucking toilet seat like you would a horseshoe. It's one of those that have the you know the little slit in the front. What do yeah. you call that? Yeah, of toilet course. seat, so you don't piss on the fucking toilet seat. Yeah, the opening in front. And you know there. the yeah. redneck's really trying because he has his tongue hanging out. That oh, means he's, he's concentrating. Yeah, he's really concentrating. He's <laughs> into toilet yeah. seat fucking horseshoes. Footer. So, Yo. so the story is your dad was telling some uh, some golf story, and you're like, holy shit, who gives a shit? Well, you just to the fact that like you know your dad's a cool guy, and for him to tell you this story, how he's walking uh, over a fairway and he gets a tear in his eye, I wanted to fucking spit on him. It was just I yeah. don't get shit like that. Yeah, you I know love, what I mean. I love golf, but I don't take it that far. Right, and real quick to bring it back to me because you guys are distracted. Um, e Rock's a big fat slaw, punch it out. There you oh, go. Now we're wow, focused. There Thank you. I heard that. Yes. Uh, well, let's say hi to Bob in Georgia. Bob. Oh. Hey guys. Hey. I wanted to tell Bill about an event down here at Georgia called a uh, Swine Time. Swine Time? Yeah, Swine Time. All right. uh, what they do is they get a bunch of kids and a bunch of old guys, and they grease up a pig and just have them run around in a hay bale, and you have to catch them. And it's b- between old old people and kids. 
Yeah, everybody just gets involved. The first person to catch it wins like a T-shirt, I think it is. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I love, too, is PETA probably doesn't have the balls to go down there and break that one up. Hell no. Oh, no. Uh, and then after they're done with that, they have a chitlin eating contest. Oh, Jesus. That must look wonderful. They have a they have an old guy down here called uh, Jack Wingate. He's a big fishing legend down here, uh-huh. and he ate a chitlin that's about two feet long. It just in one bite, just right down. It was disgusting. Ugh. Now, well, let me get this straight. You basically you boil the intestine in the shit smell. You get all yeah. the shit out of it. So he basically swallowed a, a pig colon. Oh. Yeah, and I work for a TV station down here. We filmed Ugh. the whole thing, and we just kept showing it over and over again. God, oh, that's awesome. Damn, that Do you awesome. have that online somewhere? Yeah, we got to see that. I could put it online. Well, you should have, bro. Oh, yeah. That should be a YouTube I'll, I'll video. Put, I'll put it on YouTube, and I'll send Danny an email. All right, cool. Okay. We'd love to see it. Thank you. Let's go to Scott in Minnesota. Scott. Hey. Hey. What's going on? <laughs> uh, we do uh, pickup poles in uh, the state of Minnesota, and uh, we got... 900 horse motors going underneath uh, pickups with flip bodies. I don't know what that means. That sounds like it's a real fast pickup with a what's a what's a flip body? It's a pickup pole where you pick a take a pickup, hook it to a sled, and see who can drag it the farthest. Oh, gotcha. oh pole! I think you said pole. Yeah, yeah. No pole. If you guys go to YouTube and put "bad kitty pulling team" in there, that's my cousin's truck or Facebook. Okay. Is that the kind of thing that'll get you some pussy out there? Just out oh, of... yeah. Uh, actually, my cousin's uh, five foot, probably about 120 pound wife drives his pink uh, <laughs> F, uh, it's truck. Awesome. It's, a, it's just another world. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we, it's a it's, world. It's we, another planet. Gotta be, we, it's yeah. a world we don't understand. And it's, 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 it's like the part ocean of the, and it's fish. It's part of America. Go, go Can you imagine having a, a five foot, 120 pound wife? <laughs> that's what she, he said that like it was the most normal thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what that's what they do. That's their together time. But you got to admit, you know, they're not they're not sitting around letting their brains turn to mush. Hell no. They're figuring Look, out how to make their truck be able to drag more oh, shit. Let's not forget about noodling if we're going to be talking redneck stuff. Yeah, that's noodling great. rules. What is that? You see that? You've never seen noodling. <clears throat> Punch no. up a noodling clip. Are yeah. you kidding? Bill, come on. You know what? This is this is. You've remi- never heard of noodling? No. Oh, okay. We got one for you. Hold. Uh, thank you, sir. It's got a oh. Minnesota, everyone. Uh, wow. uh, oh, this is good. As it, as Danny finds a noodling video, Jake in Kentucky. Jake. Yeah, every Fourth of July weekend, we get about thirty goats and down at Newburgh Beach on the Ohio River, and we have goat races. <laughs> goat races. That is it just a basic good. race, or or do you throw some kind of little twist in it? Well, they run about 100 yards, and you can bet on them. They put numbers on them. <laughs> How do you get them to run? Shoot stick, at them. Huh? You stick something in there, honey. <laughs> Throw dynamite at them. <laughs> well, they, they smack them. Yeah, you smack the goat, and it'll start running. <laughs> they bet on the goat races. <laughs> I, I know this uh, drives here, Bill here, nuts. Here's some Thank you, sir. No, it doesn't. Uh, you know something? I actually I don't know if I've ever 20, told 20, this. Wait, wait. Okay, wait. small food. Yeah. Here's the noodling. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. First two, is coming out. Two guys in the water. Got the hole now. Up to their right. heads. I can't believe you've never seen this. There you go. Man, that's Bill. a good fish, man. Yeah, I can't believe it. Look at let him, it. Let him flop around a bit. Look at the fucking guns yes, on that sir. guy. Yeah. You see what happened nice there, fish. Bill? You Start stick your hand in a catfish's mouth? <laughs> no. You put it in a hole where Ooh. they live. And, and they, the, the you shake your fingers and they bite your arm and then you pull your arm up. That's how they catch the catfish. That doesn't hurt? Well, of course it, it does. It, 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 that's that's it, good. Man. They usually get a nice little... Crazy then he, guy, just, he just wiped nice his arm off in, in the dirty water. Yeah. And go back in. That's yeah. how they fish for these fucking things. Yeah, the things. catfish live in these like like <clears throat> holes on the sides there. He's bleeding. And you can't see because it's muddy. And they put <clears throat> their entire arm in the hole, Bill. And then the catfish bites on and then you pull it out. He's bleeding. Would you do that? I no, I, they would have to squeeze my arm. Like, how hard does this hurt? You know, they'd fuck with me in the bar. No, the anticipation would be I, what would get I, me. I, I, yeah, I don't Look know. Look at the size of I these fucking fish, though. You know, nothing but respect. I, I don't know how you would do that. The anticipation. That is a giant fucking a fish. A huge, giant catfish. Dude, can I tell you something? Is, when when, when bankers try to, to when bankers elbow. sit around trying to think how we're going to take over the world, they don't worry about guys like us. We're pussies. Those are the guys we're like, okay, <laughs> yeah, we need yeah. propaganda to get these guys on mm-hmm. our side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah. Those guys know how to shoot. They know how to live in the wild. Amazing. Chicks doing it? Oh, they're not as good. Fuck no, man. That's always cracked me up about women, how e- they want to do everything that we do, even the dumb stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Let me s- fucking start boxing and stick my fucking hand in a goddamn... Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. Get a catfish to bite my fucking arm. Yeah. They put their tits in there. Just like... <laughs> Hot girls doing it. That's amazing. Jeff in Kentucky. Jeff. Hey, what's going on, boys? Hey. Hey, talking about rednecks, I was at the Kentucky Speedway this past weekend to watch the Nationwide Series stock car race. And they had these extends girls there, these extends, I guess, these penis pills. Yeah, the boner pills. <laughs> right. And these dumbass rednecks were lined up around the corner to take a picture with these skanks. And they were giving them away these hats. And, and all day long, you see all these rednecks wearing these red hats and say extends, basically just advertising. I have a small dick. <laughs> I need a bigger dick. They were all over the place. <laughs> all right, thank it's you. Free hat to them. All right, let's go to Jim in Indiana. We're on to this uh, redneck culture I know. thing. Jim. You got to get the Dukes of Hazard theme going now. Yeah, Jim. <clears throat> Good evening. Good evening. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of DVDs at some of the truck stops I go to called Girls Gone Grab and, and there's these hot chicks in bikinis that do this noodling, wrestling these 50-pound cats. It's really awesome. <laughs> Girls Gone Grabbing. Girls Gone Grabbing. Yeah. Yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> People will just buy anything. Mm-hmm. Definitely something to check out if you can find something. How is something that? Absolutely. How is that really Thank you. Hot, Wes huh? the Trucker. Wes. Hey, uh, Bill Burr, uh, you missing the greatest part about that race. You got to be in the camper uh, lot at night. You listen to them guys fighting, fucking, and drinking beer all night long. It's funny as shit. <laughs> 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 that, is, that is the greatest part of the race, is to be in the, the camper lot at night. <laughs> at night. It's all <laughs> fucked up. They're fucking No, you got to understand, fighting. dude. Like, every hotel is packed. Uh, yeah. And people, are, everybody's got their fucking RVs, and the, everywhere you go, there's these signs that just say "Welcome, race fans," and it's just public drinking. <laughs> it's it's it's, it's a big party. It's fantastic. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, they, they fight, fucking uh, drink beer all night long in the, the trailer park. It's funny as hell. Oh, that's great. Funny as hell. They fight, fuck, and drink. Funny <laughs> as hell. I'll tell you that boy, he fuck a rock if he thought a snake was under it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like what? Uh, <laughs> It is like, what are you talking about? I love it. (laughs) Damn. All right, we got to keep doing this. Don in Jersey. Doesn't even make sense. Boy, don't have sense enough to pick up a penny if you saw a dime. Yeah. What? (laughs) By the way, if you're on the the phones and you sound sort of like me or Ann or Bill Burr, hang up immediately. Yeah, Yeah, I want to hear some more of those southern sayings like that shit. Like, uh, Fuck yeah. Let's learn a little, learn that a little bit That boy fuck today. mud. Yeah, Don in Jersey. Don't know whether to fight, fuck, or wind yeah, my wait. wristwatch. <laughs> wristwatch. What? <laughs> Don. Yeah. We uh, I seen a thing on TV the other day with the uh, rednecks racing these old trucks around the track. They had to, uh, all had to pull trailers. Camper trailers, boat trailers. Oh, shit. <laughs> and all the other guys have to try and knock the trailers off. The last guy still <laughs> Last guy pulled the trailer was the winner. <laughs> that sounds pretty. That would be pretty cool to watch. Oh, but what does he get? A free Grand Slam breakfast at Denny's? Yeah, there, yeah. Uh, and I see the thing in, down in Florida. They had a motorcycle demolition derby. That's not oh, a motorcycle. Yeah, a motorcycle yeah, demolition derby. Yeah, it was crazy. Guys <laughs> on beat up old bikes, smashing each other, knocking everybody off. What the fuck? That's right, crazy. Good call, man. Fun, yeah. Let's go to Ross in Tennessee. Ross. Hey, boys, how you doing this morning? What's Pretty up, good, man? Ross. Hey, I was calling to tell Bill. He was talking about his pit bull yesterday, and I'm a big fan of pit bulls, Bill. Gotta love you, breed of dog there. But uh, if you go over to my uncle's house and two of my cousins, right when you pull onto the property, they got a sign in the front yard that said, Never mind the owner, beware of the cock. And when I mean cock, I mean fighting roosters. They've got, my uncle's got a rooster standing about two feet, maybe two and a half feet tall. That's the meanest fucking rooster you've ever goddamn seen. They're ripping fucking eyes at you. Get out of the damn car. I promise you. 
So, you, an attack you know what rooster. I love about like these guys? They actually have references to other roosters. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I know this is the meanest goddamn rooster you ever saw. I've never seen I've one. Never seen a rooster. I've never seen a rooster. I don't know how mean they are. I, just, I can't compare it to anything. Yeah, yeah I have no. Fucking... I need to see one for the first time, and then maybe someday I could go. Wow, am, you know. Yeah. I saw another. Dude, rooster. that's why you got to go to those things because they start right. telling you stories with shit like you don't have a reference to. Right. It's April, so the bullfrogs are out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're just like, uh, no, no, I don't. Yeah. No. I know the big old ones. Big old. Not the little ones yeah. like you see there in uh, I don't know. Down. It's like, I'm, a con- I'm a concrete walker. I really don't yeah. know what you mean. I'll tell you, this bullfrog could have failed family eight. It's like a big buck and a KFC chicken, right? So I got my slingshot. <laughs> All right, we're going to get some sayings big now. Slingshot. Travis, I'm enjoying the music, but slightly lower. Because our phones aren't as crisp as they should be. Uh, Charles, South Carolina, what's going on? Hey, what's up, guys? I got some good Southern sayings. Uh, yeah. Hiding three squirrels, three squirrels fucking in a wolf spot. Hiding three queers in a sleeping bag. Oh, slow down, slow down. Yeah, slow down. Hotter than three squirrels in a wolf sock. Hotter than two squirrels fucking in a wolf sock. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hotter than three queers in a sleeping bag. Uh, more screwed up than a brother's checkbook. Uh, that boy a fucking rattlesnake if he held his head. That's all kind of funny ones. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he cleaned up the racist one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, right, right. You know what that was supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, we don't do that down here. Of course right, not, man. Of course not. Let's go to Jim in Florida. Jim? Hey, uh, down here at New Smyrna Beach Speedway uh, in New Smyrna Beach, they race uh, RVs and school buses, <laughs> and my brother-in-law's near in a striped dad snake. <laughs> Sc- school out. bus races? <laughs> There's so much going on here with these phone calls. But you calls. know what's funny? It's the a- excitement in the phone caller. And us just laughing because we have no concept of this. I, I yeah, but that. as much as we're making fun of them like it's dumb, they actually know how Dude. to fucking soup up a bus. Yeah. How, how so bad you do you want to go? It. How bad do you want to go to one of these events though? Yeah. I'd go check out school buses. That trailer really. one sounds like a pisser. Dude, drinking outside of a waffle house right before you go and it's the greatest <laughs> fucking All right, we got another southern <laughs> nine in the morning. <laughs> Jason in Indiana. Jason. Good evening. Hey Jason. <laughs> uh, those biscuits are so good If you put them on top of your head Your tongue can beat your brains out Trying to get to them oh, Jesus <laughs> where, did, where did they come up with Yeah <laughs> <What's in there? laughs> All right, man. It's, We might as well be talking a foreign language Like turkey shit through a tin horn Yeah <laughs> What? Uh, let me see Fashing shit through a goose right, We got another one yeah, That's right Let's go to Chris mm-hmm. in Georgia Chris Hey what's going on Open? Hey buddy hey, we used to say to say, oh, uh, nervous boy, you know, kind of, you know, kind of edgy boy. We say he's nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. I heard that one. I heard that one. Yeah, I heard that one. That's that one the first one up, I've heard. That one made it up north. Yeah, that one made it up here. Thank you, Chris. All right, let's go to Bug in Florida. Bug. Hey, fellas, how you doing? All right, Bug. Hey, man, we go over to my cousin's place. Uh, my uncle, he raises uh, fainting goats. Their uh, their legs stiffen up when they get scared. And they oh, get yeah, we've seen oh, that. We're, well, hold on. We're big fans of the fainting goat. You've seen the fainting The wild boys. I saw them do it. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's probably why we know it, yeah. Bug? Yeah, so we, every 10 minutes or so, we uh, set off a bottle rocket, and we bet on which one will fall over first. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hilarious, man. <laughs> she took out that shit online. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. All right, let's go to uh, Chris in Virginia. Chris? What's up, boys? Hey. Uh, in Tennessee and Texas, there's these ponds that have alligator gar. Yeah. And you start up the motor, and they jump out of the water, and rednecks combine two fun things, killing fish and bow and arrows. Get Danny to punch it up on YouTube. The fish jump out of the water, and they shoot it with a bow and arrow and reel it in. Wait, so... It's called bow fishing. Bow fishing? bow fishing? How do you get them to jump out of the water? When you run the motor on idle, it scares them. And they jump right up out of the water and they shoot them with a bow and arrow. There's a dozen videos under aerial bow fishing on uh, YouTube. Let's check out aerial bow fishing. All right. Dude, that's the craziest that's shit you ever saw. Serious skill, though. Yeah, yeah. What's harder yeah, than that? Good. Hitting a curveball or uh, <laughs> shooting a fucking fish Dude, out of I, the. I would try to shoot fucking fish at, that jump out of the water. That's a tough one, man. Why not? Oh, it's it's a fucking riot. We're trying playing. to find. Did you go with aerial? Yeah, aerial boat fishing. The internet's being slow today. Okay, we're we're, uh, we're waiting. We're waiting. This is boat fishing, bugle mouth hogs. The phones are lit. What does that mean, man? They got a reel right on the bow, and you shoot it and reel it in. Two foot, three foot catfish. Well, let's see what happens Holy here. Shit. I think we might have found one. All right, we're. Uh... I took the engine out of my garbage disposal. <laughs> 
It's like, oh, God, what did you do? <laughs> Where does it go from there, dude? Holy oh, you shit. Re- reel them in and they're done. You, you God damn. Oh, 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 you don't have to do that. He's beating them over the head with a big fucking piece of log. Well, you got to get them to behave. You, you got to calm that fucker down, let me tell you. Right. It's good eating if you get the get Yeah, it's good eating. That sure is. That's good eating. You got to clobber them over the head. Let's say hi to John in Virginia. John? Hey, John. <laughs> Good evening. Hey, John. Hey, guys. I was at a party a few years ago, and this guy was just wrecked. And he said, boy, I'm more fucked up than a cricket in a hubcap. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, come back to Raleigh. Hey, All right, man. Oh, God. Bill, God. <laughs> Bill, can you ever reference that ever? What's that? In a a hub- cricket in a hubcap? Yeah, I never would have thought as of that. As far as what? Just life experience. Yeah. No, but it makes sense now. Yeah, it makes I guess it jumps in there and it gets fucked and rattled all around. Yeah, yeah. Of course it makes sense, but we would never reference that. Oh, no, ever. No, no. That's what I mean. Watch out! All right. Let me say hi to Wayne in Virginia. Wayne? Hey, what's up, boys? Hey. Hey, man. It's uh, that brother so fast, he's like an egg falling from a tall chicken. Okay. I ain't never heard that one, man. Well, there Look you go. At this. Holy Fuck Jesus. Out. These fish are jumping like Jesus six Christ. feet out of the water. That can't the, be real. And they are f- shooting the fucking... Uh, it's amazing. Bows at them, man. That's pretty cool. They just got to be shooting into it, hoping they hit something. Oh, yeah, of course. Dude, f- look at that. Fuck Brick Breaker. Oh! oh wow. Slow-mo! I got, wow, that's that a guy great got shot. One. Look at that. That I would fucking do that all day. They jump out of the water and then you shoot them with the bow. That is... Holy sh... You think Peter would have a problem a with that shot. one, Bill? Uh, yeah. Dude, this is why we're at the top of the food chain. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We look, got look bored we with, can do. with killing We, we can do that food, and so. we can play banjos. Yeah. Yep. Wow, that is pretty cool. Why doesn't Peter take this shit on? They don't Damn. Have the, they don't have the balls to go Right through, there. right through. Nice. It's amazing. Uh, let's say He's hi doing to, it at night. Let's say hi to Doug and George with a lit arrow. Look at that shit! Amazing, Doug. Yeah. Hey, I was gonna say, you know, those guys are so close. They're pissing out the same dick. They're so close to pissing out the same dick. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to Matt in Oklahoma, Matt. Yeah, if uh, they're flickering goose shit on a brass doorknob. And if it rains a lot, it's a real turd floater or a gully washer. <laughs> <laughs> These guys can't wait to get on. Uh, Carl, Arkansas. That motherfucker took my line. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Carl. Coral. Anything else? I like the way you talk. Yeah, we like. I like, I like the way you talk. <laughs> <laughs> he does it way better. Of course he does. He doesn't, he doesn't have to try. No. Nope. I was going to say that uh, the guy was slicker than a snot on a doorknob. But oh, guy, dang. Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. And he said brass doorknob. Yeah. Evidently, brass is slicker. I would never know, of yeah. course, because... God damn. Rob on Long Island. Rob. Yeah, when you're real horny, you're hotter than a half-fucked fox in a forest fire. Fuck it up. Hotter than a half-fucked fox there. In a forest fire. In a forest fire. Uh, let's go to <laughs> Tank in Oklahoma. Hey, God. That Doyle's band playing yeah, in the background. It sure is. Sling Why don't you blade. go home and practice, Randy? <laughs> Randy? <laughs> Play through it. You got to play through it. Get the fuck out. Love fucking. Love that movie. Tank, what do you got? Dick Dale. Dick Dale. Down, now, 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 now. And then the drum fill. Down, That's such. It's so perfectly awful. It's horrible. Listen to that. It's all (laughs) off. Did it, did it. <laughs> it's all off. <laughs> We're getting the band back together. Get my guitar out of the garage. <laughs> and he kicks everyone out. I love that. Doyle was a douchebag. You know, I've always wondered if musicians do that shit. Like the same way comedians will sit around. And deliberately do bad jokes and yeah, shit. Yeah. Like if they deli- deli- like try to have a contest of the worst riffs See ever. See how bad you can fucking play. 
And what's his name? Who's the guy that played Doyle? He's a musician. Who Dwight Yoakam. Yeah, uh, Dwight Yoakam. Because so yeah. like... what's, what makes that great is that it, uh, it almost sounds fixable. Yeah, yeah. Like if somebody <laughs> actually had some true musical talent, they could take that idea <laughs> and, make and either attach it of... to something else or just, I don't know, smooth it out. Yeah. Oh, they, they know what they need to do to make it a great song. Amazingly they, they just twist bad. it slightly you know, so it works perfectly for the movie. We'll take, bow, a, bow, we'll take bow, another break. Bow, Big Junk Phil. Junk Phil. It's all off. Hey, Bill, what are you promoting, man? You're doing a great job for us here. Billbird.com. You got the uh, Punchline gig in San Francisco. Yep, July 13th. And uh, after that, I think like the following week, like the week of July 25th, that weekend, I'm going to be at the uh, uh, Comedy Works in okay. Denver, Colorado, one of my favorite uh, gigs, man. Yeah. Two, well, actually, both those, one of the two best comedy clubs. Nice. Other than Caroline's right here in there New York you City. If you're uh, a fan, go to Billbird.com to find out where he's going to be. Uh, phones are great. We'll go back to the phones in just a bit, but first this. Makes me stiffer than a dime store engine. <laughs> God damn. I'll tell you. That's good music right there. Yeah. That's good music. Someone's trying to turn us on to Moaning Girl or Formula One Racer. Come on, Randy. Hilarious, this person saying. Want to see if that's anything, Danny? Uh, it's on instant feedback. No, I can't hear anything. What happened? <gasps> oh, my computer's in the middle of rebooting. I don't know what's going on. Ah, well, god damn computer. iPhone. Own it, no, no. The iPhone thing is fucking The height of these chairs keeps mushing my nuts. You know, you're you know, right. Like when you sit on an Something airplane like too chairs. long, you just yeah, fucking yeah. your ball I'm bag. Con- I've noticed I'm constantly shifting in this fucking chair. These chairs are not comfortable. They're just not. Yeah. Ah, oh, we have to sit in them for hours and make jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized what I was complaining about. Some guy's out there with a jackhammer. <laughs> and I'm like, my chair isn't comfortable for my four hour bitch fest. That should be a job that just doesn't exist anymore. Like they should I was saying they the come same up with fucking anything. thing. Dude, it should be lazers that just <laughs> and cut holes in the ground. Bam! There's still some big bruiser with a jackhammer. His second job is he fucking he's behind an oxen there's plowing fucking, a field. Yeah, there's there's film of people using the exact same thing in black and white. You shouldn't be using anything <laughs> that hasn't changed at all just, from when it was in black and white films. You see his, his entire body just vibrating. Yeah. You, you think to yourself, that can't be good no, for you. No, no. He's probably just going get home. He's pissing blood. Right. His kidneys are busted up like graham crackers. Isn't it like back in the day, like guys like. They did that too long, and the, their body would just never stop shaking. Oh, yeah, they oh, f- great. start shaking. That's wonderful. Or the riveters on the buildings, the fucking riveters, where they would throw hot rivets <laughs> to each other. One guy had, like, a catcher's mitt made out of leather, and the other guy would be by the big <laughs> thing that kept the, the fire stoked. And they'd throw these red, red hot rivets. The guy would catch it. Put it in the hole, and then the riveter would go, Bap! and rivet the fucking things and put buildings together. It's like, what the fuck is... See, no one does that anymore. There's new <laughs> shit. Like yeah, there's not people sitting rivets. on girders eating lunch. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was a fucking photo op. Exactly. Anatomy. Sitting on... No, they, they did that. It was sick. Who the fuck would sit on a... No way. Dude, I saw it when, they were, when, they, were build, no. when they were building no the... No way. No way. What is this garbage? <laughs> when, they, when they were building the Brooklyn Bridge, like, I forget, there was some ridiculous amount of people would die every day. Yeah. Not me. Yeah. No way. It's crazy. Not once. Not never. <laughs> uh-uh. Like the Brooklyn Bridge? Yeah. Was the fucking... Yeah. Well, first of all, they, would, they dug down so far, and they didn't understand the bends. <laughs> and they'd bring people up, and they notice these guys, they, they start, you know, whatever... Doubling yeah, over. Double over. So then they, like, after a few days, they're like, oh, he's having a problem, too. Hurry up. Bring him up. Bring him up, which will make it worse. <laughs> uh, they didn't have a decompression chamber in there. The, it was like, uh, it was an airlock uh, to keep the air in the, the, what was it called? Not a stanchion, but a fucking whatever that base piece is. So they would just open up the airlock, and all of a sudden you go from having all this pressure on you to keep the water the pressure was to keep the water from coming in underneath and drowning you so they kept oh. it pressurized and then they just pop you out the lid and go okay you're okay and then nitrogen bubbles would start in your blood just uh, you yeah. just double over in pain and agony and die that's, that's that diving thing you got to yeah. 
fucking careful. Yeah. Uh, you want more redneck stuff? Okay, man. Well, yeah. Uh, Walter, that. Louisiana, we'll start with you. You know, eventually these are going to just start getting racist here. So of course. It's going to have to be I, a It's got to take the, hand, yeah, the same fucking Walter? ugly route it always takes. Yeah. I got a question for Bill Burr. What's up? What do you call a redneck woman with two black eyes? I don't know. A slow learner. All right, I've heard versions of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go to Tank in Oklahoma. Tank. Hey, man. Tank. Hey, guys. Hey, oh, yeah, I'm listening to the Sorry. radio. John in Texas. John. Hey, b- 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 boy. Hey, John. What's wrong with the hillbilly sins we got? Anyway. Might be through with this. Yeah. <laughs> I got the uh, hotter than a two peckered billy goat. Uh, ain't had this much fun since a hogs ate my little brother. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell does that even? <laughs> that had to happen once. <laughs> uh, oh, that's how they get away with murder out there. They feed you to the pigs. Oh, fuck. What a great. You ever movie. see that story in Annie? Then the guy's threat when he came to the girl, witnessed the murder, and he's just like, pigs gotta eat too. She's like, all right, I'm shutting the fuck up now. There's a great scene in Snatch where they do that very thing. You ever see Snatch? Oh, yeah. Snatch is a great movie, man. Snatch. Snatch. Okay. Uh, Joe the pump, uh, Pumper or Plumber? Joe, what do you got? Hey, you Yankee sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, now, if all these dumbass rednecks down here, if they even knew what XM radio or Sirius or any of that bullshit was, they say y'all's more fucked up than a shit sandwich. I think I heard that one, but but then you, but you God would have dang. to have someone that actually makes shit sandwiches. No, I just like the uh, ones that don't make sense. Yeah, it makes sense to somebody. Let's go to uh, Mason. Mason, hey, hey, down here in Florida, man. Yeah. Hey, we're fucked up down here on the Panhandle. Uh, if something's too expensive, it's hiring giraffe pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's higher than giraffe pussy. Now, or something God real damn tight, it won't fit. Yeah. Uh, that's tighter than a nun's cunt, man. <laughs> you got to throw in the man. Man. Yeah, man. That's yeah, tighter man. than a nun's cunt, man. How the burn my mom. I got to, well, these are great sayings. I haven't had as much fun since the pigs ate my little brother. Yeah, God damn with that <laughs> fun. Dude, this will get me out of trouble one day on a gig. I'll just go yeah. into that accent and throw a couple of those sayings out. Yeah. I'll be yeah. fine. Yeah. Fucking dandy. Hey, if a girl's real hot, she's finer than frog's hair. Think about it. Think uh, about I've it. heard that one, yeah, finer yeah. than frog's uh, hair. Hey, and if she's ultra fine, super hot, I'd walk two miles over broken glass to hear her fart in a walkie-talkie. <laughs> <laughs> a walkie-talkie. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, uh, that's great. Uh, bravo. Let's go to Ronnie in South Carolina. Uh, Ronnie. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, got a saying, that boy's uh. I pulled way through hell just to fight a grizzly bear with a switch. Way through hell to fight a grizzly bear with a switch. Yes, sir. All right. All right, man. That All must right. be a badass dude. Let, yeah. Let's go to Kansas. Danny? Yeah. How hey. about uh, that bitch was uglier than a gunny sack full of smashed assholes? <laughs> <laughs> a gunny sack full of uh, let's go to Frankie. Frankie. Is any any source on that? What the fuck is a gunny sack? Nothing? Uh, I don't even want to know. It, okay. it'll, it'll take away from it. <laughs> Frankie. Hey, fellas. Hey. Uh, my brother's a Pennsylvania redneck, and uh, three of his favorites are, uh, that tastes so good, I want to swallow my tongue to get more of the taste. Uh, like okay. No. Uh, fuck me running. <laughs> and... <laughs> Which is, I like that one. But they, uh, oh, ah, fuck, punch it out. <laughs> All right, he, he, forgot oh, he, the just, third he one. just got out before the plane crashed. Yeah. Uh, John, Kansas. Yeah, hey, boys. Love hey. you, love hey, you. Hey, Hey, check out on YouTube, uh, Motorized Bar Stools. Uh, oh, yeah, we've com- seen motorized uh, bar stools. Yeah. Have you seen Combine Demolition? Combine oh, Demolition. Fuck, that sounds like a good one. Yeah, check that out. And then, uh, up here in Kansas City, we got, uh, Lawnmower races. Yeah, that's the one. I've seen that? Yeah, I've seen the lawnmower races too, where they modify the lawnmowers and they go what, like 50, 60 miles an hour? At least some of them go like ninety. <laughs> <laughs> that's and amazing. Then a, uh, fucking then a, lawnmower. Yeah. 
Yeah, a lawnmower. And then uh, as far as things go, how about this one? Drier than a popcorn fart. Drier than a popcorn fart? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I'm punching out. All right. Finer than frog hair I heard on a Les Claypool album. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. He used that expression. I thought that was his lyric. Les is all right, man. He's finer than frog hair. We got, He's Johnny, got that alligator stare. We got Johnny Fairplay down the hall. We got uh, something like that. We got David, intern David here. Oh, that albacore stare. Yeah. Albacore well, stare. Yeah, like a fish. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. That's, wow. We got Bobo. And his, and frog we got Bobo got and his brother albacore. here, too. We yeah, should, a lot of people we should get some there. of these people down here because all they're all right. just hanging out down the hall. Let's bring in Johnny Fairplay, Bobo. I walked through a mile of broken grass David. just to hear a fart and a walk a talkie. A walk a talkie. Oh, God. Look at intern Dave. He's not an intern anymore, though. Johnny Fairplay think he's got to, like, disguise himself because he's so popular. <laughs> You're not a fan of the, the Fairplay. I just hate this guy. I just have <laughs> I, nothing I don't know who he about is. this guy. <laughs> this who, no, exactly Bonaducci put him in the airplane spin? <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> oh, oh, this is going to be a classic. I want to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. Did, what's wrong, Sam? Come on in. Sam, what's wrong? <laughs> I'm just walking up the hallway and hearing Bobo chase after him going, How was that being on Survivor? <laughs> really? Because I realized who he was. Oh, <laughs> did you? Whoa, Bobo without a hat. Bobo, look at you. Bobo almost looks normal. You look normal without that Mets hat, Bobo. My, my, my brother is in town, that's why. What so, does that have to do with the price of tomatoes? Yeah, why is your hair all moosed out? You look all nice. I haven't seen my brother since my father passed away. Oh, really? He's my half brother. So you wear you don't wear a hat? <laughs> no, I I figured dress to impress. Dude, if oh. you dress like this every day, you'd probably get chicks. Slow down. He's got a nice shirt on. You got your hair moosed up. No Mets hat. Well, I'll probably dress like this every time I'm here. Then. Well, you're not gonna get girls here, though. <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> you really just saw the hope die in his yeah. face right there. Yeah, yeah. He's like, well, crazy people always got to fuck with their fingers. Yeah, Isn't that no. big <laughs> and well, crazy. Did, did you say hi to Bill Bird? Did you say hi to what's Johnny going Fairplay? On? How's it going, Bill hey, Bird? What's going on? How are, how are you, man? man? Hey, oh, thank course, you. How's it going, Johnny Fairplay? I didn't, I didn't realize it was you. <laughs> well, get on mic there, Bobo. Get, be on I, the mic. I, I didn't realize that this was Johnny Fairplay because I haven't seen his... Because it's been a few years since the season of Survivor. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And it's been... Oh. Oh. oh, hey. Oh, hey. Wow. Easy. Oh. What does that mean, Bobo? Guy just comes from the Spider. studio. He's trying to have a good yeah. time, and all of a sudden, look at you throwing down. Bobo, what do you mean by that? Well, there's been so many seasons of Survivor, so it's Get hard to remember. Get on mic, Bobo. You've done it's a hard lot to of remember the face. <laughs> right, it's right. hard to remember the faces of all the contestants so that have been saying, on Survivor. It, what you're saying is just a dime a dozen. No, I'm not saying that. Him, him I, I, I remember. I, Johnny Fairplay, I remember very well. He's a, Are you saying he's a has-been, though? Not. A little bit? No, no, he's not. A little bit, right? <laughs> who, I don't is, who is Johnny Fairplay more famous than uh, today? Who is Johnny Fairplay more famous than? Not when he was on Survivor, when he was huge, doing what he did. Yeah, now. Now, in the year 2009. Who's, who is he more famous than? That that I'm not sure. I know I heard he's been boxing lately. Would you say he's more? <laughs> <laughs> well, that answers the question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and 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 really fast because Sam's in here. Intern David was holding court outside the studio. What was he doing? You remember our uh, 42 year old intern Scott? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. David was giving everyone an update on Scott that included. Wait, let uh, David say it then. It also included his income. Oh, really? Oh. He's current- yeah. David, what were you doing? We were just having, a, me and intern Paul were just having a conversation, and uh, intern Scott's name came up, and we started talking about him. Well, All right. gossip. And what did you say about intern Scott? What did I say about him? Yeah, you guys keep in touch? Yeah, we keep in touch. Sure, I do. I heard, I was walking by, and I heard you say, and, and since he's left the ONA show, he's been on two family vacations. That is true. He, not he one, told and me then, And then he has to, like, <laughs> not one, two... <laughs> Yeah. What's that? <laughs> what would, why is that a big deal? 
It's just a big deal because he was an intern. He went going, he goes from being an intern to going on two vacations. He went to he, how many? He took his family to Disney World. Yeah, and then he went to some like tropical island in the Caribbean. After that, I like Whoa. how he's saying it like one of those game show uh, announcers in like yeah, the early seventies. Yeah. Two, two family two. vacations. Two. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> why, did, why is that bothersome there, intern David? It's just bothersome because I'm an intern. I can't afford to go on one vacation. He's in was an intern. Now he can afford to go on these lavish vacations. How Two. Many? Two vacations. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Bobo, so talk to Johnny Fairplay. See what he's up to. Yeah, well, I was asking. What was on the it, mic. What was on the, the mic. mic. Gotta... <laughs> what, was it like, what was it like being on that island? <laughs> I mean, what, I mean what, was there anything that that happened that didn't happen on camera that you could t- talk about? That's a good. Any question. craziness that that couldn't be shown on CBS? Oh, that's uh, a good question, Bobo. Yeah, wow. Uh, no, most of the time we're just bored, uh, just waiting for challenges to happen. So if, if they just showed us sitting around, that probably wouldn't be as entertaining as the. Yeah, well, I'm sure. I'm sure you. I'm sure there was something with the alcohol they gave out in reward challenges. That you probably drank a few and probably some craziness went on. <laughs> well, they, they showed most of my craziness when I drank on television. The, the only thing they didn't really show is my first tribal council. Uh, I was just hammered drunk. And uh, we go there and, and Jeff's like, uh, uh, well, he's asking questions. And I fall off my chair and, and, and uh, two of the guys had to pick me up and put me back on the chair. And I actually sent home one of them. And Jeff's like, are you loaded? I'm like, I'm fucked up. And he was like, do you think that's fair to the other people? I'm like, I don't care. And if you watch the show, you, you don't see me fall off the chair. And, and he goes, are, are you loaded? And I just say, yeah. And it's a real quick cut. Ah. <laughs> you, 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 didn't, you didn't walk around pulling off at East Side Dave wearing, I don't know, you didn't, you didn't walk around trying to hide a, hide a blowgun up your ass or anything like that when you were drunk? <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not on my first season. Uh, you, you, didn't, you didn't. You didn't try. You didn't. You didn't try to accidentally put one of the torches in your ass or got burnt by a torch. <laughs> Why? They, they kind of keep those away from us. So they're they're more props than anything else. Bobo, uh, have him. You know, have him uh, give us an update. What is he up to now? And well, maybe well, what can... do you, well, what are you up to lately? <laughs> I know you've been bo- you're boxing in Philly. Uh, yeah, wow, Bo, you did your research. I'm glad yeah, to see and, you and prepared I remember, for this interview. And I remember, I think someone you were boxing once, this this guy who was married to, a, I think, a porn star, Gina Lynn, who who her and her friend uh, tit, uh, Titty squashed me on uh, one time, me and, uh, and and David once, his, his wife and, and his wife's friend Titty, titty squashed, squashed. Me. I, I, <laughs> and, I, and I remember him saying that he was going to be boxing you in Philly. How'd that fight go? Uh, I I don't know who you're talking about. I, I'm I'm boxing Lindsay Lohan's dad on Saturday. Yeah, Bobo, where did where did you get this <laughs> yeah, info but, from? But but, I, but I, your proposal I, sounds much better. I'd yeah. rather do the titty squash. I, 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 re- I remember I, re- I remember I remember Gina Lynn's husband mentioning that he was boxing Johnny oh, Fairplay. Yeah, 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 yeah how'd that fight go? How'd that fight go? <laughs> I, I won. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him about Lindsay Lohan's dad and Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, so, Johnny so, Fairplay likes to you know so, talk some dirt. So, so what is there? Is there is there some bet that you get to bang a drunk Lindsay Lohan if you beat him? Yeah, I think that's in the contract. So oh, I, I, nice for for the, for the uh, for the press conference. I said you know uh, oh, you know if I get to win or if I win do I get Lindsay? I heard she's in the guys this week, and I'm like, but you know if not, you know my my wife's bisexual, oh. so we can work it out either way. Oh, what is it? Are you get Are you going to get a? Li- are you, well, I don't mean to. I don't mean to be an Uncle Paul here, but are you going to end up getting to see a lesbian sex show with uh, Lindsay and his, and her sister, who I hear is closing in on the big one eight? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't really know how that family works. I, I'm, I'm guessing I'm not going to see well, that. Well, well, from what, well, from what I hear, she's been. From what I hear, her mother has been dressing her as slutty as her sister. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow, fucking Bobo's going to be on TMZ, not Johnny <laughs> Fairplay. <laughs> Bobo's, uh, well, love it. Well, wow, from you're what, a shock from what I heard, well, well, from what I heard, I've been a, a... As a matter of fact, they got a little something to tell you. Oh. You, you know how in Queens, how they got those street fairs often? Yeah. I'm buying a sausage and peppers with onions, and the, and the, la- the lady, this Italian chick, recognized me. Really? Yeah, she recognized me. And my sister is starting to be jealous because a few people at the street fair were talking about. They said, "Isn't that the Bobo?" And she's saying, "Not fair! How come he became famous before I did?" Yeah, yeah. famous, famous. <laughs> yeah, I'm becoming famous before she even does. You're, you're no Johnny Fairplay famous, right? Right. 
Well, I, I have no idea how famous, but maybe right now <laughs> I'm starting to be recognized like a reality TV star. Really? Wow. Fuck Bobo. Or, or I think Bobo. Well, well, anybody who listens to the o a show, sometimes, some people though, though, don't know who Bobo looks like. But all of a Third sudden, party. I know. I, I, I saw it. someone wearing a, wearing a shirt at a on the on the seven Third train, person. and I mentioned, "You do know who I am." Yeah. <laughs> Usually, if there's someone wearing a shirt, I try to mention who I am so they shirts. know who I am. <laughs> and I shirts. <laughs> no, no, he was wearing an O and A shirt. Oh, oh, I thought a Bobo shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, Where do I get these Bobo shirts? Yeah. I, 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 I don't have a Bobo, have a Bobo shirt. shirt so but you just was... walk up to people on the subway <laughs> and just go, "You do know who I am." Well, if I do see someone wearing an O and A shirt, yeah. Yeah, and but you don't preface you? it with, I'm on the show, do you know who I am? Y- yeah, yeah, yeah like, going... I'll mention I'm on the show. And, and what, what do they say? Do they know you? Or yeah, they... yeah, like they, so they say, oh, you're Bobo, and they'll sometimes try to do my Bobo Springsteen bit. What's the Springsteen uh, bit? Bill, do you know the Bobo Springsteen bit? I remember Anthony used to do something up to the I level. used to do it, but Anthony's you know bit, something? But... Uh, once you're overshadowed, yeah. like I have been with Bobo's impression of it, I don't even do it anymore. <laughs> well, I'll show you an example. I'll, 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 do, I'll do one about Eastside Dave. How about Johnny Fairplay yeah, so we can one. hype his fight here? Yeah, he's well, a, wait, do what oh, about... Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Sam's on TV. You just missed it. What? He was just on uh, CNBC. Shut up. I just saw it right <laughs> What's there. What's wrong with you? That is who interviewed me. Really? And they are showing... Yeah, yeah, uh... yeah, didn't you just see it? No, no oh. one saw it. I, I just saw it briefly. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, I just saw it. That hair, can, I can see that hair from a mile away. It's getting, no! it's getting so, it's getting so big. I can see it how from big two blo- is it. I can see it from two blocks away. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> two blocks away. If you're driving a convertible, two. I can see it from two. maybe ten cars away. Whoa! If I'm stuck on the Long Island Expressway right. and you're driving a convertible, I can see you from far away with that hair. Whoa! Oh, hey. Wow! Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's hitting heaven. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. All right, Bo- do, do, Bobo, Bobo is telling me about uh, his dream car is. 88 Mustang Cobra 5.0, but uh, mm. he's been looking around and uh, he, he can't do all the adjustments he wants to make to it at first. But the first thing he's going to do is replace the seats with leather seats. Oh, okay, that's a good start. <laughs> hey, well, that, that's me. I love leather interior in the car. Yeah. Well, then, that's a good place to start then. You know, I roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but he, he said he might mention something to you since you you, you like the fast cars. That maybe yeah, you could work I have, I have a Mustang, out. so yeah. you know. Yeah, exactly. I was wondering if you could if you could help me uh, get get a hold of one. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your the man he needs to talk yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm the Mustang connection. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. He, he, it has to be an '88 though. Yeah, an '88. A little, That's a little earlier one. than mine, yeah. but uh, I don't know. I've always had a thing. That thing's a classic, and the sound that thing makes. What does yeah. it make? What's I this? want to be heard from a mile away. How does it sound there, Bobo? I don't know how. I can't do the sound, yeah. but it's just like. Think, think, think. It's, made, it's really loud. It's like loud like a NASCAR. That's how loud it is. Oh. Like what? Do it again. <laughs> is that that's it? not bad. I I'm think looking that's at a picture. Good. Hey, that's a pretty look. That's a pretty cool looking car there, it, it, Bobo. It's like a, it's like a very can... loud sound. It's a... I, I my cousin it calls it the signature oh sound. Oh, my God. Let me, t- let me tell you. Probably the worst year for the Mustang ever <laughs> nice. was uh, 88. Yeah. That is a horrible-looking car there, uh, Bobo. No, no, wait a minute. Now, now that we have the picture, if, if you could just do the sound again, <laughs> yeah. we could just yeah, marry yeah. the me, two. Let me maybe with Let's the sound. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I can feel the leather. <laughs> yeah, I can. Do it, well, do it. Later. Like, yeah. not, not initially. It do won't it, be take leather it off. initially. Do it, take it off. You're at a red light. <laughs> That is an awful Mustang. <laughs> you picked the Bobo, worst year for that the Mustang. That is the worst well, year. It looks. It doesn't even look like. It, it looks, looks like dated. the year hey, they what decided you... to like make the use the Mustang name to make that those piece of shit cars. Yeah, it doesn't look well, like a classic. Hey, what if what if you made the car faster? What would it sound like? Well, that's oh, a good wow. idea, Bill. I like that. Yeah. I, I don't know what it would sound like, but I can tell you, it would sound a lot better. Yeah. Well, Mike, <laughs> give, give us enough for. <laughs> I guess it's not loud. Of course, it went of course, away, so you heard it get lower. Of course, even the outside, though, I'd probably, I'd probably improve the outside of it. Oh, you what? Like how? Or what the? Who the heck is called? 
You know the Mets song as your ring? Uh, someone's calling me, hello, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> We're on the radio, by the way. You, you do know I'm on the radio right now, so I'll have to call you when... You, I'll you call do know you who after. I am. Who is it? <laughs> Bobo, can right. I talk to them? No, all right, no problem. All right, I'm in. <laughs> was that your mom? Who no, that it? was my brother. Oh, oh him, him and his brother are having a union later. No, no, no he was twisting what I was saying. Oh. <laughs> on stage. Wow. No, on no, stage. no, 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 he was twisting that. That was a separate thing. I was saying I was meeting my my brother after the, sh- after the show. And you, you're going to have sex with him without no, a condom. No, I didn't say that. On stage. That, on stage. I didn't he say said that? that? No, that's what I didn't say. Oh, that. Oh, 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 that I did not oh, say. Oh, that I did not oh, say. Oh, but it's but it's his half-brother, so it's not it's, that's, yeah, it's not weird. Yeah. I did not say that. Johnny said you said it. Oh, fuck. Johnny no, 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 no. Sam was twisting what I was saying. Sam would never twist anything. No, 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 no. Is that what he said? That's what he said. He was twisting what I was saying. Everybody was twisting what I was saying. Hey, Bobo, would you fuck him in that 88 Mustang? What would that sound like? <laughs> I ain't gonna comment there, all right? I'm not. Oh! So, 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 so many, the cubsies so, 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 on the leather seats. Yeah, don't, don't mess I, up I don't the leather know, seats. David here was twisting what I'm saying. Oh. David, what, what are you doing? What happened, David? David? Why are you instigating? Yeah, I'm not instigating anything. I'm just. Tell him what happened. He, he's twisting what I'm saying because he heard the way. Because the way I talk, maybe it sounds different. No, it doesn't. It's not sound the different way you talk. No, no, it's you're doing it on stage, yeah. right, Bobo? No, at I the didn't stress say factory. That. I didn't say that. I was saying I was introducing Rich Foss on stage. Did oh you? yeah, yeah. Jesus, I'm, he's I'm, two or a movie. I'm, I'm introducing. Oh, yeah. yeah. intru- the real things happening. Yeah. I'm introducing Rich Voss tonight at the stress factory. Yeah, Vin- Vinny asked me to introduce oh. Voss and talk it- to the crowd a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to talk to them, and I got a... Are you um, having sex with your brother? No, no, no. <laughs> Half-brother, sorry. Wait, no. wait, wait, wait. wait. On, you want to practice what, you want, what you're what you going to do for Rich Voss tonight? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, factory? Well, I'm already saying... How well, about someone, I'll, I'll, I'll someone ta- introduce I'll, Bobo, and let's, let's go through this. Right, la- ladies and gentlemen, crowd, welcome to the Stress Factory here ladies in New Brunswick. Ladies and gentlemen, crowd. Well, 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 <laughs> wait, wait, let's start over. <laughs> All right, I'm going to say welcome. Right. La- ladies and gentlemen, your headliner tonight is Rich ba- Voss, but first, from the Opie and Anthony show, it's Bobo. La- la- <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, good evening, New Jersey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> You all know me as Bobo. All right, Bo- let's try it again. <laughs> you all know me as Bobo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your headliner tonight is Rich Voss. But first, for the Opie and Anthony show, let's give a warm welcome to Bobo. <laughs> Good evening, New Jersey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How- I'm a major all made it here in this tough economy. Did, did you guys screw? Did you guys uh, screw up some stockholder to come here today? You guys screw up some stockholder. I know. I know you're all here to see see a fag back carrying Rich Voss. So, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce you. No, 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 no. You got to do a little more time than that. Oh, right, right. God. A little more time. I understand, little more time. You're, all oh, here, I understand you're all here. I understand you're all here. We'll start over again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your headliner tonight, Rich Voss. But first, for the Opie and Anthony show, let's hear it for Bobo. Good evening, New Jersey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How, how you all came here in this tough economy? Did you guys screw over any stockholders? The same thing as you said. You got, I can't believe you guys. Some stockholder is very pissed off at you. Wants to probably beat you up if you're if you're some corporate guy who, who you, you screwed over a stockholder. If they find you, your your ass is probably going to get kicked. <laughs> wow. That's the worst. Me, I can't believe I got here taking two trains to get here. <laughs> of, course, of course, I noticed, though, your trains are pretty clean. Oh, Unlike yeah. the Long Island Railroad, I see people smell like alcohol on those trains. But I'm pump pump. I have to say, though, Rich Voss, the guy... I can't believe this guy's wearing a fur coat and a fag bag. <laughs> so, so he, who, who here wants a Bobo Springsteen song here that's from Jersey? Oh, hey! 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 Me, from me, Jersey. me, me, All right, I don't know, I don't know if you're from Jersey. Well, 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 you're not really from Jersey, but j- just, just for, just for all, all intents and purposes, say you are from Jersey. Uh, okay, I'm from Jersey. Johnny Fairplay, he thinks he's a wrestler. He's a he he kicked 
He kicked a porn star husband's ass in a boxing match. And after what? he wins tonight's boxing match, he screw, he's going to screw a dead drunk Lindsay Lohan. Oh, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, that's terrific. <laughs> and now without further ado, uh, uh, Rich. Uh, and without further ado, the Jew with the right amount of stupidity and the smile of a horse. Yeah. Give it up for your own, New Jersey's own, Rich Voss. Wow. And, and then, of course, Voss r- 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 walks on stage. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure of that. Oh, oh, I thought you just stood there. I was there. just describing what would happen confused. after that, yeah, and, then yeah, I, yeah. and I probably shake his hand, whatever, and then he, then he does his thing. And and then then he, how, how would the crowd react to you afterwards, like after the show's over and they're coming up to you? Are there more people coming up to you or Voss? Well, I don't know. Probably both of us, but probably at this rate, because it's sometimes how, what I hear about Voss's act, they'll probably be coming up to me more often. My Twitter, my Twitter, my, oh, my no. Twitter followers are in the hundreds. Whoa! Wow! Whoa. Y- y- b- bring up my Twitter stat. Can somebody bring up my Twitter stats? Twitter stats. <laughs> 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 it's like a baseball card. You, 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 no, I'm talking about the information about how many followers you I got. got. 368. You're, you're the Mr. new Britney Spears. <laughs> Mr. Met 8 on Twitter. He's Mr. Met 8. It's Mr. like M R M E T and the number eight. Heading toward four hundred, Bo. Yep, that's right. I get I get fans all the time. Ever since I advertised my Twitter on the radio, they've been following. You know what they say? It's like that uh, field of dreams. If you if you advertise it, they will follow. Wow. <laughs> so was wait, wait, what is that from the field <laughs> of dreams? I, Look, I was imitating those vo- that that line in Field of Dreams, but oh, I was but oh. I was saying it as a Twitter re- reference. Oh, and what was it? <laughs> if you if you advertise your Twitter on the ONA show, they will follow. <laughs> Holy shit! So w- was Mister? Can't even look. W- w- was Mister Met one through seven taken? Yeah. <laughs> no. 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 Why, why eight? Yeah. Why eight? The number on my on my Mets jersey when I was a kid. Jersey. Who was, was number eight when you were growing? Up? <laughs> uh, that was a uh, Gary Carter back in the eighties. Oh well. Of oh wow. I, I was can't... actually at Game Six when I was age four. He had the nice permed mullet. I, 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 I sat in a mezzanine, the the upper levels of the mezzanine. Mm-hmm. The upper part of the mezzanine. Mezzanine. For those of you who don't, for those of you who don't remember, you don't know what Shea Stadium looks like. There was seating sections of a, of the the field level was orange, the level above that was blue, and the level oh, above that was the mezzanine, and the one above that was red. It the was, green was seats. Continental Airlines. The green seats. <laughs> level above. The green seats was the was Sorry. the mezzanine section. The third level, the third seating level of uh, of Shea Stadium. He knows everything about Shea Stadium. Well, he has to. I'm a Met fan. Well, it's gone now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, It doesn't true. sound like good seats. Why are you bragging? Yeah, mezzanine. Yeah. Dude, you should be. <laughs> well, it was what was around at the time, all right? It was the stadium the Mets played at the time. Yeah, I, brought, I brought my boxing gloves. That, that, that was your team state. That was my team stadium at the time. So that's where you go. But that new stadium hey, is freaking hey. awesome. All right, hey, uh, fair play. Would you let Bobo hit you a few times with the gloves? No, I hit him. <laughs> How about one to one? Now, I don't want. I don't want. I don't want my brother to see bruised faces when he hasn't seen me in twenty. Three years. Twenty three years. And they're and they are having that, sex later. No, that isn't oh, true. No, no, he right. twist, he, no, 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 that's wow, these guys so... twist no, that's these guys twisting that line. No, he wouldn't do that. He wouldn't do that to you, Bobo. That they're, they're, hey, they're, they're would you twisting... fuck your brother to get that Mustang? <laughs> How about rub one out? What do you what do you think? Uh, that, that, well that I that's a tough question. It's an 88 Cobra. Yeah. If yeah. the price was right, if the price was right, 88 Cobra, that's the price. Hey. Yeah. We got Sam on CNBC. I got it right oh, here. Really is? It's a new generation, so that's great. Blackberry is yesterday, and iPhone is now. You see where they cut that off? The, yeah. Where the sound oh, cuts out? Yeah. Do you know what the visual is? What? Me chanting 3GS at the top of my lungs, but they cut the audio out. Oh. So I'm just sitting there screaming with my arms in the air, but there's no sound. Well, well there's one thing I got to say, though. <laughs> that And, and Anthony, could, Anthony probably agrees with me on this oh, one. Oh, I do. Mel, probably. improve the app. Please show some better respect for ONA. 
Oh, oh, they already did. They, that. they oh, did. No, but look how, how they fucking like he was out there mocking the whole thing, and then they just—I mean, that's that's they they completely it, dishonest. They, they made it to make thing. it look like he, he was gave a, a shit. reporter. Like and I was gave actually a shit. Like, yeah. I was holding my BlackBerry. Right. That, that was, was fake. That whole thing was fake, and yeah. they put it on as news. Yeah. I didn't buy an iPhone, yeah. and I still have my BlackBerry, and I'll be using and it for the rest of the contract. Yeah, the BlackBerry is better or whatever. You had all the pro BlackBerry lines in there, and they knew it because they had all your footage, so they. They knew uh, that it was bullshit, mm-hmm. but they used it as real news. That's what they do. Did they ask you what amazing. the apps was? No, that's mine. <laughs> they, they can't have that. They get up. What's the and app? Probably, and, <laughs> and, I, and I bet you the new iPhone. They probably throw in the stylist. If you're a, <laughs> if you're an executive producer with too big of a fingers, a what, stylist a sty- for your hair. <laughs> yeah. No, for two for people with too big fingers. But what would a stylist be uh, sold <laughs> with uh, <laughs> with the iPhone? For executive producers that have fingers that are too big. But a stylist is for your hair. No, I'm talking about that pen thingy, you know, like Steve. You, I no, was making like, a joke about Steve. Oh, what are those things called? It's called a stylus. Bears. <laughs> remember, he said the reason he no, uses this. Remember the re- Well, if you heard the reason he said he uses a stylus is because his hands are too big to yeah, press the button, yeah. so he has to use a stylus still. Hey, is your right. brother here right now? No, he's going to. No, he's gonna. I'm gonna see him after the show. Oh, okay. And why haven't you seen each other in so long? Well, he's got a diff. Well, we we only share the same father. And when my father passed away, his mother didn't let him see me anymore. Why? Uh, for some reason, I don't know. He she took it out on my father and and decided to take it out on the kids. You know how some people Jesus. are. Jesus. Was there oh, underage wow. touching? Is that? No, <laughs> for some reason she was just pissed I off at my father, and somehow was blaming my mother for for it. Oh, that's she she good. had a grudge against my mother. Who? The new mom? The, 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 I'm, conf- the, the, I'm kind of confused. No, no, no. no she's, she's talking about the, the, no the late the late the 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 woman my father married after he divorced her. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you you're you're a little confused with the whole thing. No, yeah. no, 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 but my father had a marriage prior to my mother. Is and that they the had... one you want to have sex with? No. <laughs> with his brother. The, bro- that, the brother. No, half, half brother, 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 damn it. Half brother. <laughs> and, 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 and don't ignore these guys. They're twisting what I'm saying. All right, Bobo, walk us through it slowly. My father had a previous marriage prior to my mother. Right. And they had that kid, Brian. That you're going to meet for the first time today in 23 years. Yeah. Okay. That, that I've only been talking to on the internet. Okay. And so how do fo- you know you already know you want to fuck him? No, 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 no. Never that, met him. That, 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 they're twisting that. That I didn't say that part. Is he down for this or is it no, just No, I didn't say the effing part, all right? I'm going to... You're not going to force don't, yourself on your own brother. No, 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 I hope he's into this. No, 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 don't, don't make me call him right now. Don't make me call him right now. If you guys if you call guys hear you've been Dude, twisting that's gonna what be I've been awkward, saying... That's going to be awkward, man. That's going to be awkward. Call, 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 I'll talk to him. Are you going to make the first <laughs> yeah, move? Yeah, Johnny talk to him. Yeah, I'd love to talk to him. I'm not, not, not going to call him here, all right? I don't want... I, I don't want. I don't want this ruined. All right, the first time I'm seeing him in years, ruined. You're yeah, really you excited. gotta say that in private. Yeah, you're I don't want this ruined. <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah. can tell he's excited. You don't want us the nice blocking. shirt, the fucking hair, no med hat. Yeah, the moose. Why? Why? We, you, you're hoping to have a relationship with him? Yeah. Now? No, no. <laughs> we won't cock block you. No, no, I didn't say that. All right. <laughs> it's just I. I thought that this would be appropriate to <laughs> to wear to wear to wear to wear a. To wear a button shirt and when is uh, it ever appropriate to fuck your brother? No, I didn't oh, say that. Shit. And what's the deal with the I ping didn't pong balls that. and the asshole? You were talking about that too. Yeah, oh, I didn't say that. Shit. You did too. I did not I, say I that. Guess you, I heard you, Bobo. No, you said that. you said your brother could fart out ping pong balls out no, of his asshole. No, I didn't say that. Oh, Bobo. I, I did not say that. <laughs> Bobo, I said I, was, I could probably do that. Bobo, if I was you, I would knock, <laughs> knock the hat off Johnny Fairplay. Uh, that, knock off his hat. Knock off his hat. That's it. Oh, damn. Wow! <laughs> wow! Would you like to give me that back now? Uh oh! Pre-fight hype. Here we go. Oh, no, shit. I'll get it back to you after Jimmy farts in it. Who's yeah. Jim? Jimmy's not even here. Jimmy's, Jimmy's not here. Not here. Well, I'm holding on to it until the next time he's here. Then you'll get it back. Farted it on. Oh! oh. Hey, I'm gonna Holy ship it. Shit. I'm shipping it to you. Priority mail. <laughs> Same day. Priority mail. Same day. Farted <laughs> 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 I'm gonna have it farted on multiple times. Oh. Oh. Multiple wow. 
Multi you're crazy. Multi farted on. I'm going to have him eat. I'll give Jimmy the 100 case of White Castle sliders. <laughs> what? Right. The 100 case of White Castle sliders. I'm saying, Jimmy, I need you to fart he's on this here. multiple. T- well, when he is here, I'm holding on to this. Until he's until You're it's gonna keep his hat. B- Bubba, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch you in the stomach if you don't. Oh, get shit. oh, oh shit! Oh shit! No, no, no. Don't, uh, now don't, Bubba doesn't know what to do. Don't, 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 don't make me do that. You do that. I got. I I know lawyers. <laughs> I, I, I do too. Ask Bonaduce. Oh, <laughs> I don't like a chance. Oh. Bonaduce ain't a lawyer. He's a he's a he, He's a where are they now guy. Oh! oh that, that, that guy is the actor that played Danny Partridge, not a, not not a lawyer. Oh, All right. oh okay. A little trivia, <laughs> a little trivia I, question. I, 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 I wouldn't know because that's how that's part of the way my my mother kind of came up with the name my name. Oh, after that okay. Danny. So well, you're named I, after I'm, I'm, Danny I'm honestly gonna put on the no, boxing no, no, glove I, I, and I, punch I, I, you in the I, stomach I, if I don't I, have my hat I, back. I, 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 and well, what time? You gotta put a time frame on it. Well, well if you do that, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna explain why my brother. Why I'm, Johnny why Fairplay I'm is going up. for the gloves. <laughs> Stand your ground, Bobo. Johnny, you go show UFC him what's what. Me. You did it go UFC on me? No, this isn't UFC. This is just boxing. <laughs> he's just, just, just gonna, gonna, 18 he's just gonna punch you. Yeah, I'm just gonna punch you. <laughs> you gonna take that, Bobo? Bobo. <laughs> Stand your ground, Bobo. Stand your ground. Johnny, this is great pre-fight hype. Yeah, right. Bobo, put your hand. Up. I Get wanted to do this back. to Get Sam. Ready. Like I, I'm a little Bobo, disappointed. Bobo, defend yourself. <laughs> Glasses are off. They're in his hat. He's taking off the headphones. He's looking at me. I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'm not going. I'm not going full, full strength. But I'm going to go out there. I don't want this guy injured for the fight. I'd like to see this guy kick, kick, uh, kick Mr. Lohan's ass. So you're not going to ha- hurt him. Yeah, Bubba, put your dukes hey, up. Hey, you don't want to hurt the guy yeah, before. Protect you yourself at all times. Before the main event. Here. Oh, here we go. Are there dukes are up. Dukes are up. Speak right. Rocky music. I, I'm just, I'm just going to punch in the stomach, all right? Dun, 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 dun. You ready? You ready? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Oh! All right, stop! Oh shit! <laughs> Jesus, fair play! Fair play <laughs> laid into <laughs> Bobo so hard. Bobo, you all right? With a chair to the face, that's another one. Oh, oh, God for the face! <laughs> all right, they're trying to hold Bobo Danny's back. Trying to hold him back. <laughs> Bobo's <laughs> punching Johnny Fairplay. Oh my god, it's a catastrophe. <laughs> Fairplay down is down. Bobo. Bobo. Wow. <laughs> Bobo, fight back. Don't just... <laughs> Bobo. I think you're good. I, I, I think you better quit while you're behind. <laughs> wow, wow you fucking well done. Here, he was going right for the face, too, know, wasn't what he? The fuck? <laughs> I, 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 Jesus. <laughs> So, I like your style, Bobo, but still, I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't like your, go. I don't like your chances, but I like your style. It's a uh, very girl yeah, like. Like what the fuck? Like, he has his knuckle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very You're breaking knuckle if you. Push I don't that normally way. get into fights. Uh, apparently, no, really. <laughs> No, you abnormally so get into That's fights. So weird. <laughs> that was. So is this uh, what we can expect? Uh, what is it? Friday night or Saturday? Saturday, Saturday night? June twentieth, uh, Philadelphia Airport Ramada. It's. Uh, How old is Michael Lohan? Forty nine. So like I, I I I issued an open challenge and made it on TMZ and all that, and I was like, uh, I'll fight any celebrity under one hundred and sixty pounds with no fight experience. So Michael Lohan accepted. I saw he has three year. Uh, he's had three fights. He's already done. He's 170 pounds. Uh-huh. He's 5'10". I'm just like, fuck and, me. And, but but I, I've been training for like three weeks, so uh, I feel pretty good. I mean, uh, like, you'll, you'll, you'll beat him. You'll beat him. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Bobo. You, hey, Bobo, how's your... Uh, how you where, did he, where did he punch you? He punched you that hard. Hey, where, he just where hit did... me in me right here. Oh, how is that? It is hurt? it bruised? Mm-mm. It hurt. Let's see. Lift it up. <laughs> you all right? I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> was, it a good, was it a good punch, Bobo? It was good, all right? It's just the stuff you twisting what I said kind of got to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. You had to kick his yeah, ass yeah. a little. Believe me, you, you, you were ruining me seeing my brother for the first time in ages. Well, you're going to ruin your brother if you have sex with him. No, oh, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, oh, again, again, you guys are twisting what I'm saying. Again, you guys are twisting what I'm saying. Don't make him uh, have to defend his uh, honor again. Yeah, I'll put the Bolo, gloves back Bolo on, Bobo. Kicked your ass. Good. <laughs> See, Bobo right. kicked your ass with those hey, Johnny, face shots. It's only fair. Let Bobo hit you once with the glove. 
<laughs> he punched me in the face without the glove. <laughs> let, let me I you. think I think we're even right now. I, 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 think, I, 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 I said punch. I'm not ruining yeah. someone I think right before the big I, fight. I think all right, it's safe to There's say that he's not going to do much damage. No, I'm getting people out. that paid money. That Bo, paid. you want to punch him once with the glove on? Bo, Bo. Bo, bo, in the bo, order. Bo, 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 fair. Bo, bo, bo. How, how much money for people paying to see you fight? See you kick the ass of uh, Michael Wohan. How much money? We got I, microphones. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Can someone tell me how much money were those tickets? Bo, bo. You only get to punch him once in the arm. Okay? How much money? First ask me. How much money were the best seats going for? Not the face. I have no clue. Not in the face. You, once you're fighting in this and you don't know how much money your own fight's going for? No idea. Not in the face. All right. All right. Someone's right. 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 thinking the Rocky music for this one. That's right. All right. Rocky Dennis. <laughs> Rocky Dennis. <laughs> That's not bad, Bobo. Not bad. He's got a good jab. That's better than what he had before. Absolutely. Would you like one more, one more punch back, Bobo? <laughs> Don't fuck <laughs> they, they hit this song. No, 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 no. Jesus. Right, not the one I write with. Okay. <laughs> Oh. All right, that's, all right. Good that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good hit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some stuff to tell to my brother after this. Yeah, Johnny Fair played like uh, box with you. Yeah. Like I wear a condom. No, no, no. He's not using condoms. He's doing the troll neck condom gimmick. I, yeah. I, Bobo, you shouldn't, you shouldn't the, try to the, fuck the, your brother. The, when though. I was a you teenager, really when I was a teenager in my, when I was asleep, I'd wear one because I had the, I did have the pants jizzing problem. <laughs> I used to jizz in my pants. Who hasn't jizzed in their pants when they're asleep? Wait a minute. Who wears pants you when they're asleep? You wore a condom when you went to sleep? Because I used to jizz in my pants when I was asleep. All right, wait. Was... Explain this. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come Explain. on, you know, when you have those dreams, when you have some kind of dream that Sex you're... Sex dreams, at... sure. Yeah, when you're About your dream, brother? You're... No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Brother dreams. No. Possible family reunion one day? No, 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 not that. I'm talking about when I'm effing some broad Whoa. in high school. Whoa. Yeah. When I was in high school, I'd be effing some broad. You know, that hot looking chick. Whoever it was, you were eyeing, but you probably could never hook up with as much as you try to ask. You'd get turned down. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm sure it's happened to you. I think you said you were you were kind of more of the class clown with what with what you could do. Uh, yes, thank you, Bobo. I was. <laughs> so what and, happened, Exactly. Bobo? Most of the time that would happen. You'd have a dream, and all of a sudden you'd wake up, and it was, oh, shit, I jizzed in my pants. <laughs> so you started wearing a condom to bed? <laughs> yeah, I kept I kept it discreet that I wore, wore them, but I had a... I had a case hidden. <laughs> a case of and condoms, so you didn't have to jizz in your so pants anymore. So you'd go to bed yeah, and kind of... roll on a condom? No, I would. No, I'd wear it in my sleep, and if I accidentally jizz in my pants, I I knew it wouldn't get in my pants, but it would get in the condom, of course. And then, oh, that's what it how many times would you wake up with a full condom? <laughs> mm, I lost count. A lot, huh? Damn. No, well, maybe, maybe in a. I think it was maybe in a double digit. And your parents wait, never wait. saw the condom. You sure like, you, you no. Just, you sure you weren't just peeing in your in your pants? No, I I I know what I know I, what peeing is. All right. He what? tasted it. He knows. No, no, oh, no, no, it no, no, no. Oh, I never seen the cup. Nice. No, no, no. <laughs> what does it I taste don't know like, what Bobo? People think why. I, I, I've never sixty nine myself before. But you tried, right? <laughs> no, I never tried. Bobo, what's the difference between... Just six the only reason I know is because I've had urinary system problems. <laughs> 48 <laughs> operations on my <laughs> urinary system. He's like a cat. Why 48 <laughs> operations? They messed up an operation on my urinary system. Oh, shit, Bobo. When I was just two years old, they messed up an operation. Circumcision gone wrong? No, no, oh. actually, they never... Actually, I've never been circumcised because of the operations. Oh! oh. Okay. What's the difference between cum and pee? It's simple. Yeah. It's pee is probably yellow. Probably. No, no, it, it, it is yellow depending on what depending on what kind of fluids was consumed. Would you say not as salty, Bobo? Probably not as salty. <laughs> <laughs> I've never. I've only heard. I've only heard. I've only heard. Right. What, what kind of sex dreams did you have? Oh, where well, I was always effing some broad. In what way? Like, what? Explain. I remember. I just remember, I just, yeah. Yeah. I just, I just, I just remember all of a sudden when I've been almost like wake up almost as soon as I was boning the broad. I, I all of a sudden wake up and notice it that I uh, 
I was, for some reason, almost like, you know that thing you say, we always try to control what happens in your dream? Yeah. Like, I try to stop it because I know, oh, my God, I'm going to wake up just with just my pants. I'm going to wake up like that. And I tried to stop it, but then it couldn't, it couldn't control because you can't really, you try to, it's hard to control stuff when you're asleep. Yeah. So you, pull, you, you pull out, to, you pull out your dreams? <laughs> I've tried yeah, to, right, it's a dream, but it just couldn't, all far. I don't know, I tried to, but you couldn't, but, but, but you, you yes. it, I, I could I couldn't. I don't know. I had. So you'd put it in and just come, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I had this crazy. I don't know. The last, the last time it, it's happened. I don't know why. I didn't even know you guys yet. But for some reason, I recall uh -oh. the chick looked like. The last time I remember it happened, this was like in the nineties. But for some reason, that girl looked quite like Lily from the Ron and Fish show. Oh. oh. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why. Sometimes, sometimes I've had dreams predict like maybe people I know. Sometimes, yeah. I've, I've had dreams that predict that maybe places I'd end up going to. Really? That I've never been, but all of a sudden I wound up going to that place. Gay bar? No, no, no. <laughs> Brothers taint? Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. my brother has a no, lemon inch no. taint. That's cool. No, I didn't say that. All right, don't say that. All right, I'm gonna. If you, if you say that one more time, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. If, if you try to twist what I'm saying, I don't think you want to upset my brother. All right. Oh, I can only. But, but, but believe me, my bro, my bro, my brother. My brother, he describes brother, him, he describes himself in his MySpace brother, as uh, his appearance as an athletic appearance. Cute. Yeah. Oh, you like that? Whoa. No, like I didn't that. say that. I said, I said that's how he describes himself in his MySpace. Yeah. Which Female I ain't gymnast. giving away. <laughs> Are you wearing a condom now? No. Just thinking about it. Oh, no. 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 You jizz in your pants? <laughs> no, I haven't had that jizzed in my in my pants problem since I don't know. Since I think the since day? the Clinton hours twenty six. No, the, the the Clinton administration. <laughs> Faces a time on just Many years. presidential administration. <laughs> You've missed out on That's a four-year buffer there, an eight-year. Well, well, well the only time buffer. the only time that happens is where's all this jizz going if it's not uh, going <laughs> well, into your well, pants simple. anymore? Someone act simple. My cousin places the porn <laughs> film on, put puts on a porn film on on full blast when I'm asleep, just to prank me. So you've hooked up with your cousin too? Oh, no, 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 no! I didn't say that. No, 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 no! I did not say that. I did not say. If you can't keep it in your pants, keep it in the family. No, I don't do that. Again, you twist. Again, you twisted what I said. Again, you people twisted what I said. Oh, I just think it's the New York accent. I guess. I, 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 Why is your cousin? Yeah. Your, your cousin is a, is putting on a porno really loud because he's hoping that you're going to knock on his door. Yep. Yeah. No, 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 tap, no, tap, tap. no, 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 because. When I was younger, he used to think it was funny to prank me. Uh, what would he do? Well, at, that's one of the things I described. He uh, oh. he popped the he popped boner. The, no, he popped he popped the porn on the VCR popped one your time. Cheery asshole. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no what I described what I described uh, blasting a porn full so blast. And I wound up jizzing in my pants. And my... So Bobo, I'm very confused. How many? How many? <laughs> Bobo, I know you want me there, all right? Bobo, I'm confused. How many members of your family have you had sex with at this point? None. Brother, cousin, no, none. brother, cousin, none. None. dead father, no, 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 Anything altogether. You guys, you guys are getting it. I'm a version from anything. You're getting it wrong. Bobo has not had sex with his brother. He is going to have sex <laughs> no, with his brother. No, 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 no. Right. I did not right. say that. Right. I did not even say that. Sorry, Bobo. That, okay, so I today. I did not even say that. 23 say, years say, in the making. Bobo, yeah. you look. You look. No, no, no. I did not even say that, Sam. Yes, you did. I did not say, <laughs> yes, I did not did. say that. I did not say that. Your words. Your words. No, 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 no. Someone twisted my words because of the way I... Because of the way I sounded when I said what I... Bobo, I why don't you attack Sam? You, you seem like you have heat with Chubby Checker. Everybody's twisting around you. Yeah, look at <laughs> you. No, no, I mean, I, no, no. I mean, they're screwing up what I said. Oh, that's what you mean by twisting. I don't, I don't have texting on this phone. Of course... So it much on the money. <laughs> the economy's garbage. You can't yeah, text it. Yeah, no, 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 David, 
You're a badass brother fucker, David. Brother. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> why? Why? What did I do, Bobo? No, no, no. He was trying... No, 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 no. Like you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm reading no, this no, no, because no. Danny here thought that he was trying to twist what I was saying. So I just said, I'm getting back at, I'm getting back at him by, by saying that to someone else. Oh, oh I, see. I heard you, Bobo. Sam, <laughs> you're also I talking you, about your uncle. I, I bet you you're... <laughs> How about we have Bobo and David fight? Oh, <laughs> one one boxing glove each. Yeah, I, 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 Opie, one boxing glove each. Like you want to? got to say, Sam. David, you want to box Bobo? Sam, Sam uh, I bet you your younger siblings use your afro to jack off. Use your afro as a hairy pussy. Oh, <laughs> oh, that damn. was decent. That was decent. That's not bad. Although you would lose the bet because they and do not. So. No, 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 no. I, oh. I'm sure somebody would do that. I'm sure if one of your Listen. brothers got really drunk and then started to jack off, he would think your afro was the hairiest pussy. He wound up in a he would he would think he wound up in a DeLorean and wound up in his seventies. And there's some chick with a hairy pussy, but it would be your hair. <laughs> Uh, you lost me, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> All right, listen, Johnny Fairplay, what's the big plug? Because we, uh, we have two minutes before they cut us off for Ron and Fez. Absolutely. Uh, it is uh, Saturday, June 20th, uh, Philadelphia Airport, Ramada. Uh, tickets are available, just been told. $55 for ringside. It's myself versus Michael Lohan, Lindsay Lohan's dad. For more, more information, uh, and if you're not in the Philly area and you want to watch on the Internet, it's on uh, tvbydemand.com. Also, check out CelebrityBoxing.tv, and I'd like to thank my sponsors, Everlast, uh, Century Martial Arts, and SmokingEverywhere.com. Damn, look at you, Johnny. Yeah, right? Doing all right. <laughs> and Bobo's uh, going to be warming up for Rich Voss at the Stress Factory tonight. <laughs> That's correct. Look for me there tonight. Anybody going there, look for me. And Mr. Med 8 on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Bubba? What's wrong? What's no, wrong? No, 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 no. Danny's making up stuff about me again. <laughs> what, what did he say? What did he say? <laughs> Bubba, what did he say? He said, he said, he said, stop fucking your brother. That ain't true, right? He gonna take that, Bobo? I thought the other one said, "How does your brother's dick taste?" Oh, oh, that, 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 that's Bobo, it. Fight, fight back, Bobo. That's it. That's it. Oh, <laughs> he's attacking Danny. BillBurr.com for all his. Uh, Comedy dates. Bill, it was a pleasure. All right, thanks I for guess. having me, guys. I'll try to come in next week when I can. Yeah, cool.